All right, that's what I that's what I was forgetting. I was forgetting to put in my new string key. I knew I was forgetting something. So let's take a look at the bracket. I think we only have like 22 people signed up so far. That's okay. Yeah, 22. People always complain about the check-ins not actually opening yet, so we'll, we'll manually open them. All right, check-ins manually opened. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, let's at. Um, I still haven't told. Um, Mighty Mode of Mondays about. About the Melty Bullet tournaments. I should do that. What do they call themselves? Kazoo FGC? Hold on about it. Where is a good one that I posted about the turn tournament? This one. Alright, so it's a copy message. There we go. Got that going for us. That's right, bus driver. You only need to check it on to lounge. That's it. It's all you gotta do. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, I should be going come to your booth. That's the other thing I'm hearing. And then scream this shit. Let's go. Six people signed up for Melty Blood. Oh, baby. Wah. Join in. We got the whole screen. The whole crew from last time, Odd Eyes, Guard Devour, Captain Africa, AJ, who I don't think was there last time, Jan, Mad, Velka, Waf, we're just missing, um, Vec, no, uh, Zero Syndicate, and Lane. Lane, uh, Lane was pretty OD. Pretty OD. So we're mostly just waiting on someone to come play. Oh, someone to come play with us. Axio with the deets. I has swooped the whoop. I has swooped the whoop. Did their connection test wrong? For shame. For shame. Let's double check that for ourselves. 
I has shoot the whoop. Yeah, okay, so we'll do that. So we gotta get copy them. Who's the other one? Buckets the wit. Like that name. It's unclear there should be a copy. Browser or... Was it ash for an ash? But did all that? Still no one in the room. Man, I just want to play somebody. You know, 14, 25 people checked in right away. Easy peasy. there's a command that we have for ping test or whatever probably is I doubt it's up to date though Ugh. Hmm. try someone is joining the um, lobby Normally there's so many people. So many people looking to play games and have fun. So be bop. Be bop indeed. Sometimes I worry my connection requirements drive people away. By worry, I mean, I know that's true.
I guess we'll check out Buckets of the Wits just because we have time. Sacramento, Ashburn, it looks good to me. Cheesy Weezy. Also wants me to check, sure. Cheesy Beezy. Easy, cheesy, cheesy, beasy. First to three the whole way through, indeed. The games in Strive takes so little time. Damage is so high that I do this purely from a, like a streaming perspective, right? The first two are going by too fast. There was so much dead time, so much in between game time. It was it was pretty brutal. So super selfish, you know. Um, and your set is up to play. I had a swoop de whoop. Supposedly had also fixed it. Swoop. Uh, no. It didn't change the server location, so we'll just go ahead and find that little helpful rule for them. There you go. Swoop the whoops got it now. He's figured it out. Or sorry, they figured it out. Like to play someone. It's been a while since I've played Strive. I'm eager to hit buttons.
So eager. So eager indeed. Should uh, pop a chow check in in there. Let the six people not checked in know. Got late Tigru. Tigru's not in there. And Tioing without, you know, splitting my focus between here and the game that I'm playing. It's so easy. You know, it's so easy to answer people's questions, just type things out, blah blah blah, no rush. There's no rush, there's no excitement. There's no oh god, oh god, I gotta get back so I can DP in time. None of that. Straight, simple, question and answer session. What I'm trying to say is, I'd much rather, you know, have that franticness. Be playing someone. Have that panic. This red, I might just try and get Celestial again. <laughs> oh, then I definitely wouldn't be able to focus. You know, we get to see how heated the, uh, the Celestial challenge gets me. Oh, I love this. Second person in the lobby. Whoop de whoop. Someone's in here. Whoop the whoop. Hell yeah, let's go. My body is ready. We're gonna start things off right. Mankind knew that they cannot. Duel one. I, I messed up.
<laughs> oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. Dual one. Let's rock. I tried to jump back. Oh, that got me. Alright, that didn't get me. Oops. Oh no, that got me. <laughs> oh, now I don't have a burst. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got me, got me, got me. Oh, nice turn. Oh, I dropped my DP. Ah, oh, that sucks. Damn. Dude, I tried the DP. I just, uh, I just messed up the timing. So I did expect the second dust. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not that I didn't expect the second dust, it's that I'm bad at the game. That's what I'm trying to say. You know the feeling, dude. Yeah. See, I didn't mess it up that time. Totally missed input. Dual one. Bro. Bro. Sending it. We're sending it again. Shit. 
Oh, I tried to do a normal throw input. Oh, that still hit me? Ah, oh, damn, he got me. God damn, it feels good to play a soul. God, I uh, god damn, does it feel good to play a soul. Oh, you don't want to play anymore? You don't want to play anymore? I'll, I'll, I'll play. Who's this? No plan? Who's this Faust play? Lucky XD? What's our tournament turnout looking like? <laughs> 27? In some late turnouts. Keep trying to do a normal throw in quick. Ah, too much multi play.
the night raid vortex that dive gig which sucks is that one I got a little ambitious with that first. What up? How you doing? How's it been? I don't think even in Discord we haven't chatted in a bit. You chilling? Big chilling? Well, I'm glad I'm glad uh, Snoop's recovering from the from the kidney player, failure. Mankind knew that they cannot change and, uh, Paxi's Paxi's dog just um, just passed away, so I'm glad Snoop's doing well. I know, right? Super enjoying uh, Melty Blood. It's surprisingly fun. No, I had it. Not sure we'd be able to get to it. It's pretty easy to play. Like it, it's intim the amount of systems that they have in the game is like intimidating. 
but it's pretty easy to play. Rollback, the rollback they have is fine, I guess. It's pretty similar to Release Street Fighter, which I don't mind, but it ain't no uh, stride. really needs is cross Yeah, no crossplay, which sucks. Oh yeah, no, I've been having tons of fun. So I haven't played I've so far I've just been playing Melty Blood instead of um instead of Strive. Netcode for Strive? Oh no, the netcode for Strive is like fantastic. Like it's so good. Good call inside of her, you see super fun? Yeah, no, like totally your character. 100 percent 100 I'm glad I'm glad you've been enjoying Zato. Really glad. Okay, so it's 43, 43. Now we're up to 30. So it's still a light night. We got a... Get that one person. Le, Le Tigru. Who's Le Tigru? He's not in Discord, so... Rip them. Dual one. Uh, did did Ken get a swag costume? I'm wasn't aware. What's the uh, what's the costume of? Let's rock. 
Oops, missed the run. Oh, I think I might have seen that, yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, there he is. How you doing? Oh, thanks for messaging me. I definitely was not paying attention. Oh, it's all good, man. I saw you were streaming. I didn't want to just, like, kind of fire and hot, you know what I mean? Oh, no, no. no. Definitely hot mix around here. Cool, 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 cool. So we're just in the pre-tournament right now, playing some uh, some of the competitors tonight. Oh, nice. Having a blast. That's awesome. No, I didn't get my cup. So how you how you doing? Yeah, man, I'm uh, a little tired. Just woke up from a uh, from a nap, but I'm. I'm uh... I'm good, you know. I'm happy to be here. Ready to watch the Guilty Gear? That's yeah, cool. Guilty Gear is hella fun. Uh, we have two people for Melty Blood tonight, so oh, good awesome. there. That's great news. Okay. <laughs> I got work in my. I, I, I got work at seven tomorrow, so that's a that's brutal. Really <laughs> that's absolutely brutal. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Take it a half day, so it's not too bad. I'll survive. Do you normally yeah. work weekends, or is it a, an unusual? Oh thing? yeah, oh okay. yeah. Saturdays I could usually swing off, but I work most Sundays. Damn. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm used to it. Oh man, this is a good amount of entrance. All right, this is a good sized bracket. You say that, but we're like super down in our entrance. <laughs> We were really? at, yeah, uh, a month ago we were averaging 80, so now we're nope. down to like 30 to 40. Oh, yeah, the old melty blood effect. I, don't, I think it was just people got, um, I think people are just over guilty year, or a lot of the, um, the more casual players. Yeah, definitely. We're, we're at that stage where it's, uh, it's how some people are making the decision to move on. Mm -hmm. Give it another month, then we'll do that. Yeah. Melty Blood is so fun. Mm. Dude, I, I, it's the only game I've been playing. I couldn't help myself. I finally took a break today so I could play some uh, Metroid Dread. <laughs> but, uh, man, yeah, that game is awesome. I love Melty Blood. I didn't play any of the older ones, too. This is my first Melty Blood. Cool. I've technically played an older one. Like, back in high school, someone's like, hey, you should try this game out. I did, but not even that person would play with me, so. Oh, no! Man, that, that was my only Melty Blood experience. It's spending a day, like, labbing stuff, and then uh, yeah. that person wouldn't even play with me. Oh, that's the worst. <laughs> oh, no. You truly hate this game. Oh, man. Yeah, I played, uh, I played a, little, a little bit of Uni. Uh, mm -hmm. There, there's there's some overlap. It's not you know it's not a perfect uh, cut and paste obviously, but there, there's some overlap that uh, definitely helped me figure some stuff out fast on a little bit less. Right. Give me two seconds, bro. Oh my GG's, um, shit, I already forgot the name. GG's, so I should have just said GG's, I shouldn't have even committed to trying to say your name. I should have just said GG's, very fun. That they punish, oh, you're talking about the Night Raid Vortex? Uh, no, it's, um, it has no iframes, it low profiles a bit. Uh, yeah, so but it, it has no iframes. I like doing it because it looks cool. I think it's like...
right, so real quick before we start, is there a, is there a match arena or anything? No, no, no. We play for funsies. I love it, man. All right, no, it's cool. I just want to make sure there's nothing I uh, nothing I have to be uh, chatting now. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. Cool. Who are you playing, Stripe? Um, I've been playing a couple different people, uh, mostly Chip. Uh, but I've been messing around with some Axel, I was playing some Kai. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start playing some Leo. I wanna at least try him because I, I have a little trouble with that matchup, so I can uh, I learn some more about Leo. Sure, sure. The whole cast is super interesting. My problem is like I just I want to play everybody, you know. <laughs> I love the and the game, the game is definitely um, built in a way that you can get reasonably confident with uh, yeah. characters, and I like that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's definitely one of the draws. Uh, I I don't know. I had I had a, a dream of you know maining random select <laughs> in this game, but that that might be a little too ambitious. Yeah. Pretty ambitious, but you know. Of the games, it definitely seems the most doable. You know, fight, yeah. fighting games. Except for maybe Melty Blood. Melty Blood. Interesting. Yeah, I think you can pull it off there. Because there's a lot of, there's enough universal uh, combos and mechanics that, uh. Oh, yeah. Seems reasonable. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta kind of work on your, uh. Confirms a little bit. But, yeah, I think it's definitely doable. Mm hmm. Definitely, definitely more so than a lot of other games out there right now. Hello, hello. Hello, is that Zero? What's up, my guy? There is. It is I, Zero. Um, no relation to Zero uh, from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Or anything. Don't I'm worry pretty about that. sure you Your have lightning loops. Character, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just don't get in there. That's all. I'm pretty sure I saw Dante and Virgil just around the corner. Uh, you got uh, some explaining to do, bro. <laughs> Yo, boys, you gotta sit, you gotta go sit down. Seriously, seriously, I'm about to sit. Anyways, what's up? Not much man. Straight challenge. Wait for the bracket to get started. Watching some, uh, watching some Soul versus May action. Oh yes, you know the classic. The you know, classic. Two, two behemoths going at it. Mm. <laughs> Dolphins flying everywhere. Oh, it's basically that. that scene in Kong vs. Godzilla, just destroying the entirety of Hong Kong. And surely, no one thought about the ramifications of that because I'm sure <laughs> San Francisco is not recovered at all. No, no. they're not ready for that too. Yeah, they can't no. That and I kind of play like an ass. Yeah, that's fine. That's the, that's the right way to play as far as I'm concerned. You know, if there's anything I learned from playing Melty Blood, it's that everybody does. So, yeah. Especially that game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Were you going to play Melty Blood? So, I, I play the young child Miyako because I feel like it adds insult to injury when you get destroyed by a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, that character is something else. Ooh. Characters a lot of like I feel like that's my go-to before I switch over to Coma, okay. so I can understand the mechanics and then uh, Smart, play like Coma. That. Yeah, Coma's yeah. pretty good. I don't know if you follow uh, Vicky Viper on Twitter, but yes. they were uh, they posted basically an unblockable string. I think it's two two X Moon Drive, Hold Five C. You're still in block stun when uh, that command grab hits. That is yeah. unblockable. <laughs> like there's there's no jump and it's like you're dead. Yeah. You get yeah. grabbed. That's pretty cool. Don't lose neutral. Yeah, it's it's rough. <laughs> they just don't lose neutral. And neutral. I play a character with stubby normals, but I'm like, you know what? I can mix you still. I got I got some stuff. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That character is oppressive. Ooh. Yeah, she's uh she's pretty tough. If you don't know, like where her holes are at like as far as like if she's gonna appear behind you you know i just oh, you know, yeah. definitely just get ready to mash <laughs> yeah just, right that'll interrupt a lot i know i i went out so what was it melty came out what wednesday friday we had our uh, right. offline local uh, nice i i did i did pretty good all things considered um but yeah <laughs> first i got knocked out to a miyako uh, who ended Oof. up making it to grand finals yeah that was the first time i played that character and wow 
that was like oh yeah if you don't I, know where the gaps are it's it's bad that was a walk yeah oh yeah i, I did yeah. i did okay all things considered in that tournament i'm not like a you know a super fast learner so i was pretty proud of myself for not going out on two but that was just like that was a wash <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my first bracket, um, I was definitely winging it a lot and learning as I went, mm. and, and then went up against Shiki, a Shiki that knew what they were doing clearly, and I was like, oh. mm, this yep. is gonna be interesting. Uh, Lane fun, was fun grand final, so <laughs> Lane was looking clean. Yeah, absolutely. Like, that was a lot of fun to really learn. I mean, Lane was definitely like abusing like my ignorance in that matchup. Mm -hmm. And I was okay. I had to figure out this puzzle. The moment I figured something out, I was like, "All right, cool. Let me hold on to this for a little while and just keep going." <laughs> yup. Oh man, I'm playing some. Uh, I'm playing Noel. Girl okay. Pigs here. Man, I that is a fun character. Don't you know? Don't whiff. <laughs> but uh, but man, that's a fun character. I got some. Um, I have like a list of stuff I got to lab. Um, her Oki's a little weird. Definitely not what i was used to um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you can do some fun stuff with the nails um she, she's got you know your standard safe jumps and stuff like that but man that character whew, that character can do some damage if you get the right starter and oh, uh, yes. obviously if you have enough resources but mm -hmm. i was just uh playing a long set against the Noah before i jumped on and yeah she's got a she does a lot of damage she hurts if i make a mistake so mm -hmm. I stop doing that and then i get in a lot of uh, rock paper scissors wars and i'm like wait a minute i don't have to participate i could just shield once force you to shield and grab you and then i'll yeah. kill you that's, that's it a combo oh, right full combo yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh right because you're playing miyako yes you're right <laughs> you and yeah. then wait until i get used to the game and play koma you're gonna mm -hmm. die again <laughs> worse. Yeah. dude that character uh, keeps looking stronger and stronger <laughs> Oh yeah, it, it's terrible. It, it's terrible what uh, the game can allow some people to get away with if you don't mm. know. And, and and I love it for it. It's really great. Oh yeah. Um, there, you know, I was saying on Twitter the other day that like I have a lot of, um, like it reminds me a lot of the interactions in Killer Instinct in their yes. system. So it's just like, oh, like I get to play the rock paper scissors with shielding. And then I can just ignore it and then blow you up for it. I'm like, okay, now let me get to that next level of mind games after the fact that I have an additional layer to add. So I definitely made that same comparison between uh, Melty Shields and KI's combo yeah. break and counter breaker mechanics. I yeah. love that game. Oh, it's, KI is so good. <laughs> it, it makes for a really good like back and forth. Interact and I, honestly, that's what mm. kept me coming back for KI a lot of times yeah. is that constant back and forth uh, interaction. I, I definitely don't play it as much as I used to that's anymore, so. uh, but like having that reintroduction of like, okay, there's a balance of offense and defense. I, I get rewarded mm. for uh, really good uh, defense and, you know, vice versa. Uh, you know, if I can really call out somebody's consistent habits then you know you get big rewards out of it so rock paper scissors is essentially the base form of fighting games now you just gotta play for real rock paper scissors <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. yeah a lot of people complain about rps um in fighting games uh dragon ball was like kind of one of the big big complaints that i was always hearing but that's true in so many games especially at a high level like oh yeah you once you get into like the depth of a lot of the os is in undernight like it's just and I'm not even going to pretend to understand that game because that's so far over my head. But mm -hmm. I've, I've been assured that's basically what it boils down to when it's a high level is there. You got the world's hitting series of that's... OSs and you better know how to deal with them because if not, right. your, your opponent's going to have a real fun time. <laughs> right. Well, again, that that is the basis of fighting games, right? It's just mm. like at, at their like if you strip out like the, the most like bring it down to the very basic core. What it is, it is rock, paper, scissors just played at an extremely high speed. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. like, I guess the best example would be dive kick, right? Of just like, you Absolutely. only have two buttons, dive and mm -hmm. kick, and then <laughs> you got to keep playing the rock, paper, scissors until you win. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy as that, man. Um, I was going to say, if you take away the rock, paper, scissors, you get something like season one for honor. I don't know if either of you guys played that. <laughs> it was awful. Little, like, no, I heard stories, that's... though. I under I remember the mechanics. I've never played it, but I've definitely okay. watched it. So like, imagine, so imagine you have a fighting game where, on any attack, it's possible to pair like so like third strike. It's possible to parry and punish like any attack. Now right. remember that every attack is parryable on reaction. Oh that's no! That's for that's for honor season one. Oh no! Yeah, 
There was mm -hmm. one character that once they got a hit had a true 50-50 because they could cancel an attack into a grab. Um, oh, okay. And everyone was complaining about it because it was OP, which frankly it was compared to the rest of the cast. And I'm like, no, I'm like, no, guys, listen, this is what fighting games are supposed to be. Yeah. You're supposed mm -hmm. to guess. Oh man, that's too funny. There should be offense. Um, so yeah, yeah, you need the rock paper scissors. I wanted to sh say earlier, Shroop the Whoop was saying that the May versus Soul matchup was super hard. Uh, Shroop, you're doing really well. Um, you're doing a great job. Your main problem is that you do 5p, 5p into slide, and not only does that not combo, but then I get a punish on you. So if you, like, actually comboed and, like, did something and knocked me down or whatever, or not even knocked me down, just, like, finished with, like, a dolphin or something, um, that would be way better, and you would be doing so much better in that, in that match than, than you did, so. You're almost there. Almost. Oh, yeah. routing is so so important in so many fighting games like I, that was like my biggest problem last week of just playing melty i was like you know what i would work a lot less if i actually listened to the uh mission mode combos that i was doing and then just extrapolate from there you know just yeah. i'm having i'm play. doing an auto combo you know i'm trying to fit in more buttons i watched the mm. so i play saber because apparently i'm a saber stand like i didn't mm. i never heard of fate before this <laughs> but apparently it's really popular, so I started watching Fate to figure out what's going on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right. All right. Which one? Are you on Fate Zero or are you on Fate the whatever what's the new fate? I don't know. The, the fate with Saber was... in, alright? Cause Saber I've seen Saber. All of them have Saber. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what's going on either. And then there's Fate Go. You gotta play Fate Go because then oh, there's God. more lore. Oh no. Alright. It's basically Grand Blue, just with so, more lore. Uh, all right, so Mage Wars started. They just summoned everyone. It there's okay. a, there's a lot of backstory, so it feels like the first. I feel like I started with the 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 first one. Okay. There's a lot of backstory. I think like if I remember correctly, it's like Fate Stay Night, and then they released the prequel Fate Zero, and or oh, do I have it completely wrong? Dude, I don't, and right, it's well, Fate I'm looking Zero, then now. Fate Stay Night, and I'm looking it up now. What which one am I watching? <laughs> I'm oh. watching Fate Zero. Okay, all right. So you're at the beginning. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, I was really concerned about that one because it, it doesn't one of the priests or something like that get like chills out in a in like a cockroach pit or something. It was like you gotta wait yeah. for the mark to show up by hanging out in cockroaches. I'm like, this yeah. doesn't make sense. That that that's what happened. That was literally it. That's exactly how that went down. <laughs> just who decided this? I dude. The lore doesn't make any sense, but I'm I'm pushing past that, right? I'm pushing past that. I'm accepting it for what it is. Mm-hmm. And I'm, we're going to see some sick-ass anime battles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some of the movies, or at least clips from the movies, lauded as some of the finest animation in anime history. I'm like, that, that's cute. That's cute. You know, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of it's good. I, I raise you uh, that scene where Levi goes zipping and sliding through the city. An attack on Titan. So there. Oh yes. <laughs> now, all right. Now, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I haven't seen Fate, but I love these Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> God, that trip's so good. Yes, yes. I, uh, you know, no spoilers, no spoilers. But uh, oh, for oh, everybody oh. that is keeping up with the anime, it's gonna be an interesting ride. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Oh man. Part of me wants to go back and just start digging into the manga um i guess i guess i don't know if i don't know how close it's run and that's all i'm gonna say but i'm i'm curious to see they're they're so close they're one i've read i've done the reading oh, and okay. uh, you know i'm i'm done basically because obviously the, the manga is done so yeah but it is it is one to one and when that's awesome. uh when they announced like all right this is our last season they ended like last what in, in the fall or something like that where yeah see and i was like there's no way so they got to be doing like a movie and like there's gonna be a part two season three. okay all right yeah. this makes sense dude even as someone who didn't read the manga halfway through that season i'm like i'm looking at how many episodes are left i'm like there's no way they can tie this off there's either either that or we're gonna be in a game of thrones situation where it's just awful so i'm i'm so glad they announced i i can't wait two. for i can't wait for the show to finish because yeah. i i'm really curious to hear what people think that aren't reading the manga so look forward to it. 
Yeah, me too. I'm probably going to wait to go into the manga until after the show is done. I've, I've made it this far, you know. I'm just going to stick it out. Yeah. And then we'll we'll go back and see. Yeah. I messed myself up a long time ago after season one where I was like, man, <laughs> I like a certain character. Let me look up this character. And oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I, I just had to read the manga. <laughs> I caught a I caught a spoiler like right around when season one came out. I caught yeah. a manga spoiler that was like pretty much just happened, um, but it was so far in the future that it made no sense. Like e even with that knowledge, I was still surprised throughout the entire show because oh, yeah. it just it was so far removed from the reality that we knew. You know <laughs> that it it was basically gibberish. It was great. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm I'm torn personally on the the animation choice for. Uh, the latest season because one mm. it is definitely much closer to the actual manga like as far as like look aesthetic look but yep. i definitely miss the style of the first two seasons like, I it was really yeah. that. it was a big adjustment dude yeah big adjustment it's, um, it's tough <laughs> yeah i don't know i was just i was so enthralled already that i i barely noticed until somebody pointed out to me uh, oh, but wow. it, yeah okay. it's different yeah i well you know Hey, I mean, they did their job, though, at least, right? Because, yeah. like, it's not bad by any means. It's just, like, mm. knowing, like, I'm like, oh, because the way the manga looks and then seeing how season three looks so much closer to the manga, I'm like, okay, like, I get it, but you had a flair in the first two seasons. Yeah, definitely. That that was distinctive for a while. Yeah. All right. Here we go. We, uh... Bring up this bracket real quick. Yeah, I was trying to load that up real quick. I'm still. We, we, we got our who... first match. Oh. We got It's Kage versus Cheesy117. Okay, okay. Let's try it. Cheesy. All right, that's a name I vaguely, vaguely I, remember. But... I don't want to disappoint Kage, but there's no Kage in this game. Man. So. There's no Kage in this game. Can I... <laughs> so instead of yes. All right. Themselves... I'm waiting for the Guilty Gear. Street Fighter crossover. Oh, oh yeah, they, God, they did say they were considering a guest character. That'd be you hilarious know? with Kage. It's got to be an SNK reasons. character though, right? Because Biken's over on Samurai Showdown. So it would. It would. Oh it would. yeah. All right, here we go. We're getting right in this though. Yes, absolutely. It's Kage, Cheesy, Ramlethal, Kai. Game one, we're getting started, and we're getting started with the olden Ramlethal pressure. Oh yeah, first out of that. Yeah, no you're comment. definitely looking to be close enough for that burst for sure, but you're gonna get carried over this wall once again, guaranteed splatter. Oh yeah, we're going right through, son. We're going through. All right. Oh no! No, 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 no! no. Okay, all right. Wait a minute. That's a yeah, rough base Ah, yeah. oh, that's it. Yep. Oh, uh, so that was that was kind of uh, your classic Ramlethal round where your opponent just right. explodes because they're trying to get out. But let's see if Cheesy can make an adjustment in round two. Uh, okay. Hey, he landed. That's the put. No! No! Oh no! The DP punished. Yeah, you're going through the wall again, my guy. Cheesy, oh, I was about no. to compliment you, and here you are, DPing for the skies. <laughs> hey, I right, respect this choice. Always yeah. good DP. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking a little better. Oh no! All right, burst out, gets grabbed, but he gets out of pressure, and right back into pressure. No conversion yeah. on the thrown sword. Reverse E, gonna keep it, nice. There's the throw to close it out, and Kage is in complete control of this set so far. Yeah, very dominant game. That is a comfortable looking Ramblethal player right there. Yes. Clearly yes. putting the time. I mean, geez, Cheesy didn't really even get a combo off at all. Just a couple stray hits here and there, and just, yeah. You know, mostly blocking, trying to find an opening here, and, you know, much like Ramlethal would do in a mid-range battle, uh, Kage is definitely holding their own, and especially against Kai, that's pretty solid. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, burst out of the corner. Okay. 6P the Kai pressure. Yep, he was in the shock state. Oh, no, the jump over. Oh, my. And caught in the air on the burst out. Oh, oh dropped no. it, though. We're dropped good, it. as long as you're blocking. FD too. Okay, I like it. Oh no, wrong type no of jump. Punish. Yeah, you hate to see it. Could have been a miss input. We'll give him the benefit right. of the doubt. Oh yeah, definitely. You, you know, you make it out alive out of a hyper beam from Ramlethal. You definitely know you got to punish on deck here. Nice vapor thrust yeah. here. One more hit will do it. There we go. Just slide it on in. Send the DM. I told you to contact Soul. No more burgers for you. No more burgers. We're taking the dog away. If you don't, you know, if you don't stop the burger game. Come on. 
<laughs> oh no, eats the overhead. Oh man, alright. So Cheesy's looking a little better this game, but he's still eating this Ramblethal pressure in the corner. Another big counter hit going through the wall again. There will be a Splendid Super this time. Very nice. Man, that does so much damage, bro. That's yeah. insane. He can't get caught. Good gold burst right there. I love that decision. Oh, Ride the no lightning. Way. I think that's going to hit. No, had to cancel a little bit too high there. That's unfortunate. Okay, good awareness from Cheesy. Wow. Base the scooper. Didn't have enough meter to RC that. Oh, it gets hit when he's jumping right over. You hate to see it. All right. One apiece here in game two. We'll see if Cheesy can... Uh, Keep the momentum going. Absolutely. Oh, air to air. Okay, no throw. And we're seeing um, it's Kage just hold FT on that, too. I'm wondering if we're going to yeah. see a couple more throws from Chief coming out on offense. You'd hope so, right? You, when you see your opponent getting so FT uh, friendly, you're yeah. definitely going to have to start expecting a throw coming your way here. We'll see how Kage. Oh my goodness, the dust has jumped out. Beautiful jump. Mm -hmm. Ooh. RC it, make it safe. All right, I like that call first to keep him in the corner. That's such oh, a good no. feeling when you just yeah. deny your opponent that uh, <laughs> that gratification, if you will. No, um, no. And Cheesy might have to guess for the game here. Oh, no, match, okay. oh, oh no. no. Oh, rough timing on the burst. Ramlethal, obviously, very hard character to burst. Exactly. And that is game two going to It's Kage. Right, is this two out of three or three out of five? Three out of five. Yeah. Three out of five. Okay, all right. So game point for Kage. Looking very dominant so far. Starting to see some adjustments from Cheesy, though. So this is going to be kind right. of uh, the clinch win right here. Let's see you what know, they got. It might be that opening tournament jitters, right? Just you're, you're running cold, getting into it, trying to get in the groove. And it's a good start here for Cheesy, keeping the life lead. Has to block in the corner again. Excellent burst. But jumped into another sword. Going to get splattered once again. Yeah, that's a couple times Yeah, we've seen him uh, get hit on the thrown sword trying to jump in. Definitely got to be careful there. Uh, the RC, okay, no conversion there. So good jump in, didn't land behind him that time. Kept the pressure going. There's the grab. All right, RC, I love it. No burst. Don't need to. Okay, I like it. Wall splat going through the corner. Cosmic Gold is plenty of meter. Yikes! Oh, oh no! Big counter hit. No, you recovered. You recovered. Yep. Oh, okay. Eats the chip damage. He doesn't want to sacrifice the meter. Okay. That, that worked out. You got to take advantage here. Oh, my God. No, not the Vapor Thrust. It was supposed to be Ride the oh. Lightning, but we still got it with a nice 2D. It was the mind game. Just got to mm -hmm. fake him out a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Cheesy taking the game. Yo, that was sick, dude. All right. Blocking the uh, sword a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think you were right, dude. I think he was just feeling the jitters a little bit at first. Definitely playing a lot better now. So we get splattered, you get two of those. Only two around. So don't let it happen again. And this is not a good look. That burst is wasted. No conversion, though. Oh, I thought that was going to be a big punish. All right. Oh, nice hit from Cheesy here. Big opportunity. Nice splatter. Once again, positive bonus coming your way. But watch out. Kage has full meter. Yeah, that is a full stick butter right there. You got to be real careful if you're throwing your staggers out. Yeah, because that's going to happen right there. FD, baby, stay alive. Yo, but watch the mix, the dust! Oh no! Oh man, alright, yo, that was hella smart from Mitzkog. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be on match point right here. Be nice. You gotta hold the blocks, unfortunately. It's still Ramathal's turn. Yeah. Quick, quick 60%, no big deal. No bigs. <laughs> no bigs! Autopilot into the, uh, the classic quarter combo. You see 60% disappear. Alright, why are C? No more positive bonus. Nice reach here. Far slash. Excellent spacing. Fully charged dust. Yo, let's get it. We got those combos? Yeah, all right. There we go. Ow. Keep it simple. I like it. Just getting Risky. burst in that opportunity, too. Kage just holding on to it. Great patience. Really confident in their offense. And it will work out. Full meter. Just going to get the splatter. And let's charge it up here. Doesn't even need a 2H. Closes out just the like, game. Just like we were talking about earlier. There's that anti-air sword again. Um, yep. Man, Kage did some work with that. Just very good awareness. So obviously that's the, uh, that's how you get out of the regular sword. Super mm -hmm. jump out on block. Uh, but you know, if you're a good RAM player, you know how to deal with that too. Throw the next one. Um, yeah. And Cheesy did not 
was not able to adjust, unfortunately. Um, so Kage is going to be moving on. Right. I mean, excellent decision in the corner there to really get out of those situations. But also, yeah. like you said, you, you have to make that adjustment and, and be aware. Like uh, I've said before on the street that a lot of times it's that player matchup. Sure, you understand on paper how Ramlethal works, but then on that next layer, you have to understand how that player is using Ramlethal and not blocking that second sword coming at you or just forgetting about it entirely was definitely what killed you in a lot of those rounds there. But here we go, another Kai. AJ up against the doctor that is a dinosaur, but is only 12 years old. <laughs> the 12-year-old Dr. Dinosaur. All right. Young young prodigy. That's why he's playing Zato. I love it. All right. We're getting right into this. Um, I, I don't get to see a lot of good Zato play anymore, so I, I'm, I'm right. very excited for this. Ooh. Big DP to start that pressure game. Get out of the corner, but he's still going to be taking the pressure from Zato. Burst out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like the decision. Yo. Gonna get scooped up. Okay, we're playing the Kai game here. Good neutral, nice. Okay. Oh, the Fudre arc once again, though. The shock state ending just in the nick of time here for Dr. Dinosaur to make this frog attempt here. Gonna get the shatter. Yeah, we're going right through the wall. Oh my god, that kill. Oh, that's gonna oh be my the god. round. Whoa, I didn't think I was gonna be the round. That was I tight. didn't think so either. Damn, Dr. Dinosaur taking round one. Prescription is death. Uh, moving on to round two. I like what AJ's doing with the grabs here. Um, he's, he's putting that in Dr. Dinosaur's head real early of, hey, you gotta be careful, because if you're sleeping on the wheel on defensively, I'm taking you out. Oh, excellent ERC yeah. defensive air throw there. That was beautiful. Good blocks here. Dr. Dinosaur doing fairly well in the close range game here, but now AJ getting a little antsy here, using that vapor thrust to get out. Nice, Dr. Dinosaur turning the tide, pushing you into the corner. Watch out for the oppose. You can't challenge it. Eddie is ready to roll. Yeah, that's a rough move to deal with, especially in the corner, because you want to get out. But you can't mash against the pose. All right, no. spend the burst to get out. I like that decision. YR sees uh, Dr. Dinosaur to keep the pressure going. I mean, honestly, Dr. Dinosaur has been just ready to press 2P in any of these gaps that AJ puts in. So AJ being hesitant, I don't blame you here, especially with that first on deck. Able to challenge it with the stun edge there, but the scoop from the dock. Able to get the command grab. It's shark infested waters out here. Wow, that was, uh, both those guys played that pretty well, actually. Um, yes. Both, both of their offense was honestly pretty darn good. Um, just came down to right at the end, the command grab. Very well played from Dr. Dinosaur. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, honestly, like being able to play against a good Zato is a really strong tool set to have as a player because there are so few Zatos out there that one time where you're gonna run into a Zato like this from Dr. Dinosaur, you're gonna be ready for it. And AJ is showing us how it's done here. Absolutely. Very, very good use of the opposed. We haven't yeah. seen him throw it out kind of willy-nilly, you know what I mean? But almost right. every time we see it, it it's done some work for him. Right. Uh, it, a really good job of keeping Kai the too. Oh, oh. You know, I was going to say, too, that opposed is ready to rock, too. Like, just, you notice AJ is just hesitant to throw any fireballs because of how often that sucker is coming out, too. Wary of getting reflected, doesn't want it to happen here. But still, the 6P comes out. Watch where you're jumping. It's my airspace here. Yeah, this is the no-fly zone going here. Unless you're Zato, in which case he literally can't fly. Watch the fully charged dust there. Very nice. It's crazy that Zato pressure can take you almost corner to corner right there. Like, we, we went full screen there right. with almost no damage. That was crazy. <laughs> 2P, 2S, able to connect here. Trying our darndest with the 6P. It's the Bow of Fury coming from AJ. But still, little Eddie gives the applause here. You're going to have to hold the corner. Oh, the blue RC to take the knockdown there. All right. Ooh. And there it is again. Throw out a pose. Hit him with the command grab. That's the third time we've seen that. Burst out. I love it. Thunder for RC. Carry him to the corner. Shock state wearing off. Oh, Zato pokes out. Mm. You're, you have to expect it. Honestly, a Zato will be ready to push that 2P. One of their best, fastest buttons yeah. available to them. So, of course, that's going to be the go-to. Especially without any meter. No true reversal. you got to expect it. Absolutely. you, you got to be able to do that strategically, which Dr. Dinosaur has done a phenomenal job of doing. Yes. First two games going to him. Oh, all right. All right, here we go. Oh, the defensive grab. Oh, no. Put AJ right back in the corner. There it is, number four. Do I have number five, sir? 
Sharknado on the way, look out. Once again, the Oppose comes out, tries for the anti-air a second time, pushes you away. Good backdash, but gonna get caught by Purple RC from AJ, good stuff. Why RC, I like the decision there. Oh no, okay, great awareness from, uh, from AJ there. 2P is uh, not plus on hit. Mm -mm. Wow, okay. That was a good read there. So that, I guess that's the adjustment to um, all the two feet we're seeing from Tato. Grabbing him out of a pose. Shock state. Here we go. Oh, jumps over the charge. Dust. Get a little too aggressive with the pose down the way. Caught out. 2S counter hit, but not able to get the confirm off that second 2S. That's unfortunate here, but Dr. Dinosaur is in a great position trying to shut things down with the frog. The grab. Here we go. All right. Fire C does connect here. Big opportunity for Dr. Dinosaur. Has to keep things at bay. Calling back Eddie just in time here. Big frogs out. Here's another slash and a pose. What you gonna do? The wall is closing in. Ooh, another one. All right. So he's got to be thinking now. If he gets grabbed, game's over. Actually, right. both these cats. Oh, man. All right, so I'm wondering if we're going to see Dr. Oh! Dinosaur. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this hits him with a stun dipper. Damn, son. All right, game three go to AJ. Yo, that was a great adjustment. That was Absolutely. a great adjustment from AJ. It, it, you got to be reeling after that one, dude. That was a full screen stun dipper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he went for it there, and I, I respect the hell out of that decision. Oh, counter hit kicks. All right. Oh, yep, 5k. You know, we got to recognize the poses out here. That's so much damage that comes to AJ's way just trying to challenge a pose. That's disgusting. Oh, man. I always forget how much damage Sato can do in that scenario. It's right. crazy. Right, space air throw. Oh, jumps out of it. Okay, Dr. Dinosaur recognized him that time. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. I know we were just talking AJ up, but like, mm -hmm. that was dominant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The back and forth between these two has been spectacular here. Nice scoop from AJ once again here. Dr. Dinosaur, I need a second consultation. You're not the doctor for me out here. Another Fudre art coming your way. <laughs> I'm here to seek a second opinion, sir. I don't trust your pressure. Get out of here. We're keeping you in the corner. Another oh, does. Okay. And another jump over. My man is aware. AJ did the Google research, said, actually, uh, I've done my research, and this vaccine that you're offering is not good enough for me. I need either the Pfizer, the Moderna, either one, the Johnson & Johnson, give screen. it to me now, because what you're giving <laughs> is not good enough. Get scooped. I don't know what the Eddie vaccine is, but it doesn't sound healthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Speaking of Eddie, we got the dust combos. Oh, man, not the charged ones, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Go through the wall. And this is it. Game point here for Dr. Dinosaur. Going to be taking it. 3-1. Wow, wow, that's... <sighs> Dr. That's Dinosaur tapping the PhD on the wall and said, look here, I don't care what you Google. I'm official. <laughs> I went to school for this. What did you even do? You just wore some jeans over here, acted like you knew something. Go Take sit down real quick. Take this prescription. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. Wow, that was just a, that was a great game overall. AJ yeah, played absolutely. that like, Don't let the three one scoreline surprise you. AJ did a really good job in that game. Wow. Oh man. So just the adjustments we saw from him, and this is what I love about three out of yeah. five at drive, is kind of like you were saying last game. You you can actually have that player adjustment. Um, yes. Because we have enough games to play, and that's that's one of the reasons I really love this game. Um, and we saw from AJ so. Got smoked by a pose. We saw what mm -hmm. four com like opposed into command grabs. Yes. So all right, what is what does AJ do? Okay, I'll pose it on the screen. I'm gonna grab you. We didn't yeah. see it a lot, but he got it enough in a couple key rounds. Um, in the one game that he won, mm -hmm. and he started challenging two P on hit, or at least using it to get out of pressure, which was very nice. But um, yeah, dude, Doctor Dinosaur was just too good. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, and that's the scary thing. It's so hard to get sets against good Zatos because they're mm. so few and far between i know you're all out there you're all just hiding in the shadows because yeah. you know look at your character that's what you do <laughs> yeah edge lords out there <laughs> but oh, you know it was it all it took was that one vapor thrust and yeah. it immediately put the fear of god in dr dinosaur like okay look one meteor was enough to put me extinct i don't need another one coming in let's relax over here reassess the situation because these two peas they were working earlier but let's keep back with the opposed situation oh yeah yeah, that was just a hell of a game. I gotta like yeah. take a deep breath, man. That was nice. That was nice. We can give you guys a quick break since we're 
we are waiting on our winners round three. Well, uh, as per tradition, we just run through our bracket list real quick to uh, appreciate everyone who joins. Indeed, oh, indeed. Gonna, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. So we got ourselves tonight, Kit, uh, one of the returning, I believe, former champions. He's definitely ranked uh, or seated first tonight. Lovely Axel play there versus... Looks like he's playing against Alex right now. We had Dr. Coomer, Mizuko with their fantastic Jacko, Shira, um, I has Swoop De Whoop, the May that I was playing earlier. We got Mello returning, AJ, who you just saw, Lucky XD, Dr. Dinosaur, uh, the bus driver, Shake, Waff, Guado, Sans Serif. Finna head out, Oberon, Arf Dude, Gone Mad, Eddie Fans, Matt the Kicker, Buckets DeWitt, Odd Eyes, Guard Devour, Devour? Gardevoir. Gardevoir, right, the Pokemon. Like, I, I should yes, know this by Gardevoir. now. <laughs> They've joined literally every single tournament. I should know this. Nice. Shampoo Goblin, Ventus Nocta, uh, Naya55, HCC, It's Kage, Cheesy117, Apollo FTC, and Black0796. A lot of familiar faces. I think only like five or six new people this week. But uh, thank you guys for checking this tournament out. I hope you guys uh, enjoy yourselves. Do you enjoy it. Yeah, Something. big thanks to everyone that rolled through. Um, mm -hmm. I'm told this is... Uh... How many entries do we have? 30? 32? 31 no, today. 30? It says 32, but one person didn't check in, so we got 31. Yeah. All right. Still, 31 entrance is pretty good. Uh, definitely bigger than a lot of the brackets I've been commentating lately. But, uh, but you said this was like a slow night? You guys have been having a Yeah, we've, we've, we've been having a slow month. Uh, so this month, we've been, been between 30 and 50 people. Um, for about so, two months, we're averaging 80, and our peak was 125. Uh, wow. Down. Yeah, so you know what it things is? have slowed down. Everything's slowed you, down. You know what it is? It's, at first, it was the Halo Infinite beta, and now you got the <laughs> Battlefield 2042 beta going on this weekend. So, you know, I understand. You know, understand. circumstances. Circumstances. Yeah, yeah, circumstances. I know. I'm, I'm a little upset. I'm not going to lie that I missed the Halo Infinite beta. Um, <laughs> no. it, looked like, it looked like some people were having mad fun with that. I'm not going to say I really enjoyed myself, oh, no. um, but I extremely enjoyed myself. Yeah. Uh, it was a great time. I've, I've seen oh, okay, your cool. I've seen your tweets. You love the shit out of it. All right, all right. You almost paid to be there for a minute. I thought I thought that was going. To I didn't want you to feel bad. You know, I didn't want to <laughs> just be like, yeah, I totally played a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, totally had a ton of fun. Oh man, no, you I've didn't miss out on anything. You know, it's just no big deal. <laughs> no big deal, dude. I've been um my my single player fix lately or not lately. It's today. I I picked up a. Uh, Picked up Ye Old and Metroid Dread. Oh yeah, Metroid that came out to fans. Me. Oh man, that's uh, that's a hell of a game right there. I am really enjoying that so far. No, uh, no spoilers, but I, I tell you what, the, the end of this year is going to be a mad dash to try to beat, not even just beat, but at least like play a bunch of games that are coming out. Of course, Back for Blood coming out in a couple days, uh, early access mm -hmm. for some of you folks out there already. And then, yeah, goodness gracious, what else? We got Halo, we got Battlefield. Forgot Tales of Arise came out last month, and I need to get that. Metroid Dread, Same. goodness. <laughs> There's too much going on right now. <laughs> yeah, I've heard uh, I've heard Tales of Arise is really good, too. Um, yeah. I, I'm a big Tales fan. I played, uh, it was a Symphonia back in the day, and that's like... Right, the Symphonias. Oh, man. One of my favorite, all-time favorite games is Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, you know, of course, they just added uh, the Sword Art Online crossover for you weebs out there, you know. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, not a bad crossover. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it was, uh, I'm not a Sword Art guy, but it looked, it, it looked pretty solid. Yeah, you know, for, if you're in a Sword Art, you're in a Sword Art. If you're not, you're not, no big deal. Easy as that, man. Sword Art so, is weird. I'll just put it that way. I know nothing about it. it. It's, I it's, a roller, it. it's a roller coaster anime for sure. Like oh, season really? one, I'm like, I'm in there. And then middle of season one, I'm like, what are you doing? This is middle weird. Season one, like, did I miss episodes? I feel like I missed episodes. <laughs> I didn't. What the fuck? It just got creepy really fast. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not do this. 
And then season two of the mirror is like, I don't even know what's going on anymore, but okay, I'll see it through. Oh boy, but then the end of season two though, come on, that warmed my heart. Like, mm -hmm. goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but yeah, anime is fun. Yeah. <laughs> and then you want to talk about crazy stories. Welcome to Guilty Gear, where we have no idea what's oh, yeah. going on, but it's all happening. It's just Daisuke's it's... fever dream. <laughs> it's his vision. It. It's his Welcome LSD to the backyard vision. where there's no barbecue here. But it's your backyard in a right. book. That's right. Developer backyard, rip, souls, uh, three frame, 5K. Oh, no. I'm going to uh, it. Don't you I do don't it. Know. I think he's you know, that. You know soul is not going to lose that. That's a staple. Uh, this, the, staple. the statement, well, A, they nerfed it in Zerd. It's, they have precedent. And then B, they said okay. that they're adjusting um, everyone's fastest normal, uh, normal oh, yeah. startup frame. So... That's true. They did say I'm, that. I'm yeah. trying. I'm pre prepping myself. For the we'll loss. see. I don't know. I just. I can't. Uh, I just can't fathom a, a universe where Soul gets nerfed in any kind of meaningful way, just based on you know the last several. Games I mean, years. the the, the <laughs> last the far slash nerf was reasonably meaningful. Like it was a reasonable nerf. Sure. I totally yeah. agree with it. But it was meaningful. You know. That, that was a nerf that was necessary. Like that yeah. was like a nerf that, like as a soul player, I'm like, I see that. Yeah, that, that's yeah. fine. This is yeah. fine. I agree. I was like, instead of two, instead of seven mixups in a row, I only get two. I'm like, okay, that's reasonable. I'm okay with that. Whatever. You can whiff punish this button now? Okay. You know what? It's been fun. I deserve this. I've I've harassed a few people with this button. They didn't deserve it. I deserve this problem. <laughs> Is HCC actually coming? Because we we've been waiting HTC. on it. Whereas we got Apollo FTC versus HTC. Oh, okay. And okay, HTC can't find the room. Right along. Oh, well, it's no. right here on the screen if you uh, if you looked at the, yeah, that's the stream. It's right there. Is it on? I'm the just stream? joking. No, I don't think it. I don't think it's on there. <laughs> just say watch the stream, and we're sitting right here in the room. It exists. It's here. <laughs> so they it looks like they restarted their uh their client which means that it was 10 minutes minimum uh which hopefully oh, gets fixed man. next week because they promised oh, us goodness. fixes oh, and not gonna lie to communicate with the server all the way to mars i'll be you, so happy dude. you know what's crazy is that melty blood just turned around and fixed their uh network problems in like a day they were like hey this, this have, looks um, kind of I mean, wonky they, not hey, perfect it's not perfect. It's not perfect. But they're at least like, you know what? Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. Here's the fix. I mean, like, they still have the For Street sure. Fighter V beginning netcode problems of, um, like, letting clients get out of sync and letting them, and in particular, since you can skip intros, they let them get out of sync, like, super easily. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's been just rough. That's a that's an interesting uh, dilemma, you know. Like some some games, like most of the time though, like my Just... matches have been really consistent. But then like, I do see the out of sync happen at, when you skip the intro. And then well, see, I like, mean, like that's such. Out. It feels to me as a non-programmer. You ever? I don't. I program barely, and I and I understand that I'm probably oversimplifying the problem, but. All that means is after after you skip an intro, you just need to leave at least like I don't know a quarter second to resync the clients. Um, Give a little even, load time, maybe. Yeah, no, like because you skip the you skip it, so then it goes right, right into round start. So just add a quarter second to that, and sync the clients. You, you know, I think they don't have the luxury of hiding it behind uh, just waiting on the ready because every other fighting game is like ready and then like you can't move. Like, oh, but that's what this it's game, there for. You can move. That's what it's there for. Sense. Just pauses for a second. <laughs> Hide all the, the malarkey going on. Now we get to see it all up front. Right here. Let's blame the beast, folks. Heaven or hell. Speaking of intros, we did what all chip players do. We watch our intro and skip your opponent. My <laughs> Damn right. fucking straight. Apollo FGC, you've just earned yourself a fan for life. <laughs> oh, nice burst though from HDC and gonna get DP'd immediately from Apollo. Brilliant stuff. Good pressure. Oh, we're going to mix up. Ooh, doesn't opt for the air dash mix up. Okay. Oh, oh, because we got that overhead. All right. Send my man through the wall. Apollo is looking hot in this matchup so far. Absolutely. Nice air to air here. Okay. 
approach. Well, Red RC, okay, gonna get the pickup and still get the kill. Nice job for the first round. That's the hard thing about this matchup is Axel. Um, there are some buttons where you just cannot bomb um, yeah. or neutral's over. You lost. Uh, I guess chip rather, because you move so fast. Oh, all right, we got some bombers coming on screen. Nice. Hello. Good anti air here. Nice. Make him think twice. There's the scoop forward. Ooh, RC, good thing we weren't pressing nothing. Yeah, that was great patience from HTC there. Very mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, I think uh, 2S is going to be a big factor in this matchup. Obviously, uh, Apollo is going to be trying to mix my man up. Mm -hmm. And if he can land some big counter hit 2S, Ooh. he's going to have a lot of damage. Command grab, RC. Oh, yeah. Oh, drop. Oh, no. oh, lucky break here for HTC. 2S, there it is. All right, Rensen, get the follow up. <gasps> oh, 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 last yeah, second jump out of that command grab there. One more attempt, though. Good. Rensen keeps you blocking, keeps you honest, but the jump 2K. Nice. There it is. 6K, hit him with the old surface to air missile. Get out of here. All right, one that. round of peace. Like, the trickster axle throws up by. Oh, you didn't see it? Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, you get a counter hit on any of those big buttons. Especially now with changes to uh, his time stop super. Exactly. You do a lot of damage. Exactly. Jump 2K. Good pressure here from Apollo FGC. Red RC, let's see if we got it this time. We do. No, we don't. Oh, no. I'm almost wondering if that's supposed to be like a tricky reset kind of thing. I don't know. I, you know, I, that, so. I can't see why you would do a reset, though. There weren't any resources available to worry about that as uh, from Axel. Okay, but sure. missed Shatter, though. That's a big opportunity here for Apollo. Missed opportunity for HTC. That's going to cost you here. Burst available. And it's gone. Oh, no. Oh, gets poked out by those fast K normals. Damn, yeah. all right. Game one. Going to Apollo FGC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that chip pressure was honestly really, really good. Um, I did not block as long as HTC did. Right. Yeah, no, it, it's tough to just keep holding that chip pressure because, you know, chips moving all over. You want to take your turn back, and especially as Axel, too, without a significant reversal to try to get out of these situations here and some anti buttons, like you said, too, that chip likes to play in between. It's, t oh, my God, oh, excuse oh my me? God. God to your reaction from Apollo. I'm assuming that was on reaction, but... Oh, wow. That was incredible. Um, yeah, that's one of those rounds where if you're HDC, you just got to kind of go, well, okay, I lost that one. Moving on. Got to have a short memory, you know what I mean? Oh, and there it is. All right, not afraid to challenge right there. Okay. Giving up a lot of space to chip, though. He's going to have to find a way out of the corner. Oh, no. Good block of the 2 H gets crossed up. The command grab is just not working here for HDC. That's, I don't know how many attempts, but I've not seen one connect at all this set. Yeah. You still got to throw it out to kind of keep uh, Chip guessing. Right. Um, but yeah, I, you, you want to go for the conditioning game a little bit too, you know? Right. Oh, That's I true. Really That's a very good burst. point. I nice. I love the burst there. Bomber There's loop? a burst available and it's going to be gone here. Just going to hold on to it for the next round. Wow. That's how this matchup goes. The chip can do all the work in the world, but if you make a mistake, Eating 60 uh, from those bomber loops. Exactly. There it is. So that's what I want to see more from HDC is uh, Renton with the uh, explosion follow up to kind of keep Apollo sitting there for another second. And then we can probably start seeing the command grabs a little more. Right. I respect the fact that he keeps doing it. Yeah, no kidding. You're, you're right too about that whole point of just like keeping your opponent conditioned to jump. You're constantly checking, like, hey, do you remember? You're not allowed to be on the floor right now. <laughs> yeah. I Real just cleaned it up. You got your dirty shoes on the floor. I'm sick of this. Nice burst block here. Clean up after yourself or I'm going to bait that burst. Damn, all right. No way. Yeah, that's the other hard part is ship can't punish you full screen. Wow. Oh, man. Another very great round from Apollo there. Absolutely. It's a rough way to lose because HDC played that. Pretty darn well, as you know, as well as he could have playing against Chip. This is just a rough matchup for Axel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. really, like you said, HTC is doing a great job. Just up against Apollo here. Apollo is just catching all the necessary combos here. There's a great burst for HTC. Ooh, we're hitting them. It works. Let's go. All right. Jump 2K. Mm -hmm. It's the shadow cone. You going to the corner. All right, he's ready for that this time. All right. 
Kind of got mixed by the old uh, diagonal alpha blade there, but. Oh. Nice, and once again, caught in the corner here. What will HDC do? No resources. Good jump out of the command throw, but not able to react in time to get a punish. 5K, stop sticking your foot out there. You're going to get caught. Stare down there. Almost gave you a heart attack. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. There's another command grab, and has the stop That's time it. ready to go. Oh, drop go. it. That's it. Oh, okay, okay. We got this. No! Oh, HBC, that was easy. please. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. Excellent air throw I can't there. take this. I can't. Don't do this to me. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. So, great air throw to finish it off now. Um, all right. Yeah, there it is. There's the Ren Sen. All right. Mm -hmm. Made out that 2 H. Yeah, if Chip whips that 2 H too, that's another big opportunity for HDC. A lot of recovery on that. Ooh, another adjustment here from HDC. Able to catch the wasted burst here. Okay, that's a big approach here from Apollo. Able to cancel. Nice YRC. HCC taking the turn back. Trying to get a sneaky grab in. Right. Oh, whips the J2K. That mm -hmm. was that was kind of scary, not gonna lie. All right, there it is. Challenge that time. Don't let him get away with that for free. I like it. Ooh, good patience here from HDC. The 5K catches wow. the Rekka series here from Apollo FGC. And finally put the point on the board. Nice work from HDC. Yeah, great spacing there. The, uh, the great awareness to know that it, you're uh, standing kick and hit there. Very nice. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, all right. Yeah, burst out. You do not want to eat one of those on round start because you will be going to the corner. Three hits, 40% for Chip, though. All right. <laughs> that's it. That That's what you got to do if you're HDC right there. Take your hits. Keep the pressure coming. Oh, oh my yes. God. I HDC. love it. Sending the message, I have reactions too. Good block here. Ooh, no punish. Time. I'm wondering if he knows the trick to punish that. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Clips him out of the air. Keeps the lens end pressure coming. Oh, and there it is. Oh Wish the 2H gets hit with the jumping medium. God, that was nice. That was beautiful. HDC is looking another frame of reference here. That resolution is no longer 1080p. We're hitting that 4K for HDC out here. <laughs> Yeah, it's official. I'm, I'm scared of HDC now. He does... <laughs> I, I play a little Axel on the side. He he does the mind game the opposite way that I do it, but it's working a lot better for him, so I, I'm wondering if it's time for an adjustment. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, my goodness. That gold burst, though, from Apollo is actually going to be a big deal right now. Has to weather the storm, and HDC barely making it out. There's the throw to start. Another command grab. This will be a big string here. Do we connect it this time? Whiffed again. I, you know what? I at this point I gotta ask this. You're, I think you're right. This must be on, on purpose. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's not a setup I'm familiar with. Um, right. But it's, it's a way to keep the pressure going. Yeah, beats it. Yeah, he knows how to punish it. All right, going a little too high, but that's okay. Oh, the, the command, command grab connection. Grab. Gonna do it. Yo. HDC bringing it to final game. All right. I'm not going to lie. Game one looked like Apollo was going to have this in the bag, was playing the matchup right. perfectly, but this adjustment has been so cool to watch. We're going to the final game. Apollo and HDC, two games apiece. Let's go. Absolutely. You'll love to see an underdog story. By no means is HDC an underdog, but it was starting to look that way. The 2-0 and now bringing it back here. No way! Hey, no punish! Oh, oh my God! God. HDC. HDC's been on point. Look, y'all were looking for that 8K on the PlayStation 5. It's right here. HTC <laughs> is on it. <laughs> Gonna need a new monitor for this HTC. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I got the back dash, though. Able to get the counter hit. Nice red RC. Yeah. Should be able to close it out. One more touch oh. will do it. Good Chip is factor right here. Yes, absolutely. FDing for your life. Doesn't matter. We take those trades here. Call GameStop. They're giving me 10 cents for this trade in. Yo, I gotta pick up Metroid Dread, son. I'm gonna need a couple more. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Chip pressure is coming back out. Oh, no. That's going to hurt. We're getting it this okay. time. Now, look at this. The I've damage. I've never seen that before. Yo, my man just hit him with the wall run Twitter combo. I've never seen that in a real match before. That's incredible. Wow. This is it for all the marbles here. We're playing all the cards. We finally got it set up here by Exodia. It's somewhere in the deck. I need a couple more pot of grease to finish this up here. I don't care if it's cheating. Nice <laughs> alpha blade. Oh, man. All right, final game, final round. 
Apollo will have burst back by, unless this round goes by at record speed. HDC already spending his. Not wanted to go into the Vortex early. Oh, but he's going to be in the corner. Face of this chip pressure. All right, where's the grab coming? HDC's defense has been OD this whole game. It's coming down to the grabs. Okay, wow, the jump 2K once again getting caught by it again. There's there another is. throw. No meter though. The dust! Oh, this Yo, is it, it right here. As long as we got the string, we do. Apollo taking here on the 14th mission to the moon. And that'll do it to advance 3-2 over HDC. Yo, I need some water. Right, yo, homie, some, somebody <laughs> so, somebody come to my house, come give me some water. Oh my gotta god. Gotta call the Uber Eats for some water real quick. <laughs> wow. Like, you don't, yo, you don't need was... to go anywhere. Just go into my kitchen, pour me a glass of water. Yeah, Bring it over. I'll give, I'll give you a dollar if you come over here. Uh, <laughs> well, that, that game was incredible. Like, wow. I, I'm still kind of reeling from that. The back and forth there, right up until the last second of that game was mm. that was one of the best sets of guilty gear like in terms of just most fun to watch that i've seen in a while yeah oh my goodness wow. uh, in two crazy characters you know axel but on the rise but chip mm. is always such an explosive character that combo on the wall was insane from <laughs> apollo out here oh my yeah. god i'm going back I'm, I'm making a clip of that i'm not gonna lie that's <laughs> that's I'm, I'm i'm keeping that one that was incredible <laughs> so i i've that's there's been a couple because of the way that his standing heavy works in the wall combos, you can kind of do some funky stuff like that. But I have never seen right. anything that no. wild before. No. You know what I mean? That was, wow. That was quite an extensive combo. I mean, yeah. Yeah, insane uh, stuff from, uh, from Apollo here. Really uh, setting the pace, showing us up here with that, uh, that chip play. I, oh, my goodness. What a set. Everyone else has a hard time for the rest of this entire bracket. Y'all better... Do something real <laughs> sick out here because finna yeah. head out is coming up against Apollo FGC. And you know what? If if I'm finna, I'm finna beat on Apollo all the way to the moon. I don't care. Look, Tom Hanks was in one movie and that was it. There was no Apollo 14 <laughs> mission after that. I'm pretty sure there was. If Tom was. Hanks wasn't in it, it, it wasn't. The Tom no. Hanks wasn't in it. Wasn't canon. It's not canon if Tom Hanks isn't there. <laughs> uh, he was sitting there. John Glenn, come on. It shouldn't be Apollo yet. Uh, Apollo should be next. We're going to get Kit and Waff up first for our uh, top side of eight. winners. Top eight. Oh, Kit, a fantastic a Axel eight. player. Waff, a fantastic uh, Anji player. You know, really yes. taking advantage of the uh, Anji buff. So, super looking forward to this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anji is now a super fun character to watch. I thought he was super sleep <laughs> when this game came out. Oh but, yeah, he was uh, such uh, ass when it came out. Now, now we, all you just give him a wave dash, dude. That's all you needed. Oh Ooh. shit, he's sick now. Ooh, okay. That's the big jump in. Nice dance on him. Set up the butterflies into an eagle. What kind of Pokemon is that? Starts off as a bug and turns into a bird. Like that's cheating. That is cheating, isn't it? That's a whole type switch. You can't do that. Damn. Eevee. Anyways, oh, yeah. <laughs> speaking of cheating Pokemon, Andre does the old roll through and hits him for a million damage. Oh, oh my god, man. the overhead bounce up. Let's go. Carry over to the corner. Give me a wall. No, just go. That's true. Dude, what can you do after go? Almost just wants to keep the uh, the pressure game going here. Doesn't right. want to have to chase Axel again, and you know, I don't want to. Right, you know, that's a solid decision to make. Getting in on Axel and Sanji is not a fun time. <laughs> Even with the uh, iframes there on the screen. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Clip at the low. That's going to be it. Yo, so this matchup, I don't know how much you've seen Axel and Anji. This matchup is another just bonkers matchup. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very... I've not seen this matchup very often because uh, Anji is tough to come by. Axel, like I said, has definitely been on the rise. But Anji is putting in work right now. Nice burst. Great decision here. Yeah, Waff definitely very comfortable with the play. Whiffing the charge, Dust! Oh, no! Oh, counter hit Fusion. That, oh, no, not death. Okay, no uh, no resources to play with. That's okay. Keeping the pressure going. Spend the PRC. Mm -hmm. Keep Axel in the corner. Trade. Oh, we'll chip his factor here. Got to be That's real careful if you're Kiet. Oh, the dance once again. Doesn't matter. Yo, up. <laughs> Another one. You ever you see just someone spinning at you like that? You don't know what to do. You ever <laughs> watch those YouTube videos of street fights and you see someone twirling around? The other guy does not know what to do. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what's happening when Anji comes approach. Let's spin That's it. Absolutely. Oh, man. Wow. All right. Game one going to Anji. Good Anji play coming out. Um, they did a really good job of that. Uh, very proficient at understanding which moves you can uh, spin against Axel. Axel trying to force his way out. Oh, man. Burst out on the overhead. Okay. Ooh. I like the grab option there. Good awareness. Side switch going back in the corner, but at this rate, he's going to force him out. Oh, no. Grab. All right. No meter here. Can't keep it going. But once again, chip is a factor. He is almost out of meter, so he can't FD too much. He's got to poke his way out. Can't let Anji back in. I say that as he comes back in. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> yeah, you hate to see it. All right. Wow. Dominant from Wafek to that kid uh, round. Excuse me. Very nice boy. Very nice. Look at real Wow. The cross under and nice back dash here from Kip, but the gold burst does connect. Nice air throw here. Have to hold the fan pressure. Nice overhead in the purple RC. Still keep that pressure going. Oh my god. Watch wow. the angles. What do you do? Honestly, you see. Yeah, have wow. to. Yeah, have no to. resources. Yeah. You're starting to run out on FD. Like, oh no. Whiff throw. That's. Woo! You don't want to see that. That's a perfect. That is a perfect right there to, to close out game two. Um, Anji's one of those characters, too. I feel like you see a lot of perfects on either side. Either Anji just rolls right over you or gets schmixed and dies. Mm -hmm. um, that was just two games, right? Or was that three? I'm, am I tripping right now? That's two. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm wondering if we are going to see a character switch here. Do we know? Does Kit play anyone else? I vaguely um, remember. Not, I don't think I, so. Yeah, I don't think so either. All right. I remember you saying he was an Axel player, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, but man. you know what? Sometimes you want to take a second. And I respect right. that. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. it, it's, it's the right really decision. important. You know, especially you get blown up like that with the perfect. And if it's really taking its toll on you mentally, like, you definitely want to take a moment to think about it. Like, okay, wait. How can I adjust myself here and try to fix things out? Oh, dear. That dance. Devastating. Fed the burst early. I like that decision. You get it back so fast in this game, and you do not want to deal with this Anji corner pressure. All right, here we go. So yeah, this is this is going to be the rest of the set right here. It's just freaking Axel running away from Anji. Got him at half health though. <laughs> okay, we are we are in. Meter oh should start to come back soon. Axel still has some. Can spend YRC here or go for a super, but it doesn't matter. Anji's taken. Round hold one. On. Hold on, hold on. Are we just gonna ignore how dirty that butterfly mix was? That was disgusting. Yeah. I mentally I wasn't prepared to cope with that because I got smoked by it. So I, I just kinda wanted to glaze over it, you know? But <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. That was that was that was hot. That was hot. That was a good one. Oh, grab, honestly. Waff is just Really trying to work their way back in. So it's great to see the adjust the swap, right? You know, you were just playing strong offense. Now you're playing an excellent defense, trying to make this approach, being really patient, not trying to rush in, and finally getting caught by Command Grab. You can't dodge them all. No, definitely not. Not against a character like Axel. And it's definitely not as a strong Axel like yet, you know? Yeah. I like how he's checking him with 5 and 2P. Oh, yes. there it is. All right. Jump pass, very nice. Um, yeah, good, good. Not as big of a commitment option because of that spin. <laughs> oh, oh made wow! The that time, son. Hold that dust. Positive bonus. Already got a meter on deck. This approach here. Summon skulls dead in the background over there. Explain <laughs> what happened. That's, that's what happens to your defense is what, 1,100? Yeah, you know, yeah. you get caught with the black hole and it's over. It's over. Speaking of over, wow, just, just that was 3-0. Wow, all right. Um, damn, I, I don't really have much to say about that. That was just, that was good, clean Anji fun, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Man. Anji is a great character to watch, especially when somebody is really doing well mastering mm. uh, uh, that character. When you're a character specialist, with Anji, you've been through thick and thin. You've been through the worst, and it's only going to get better from here in most cases. I mean, it depends upon the game, but this game, they're doing Anji right. Yeah. Um, especially with, uh, I, I believe I saw level 1900 from Waf as Anji. Right? So About definitely that, yeah. put the work in. <laughs> definitely put the work in. Um, 
very like and you could tell by the way they were playing just yes. very very comfortable with that character all the ranges the only real like big whiff we were seeing was um the charge dust a couple times and i think that was more just because kiet knew the setup and um fd it you know yeah, yeah absolutely i would like to see because at least this soul with his privileged uh three frame <laughs> right you know <laughs> and there's overhead's reactable to uh, to punish with the three framer like straight up it's 25 frames so even with the six frame you're, st you're yeah. still good like you're still good you just you should punish. you should never ever let an anti overhead you it's got that yellow glow it's so right. easy to see i get so tight <laughs> i get so tight when people get hit by that but you know, you know another move that's like that for me is like uh, watching Birdie do uh, dolphin dive. When Birdie dolphin dives, I see that sucker come at me like, "Hey, that's gonna that's gonna hit me. Should do something about it." Oh, I got grabbed. Okay, I right, well. I try at least with the ex. Hey, I try and any ear it every time. I try and do like a crouch yeah. or something, and I get hit. I'm like, I'm I'm an idiot. Literal it's moron. Just, it's basic you just gotta tell yourself it's unblockable. Like you know, there's nothing you could do. It's unbeatable. Yeah. Unblockable, unreactable. <laughs> Unreactable. It's impossible. Impossible. That's that's my strategy for anti pressure. <laughs> yeah. Everybody tells me that overhead's reactable, and man, I, I think about that every time I get hit by yep. it. You know. <laughs> it, that's why it's yellow, right? That's why it's a big bright yeah. yellow. It's like, by the Which way, the you could have reacted dust. to this, but uh, you didn't. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that they kept it a similar color scheme as dust. It's like, yo, this yellow mm -hmm. orange color. That means it's an oh, overhead. Oh, that's true. Fucking well, okay. block it. Which is really smart. Uh, and you know what? Playing another smart character out here from Apollo FGC, keeping up with that glorious chip play. Let's see if you get another hit on the highlight reel here. Or we see the shutdown from Finna Headout's Kai, Fudre Arc to start. What a great name, too. Shout out to Finna Headout. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, obviously I'm biased. We got chip on the screen, so y'all know who I'm rooting for. But, um,. Finna head out's been doing a good job of kind of controlling the space right up. Ooh. So I, I that out loud. Good DP, all right. Jump 2K, no more over here. Nice DP in return for Apollo. Yeah, burst out of oh there. My oh, God. no. Yeah, let's get the burst right out, too. Finna wants to hold on to that lead. Yeah, that was uh, especially off counter hit 6H six, six there. You do not want to eat that damage. Wow. Exactly. exactly. All right, not a lot of people know to do Alpha Blade there, um, but that was a very nice little uh, little sneaky hit there from Apollo, eating the command grab. Wow, did I jump in? Got the shock state applied, and Boudre Arc, you ran into it. It's your fault. <laughs> yeah, that's what I see. That's what happens to me every time I see that move. Well, that's my fault. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, good spacing from Apollo. All right, we got the bombos. And this pressure, too. Ooh. Nice oh, 5k. Okay, yeah, good I'm gonna carry. head out. Not afraid to chat. Nice. No, not at all. Yo, keep with the lows once again. Hey, if it keeps working, I'm just gonna keep using it, and Apollo has to find an answer. Starting out strong here. Good shatter. Gonna get that positive bonus to catch up in resources. Because look at Finna. Does not oh. care. Okay, we caught up in resources. Let's go. The counter hit bursts immediately, though. I don't want to deal with the purple RC. The Very counter. Smart. Yo! Oh no, we got meters yet. Yeah, I was gonna say. Smooth. That might be death. This does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, you're dead. Oh, no, no, the guts kicked in. Again, good jump out of the command grab too yeah. for Finna head out. One you more interaction. Yeah. Ooh, good air to air jump 2K. Nice low block from Finna. Go oh. overhead, yo, and you could see him trying to poke out too. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. The UK, if you would have done 6P, it would have rocked. What a rock to even 5 feet at that range. There right, you know. exactly. Oh, all right. Good challenge in the Alpha Blade there. Yep. It's not his turn anymore. Very nice. You got to appreciate the delays from Finna Head out here. Every oh, time is Ash and Apollo. Beautiful. I'm definitely learning, learning a little bit watching this Kai play. I'm you know, when, when you're playing Kai, you do have to, like, the fundamentals work so well for Kai, especially in a neutral situation here. Yo, getting caught like that is not a good look right now. And I'm trying to compliment you. What are you doing? <laughs> the classic commentator's curse. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, here we go. Reapplying that pressure, putting yes. Apollo in shock state. Plus frames. Okay, yep. 
No challenge there. Apollo knows that's plus. Very nice. Six P challenge. Dare you to come out. Nice air to air here. The DP comes out. Of course. Excellent meaty though from Finna. Perfect timing. You can see Apollo scared for that too. You can see yes. the hesitation on wake up. All right. Right. That's very good from Finna. Because, I mean, how many 5Ks have we seen just interrupt something or at least start up in a delay situation? Danger is on the way. Not going to matter too much. Purple RC gets spent. And, oh, my God, the pickup here. Not going to kill. Oh, just a little bit left, but we're going to get that positive bonus. Ship does have first available in his yeah. final round. Yeah, has to be careful. Oh. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Over the projectile. Hell, yeah. All right. Wow. Very nice from Apollo there. That's just oh man, that was just game yes. one. Woo! All right, we got we got at least two more. Let's go! Holy smokes! Woo! Both these guys are playing really well. Oh yeah! Oh, I love this. You gotta appreciate the the methodical pacing from Finna head out here. You kind of have to as a Kai player, really yeah. control the situation, force Chip into some bad scenarios with Shock State especially too. Nice DP here into Alpha Blade. The pickup with K. Not gonna get the full quite yet. There it is. The 6k fake out there was beautiful. Wow, very well picked for Paolo. DP! Alright, yeah, we will I see that. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for one of them to get thrown. I don't see enough people throw DPs, or like throw wake-ups. Like, yeah. It's reactable in some cases. You see that reversal pop up, it's my time. And especially if um, you use blue RC on wake-up too, that, that is a yes. super strong option. Not yep. a lot of people do that. It's a big risk, but then it can send a message to us that mental mind game after the fact. All right, well, here we go. Good block. Approach. Shock State. Yo, I can't believe you blocked that. That's insane. Apollo is on another level when it comes to defense right now. Great throw to close out the round. Wow, that was just great patience there, waiting for the perfect window to get the grab and that close out the round. Absolutely. Woo! 6P, yeah. we're going to the corner. Watch the DP. Right. Oh, base the burst! Okay. I, I, did he just side switch by accident? What happened? Yeah, uh, you know what? We just let it rock. You know, sometimes it's happy accidents, and we just got to keep playing. Play as yep. the cards fall. Oh, man, I think that was, uh, that was an almost 6P there. He just came down on the wrong side. That is yeah. unfortunate. Oh, a double wow! Blade. That's what? a very risky thing to do, but no! it makes you feel like a god. Not oh, enough to finish it. Yeah, because you didn't have enough meter. If you would have had enough to ride the lightning right there, it could have been it. Nice jump out of the command grab. Get a jump heavy to close out that round. One more for the game, too. Jeez, this is only game two. Oh, my I know. God. All right, all right. Deep breath. Woo! Shock state. Oh, we're out of there. Oh, all right. Reapplied. 6P. Yo! 6P. Let's go. <laughs> Let him know. Show him the elbow. This is the people's elbow, Finna. Oh wow, big DP. Okay, nice interaction here. 6P to set up, 5K, and watch the ankles once again. You don't forget. I know you're not wearing any steel toes. Your toes are out in the open. They're gonna get diced up. You gotta cover them up. Oh, man, yeah, we, we've kind of seen the adjustment for Finna there on that diagonal out the blade. Right. Um, starting to punish that one. Very nice, got the sexual on this matchup. Ooh, I mean, all right. just the defense for Finna has been absolutely insane. Just really understanding yeah. this matchup and how Chip works. Wouldn't surprise me if I found out both these cats like played together a lot too. But... Right, that too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Look, they are regulars for online locals, so it's to be expected at this point, right? You're all yeah, taking note. Yeah, absolutely. Woo, clips up with the low, no conversion. Yeah. Tough, lots of pressure in this corner. The risk gauge is pretty low, so nothing too significant, but this splatter is. Oh, no forward tech, we get out of this <gasps> Yo, big punish. Immediately going for the hard knockdown here. We want the chonky damage. Let's catch up. Love that decision. Get the Oki here. <gasps> oh, the PRC. Ah! That, was a, that was a good call from Apollo. The oh, the trade. The yep. Yep. Wow. wow. The movement for Finna head out, the, the decision making was extremely crucial right there in that scenario here because Apollo could have exploded right there and turned things around. If Finna just kept patient, you know, just because there's blood in the water doesn't mean you gotta react. Absolutely. Especially against a character like Chip, it's sometimes oh, yeah. it's easier to let him hang themselves. 6P, 6P, alright. So well, Apollo's starting to block these 6Ps, which is nice. Yeah. He had a couple of dicks down. Hold this. The big fireball for you, nice. 
6P attempt. Yep, you see Apollo be real hesitant to make that approach. DP again. And you know what? That's on a run up too, so that's hard to react to at all. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, the DP off the burst. All right, I like that decision. Get yourself out of the corner no matter what. All right, here we go. The ship is about to be a factor for Chip. Uh, assuming, of course, that Finnick can get back on offense. Right? Here we go, Poudre. No interaction quite yet. No challenge here. Nice pressure. Finn is in trouble. Nice cross up gets blocked. Great stuff here from Finn. Right, Apollo's pressure is insane. Nice low, caught you. That purple RC helping out the command grab. No dodge for you, and it does kill. Wow, round two going to Apollo. All right, game three, final round. Here we go. Oh my goodness. That was very nearly a whip. <laughs> it's gone the same way every game so far. <laughs> so who's going to take the lead between these two? Yeah, I love the back and forth. Gold burst! Oh, yes! All right, that's huge. Yeah, yep. Finna has free reign here, able to keep up the pressure. Nice. Keep Shock State on twice. Doesn't matter, though. Apollo finds the way out. Vapor Thrust does not hit the Alpha Blade. Nice. Has to play the neutral. Great approach here. Nice. Yeah. Oh, boy. Big punish on the burst. Can't kill quite yet. One more. That's going to do it. Wow. Game three is going to Finna. Oh, man. All right. So it's 1-2. Yes. Win is on final, uh, excuse me, match point. Wow. Yes. Yes. Match point for Fiddle right now. Oh, the sweep. All right. He's just been eating the lows the past couple times. I don't know if he's trying to up back or what, but damn. Oh, nice. Yo, got crossed up. That's a bad look right now for Fiddle. I mean, Fiddle was doing great in general and still holding their own pretty well here. Nice return after the YRC. Oh no, jump 2k into the low. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, has the guts picking in right now too. Finna can still hold out here. Has to make something happen. Burst is still available and oh my God, Apollo yep. spent it. Yeah, I kind of I kind of like that decision. Yeah. It's worth taking round one, especially when Finna's at that low health. Right, true. Ooh. Okay. Oh my goodness, the jump out, double jump just in case. The 6P still catches it, Eureka. Oh man, so little known fact about Chip's command grab, it's actually plus on whiff. <laughs> no, that's a joke, but it, it looks oh like my that's God. what it is. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. You could have fooled me, honestly. <laughs> well, you're right. like that when you're playing against them. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> I would have told dude. everybody. I would have gone to my local, but you know, that's you know, plus. That's plus? <laughs> people look, what, the, what did you say? Excuse me? Oh man, I'm trying to get Chip uh, stealth nerfed out here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my fellow <laughs> Chip mates. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> chip mates. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> oh man. Speaking of which, Chip is just running this mix right now. Oh no, the 6 H counter hit. Oh, all right. We go to the corner. Oh, I like the DP bait right there. Oh no. Awesome. Speaking of DP bait. Oh man, oh, Apollo's no. gonna be taking that one. Yep. And that's it, 2-2. Two, two. We're going into final game, yo. Dude, I, I know we were kind of joking about how, uh, who was it, Apollo and, um, who do you, who do you play before? HDC set the bar, but the yeah, last yeah, yeah. Been hot yes, too. Absolutely. Like, yo, coming out, man. Oh, that was almost a really nice combo. Okay, try to go for the air to air. Good stuff. You're trying to control the pacing, and yes, Finna does it. Forces out a burst right there, too. Big counter hit. Let's get another slash in there, too. Goodness gracious. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, counter hit 6H. It's not as, like, screwed up as it was in previous uh, iterations of Guilty Gear, but you still get a lot of damage from that move. Yeah. Ooh, I like the block of the cross up there from Fitta. Very nice. Just keep the pressure plus frames going. Nice jump out here. Oh, my God. The DP. Overhead. Ooh, Catch this. All right. With style, too. Apollo picking it up. Yeah, Apollo is looking really good right now. Um, and even if he loses this round, he will have first for the final round. Good block of the Alpha Blade. Very nice. Run up far slash. Oh, no. The falling heavy. Whiffs the grab, and Apollo punishes with a grab of his own. Very nice. Oh, what a DP. 
Good block here. Excellent patience from Finna, recognizing the situation here. And another DP. Look, I ain't gonna get caught by another one of your DPs out here, Apollo. I got yeah. some shock state for you. Got some DPs of his own too. I like the aggressiveness from Finna. This is very nice. Oh, no. Yes. Great burst. All right, keep him in the corner. Don't give him any ground. I love that decision. Yeah. Okay, Red RC here. Let's carry this corner to corner here. Headed over to the west coast. Yo, Jeez. counter hit. Oh no, doesn't. Oh, Big opportunity. Man. Wait a minute. Yeah. The burst is still there. All right, oh, last the attempt for both players here, but this is the big moment here for Finna has to clutch it out. That's your opportunity. 16. That's it, dude. Yeah, throwing out that diagonal alpha blade of neutral is so risky, and Finna made sure to punish him on it. I love it. Ooh, that was a nice little cross up. Exactly here. Finna is trying to thread some needles out here. Nice. Gonna get a punish. Another one. All right. I don't know if he's trying to up back, but he caught him. Oh, no, there it is. Look at this. The reversal does come out. Nice speedy. Oh, my God. All right. Apollo taking you to the sky once again. Good patience here from Finna. Nice block on the cross up, but doesn't get the second one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Burst, burst is built here. Yep. Got it. Let's take the turn back. Hold this. I have full meter. Yeah, still one more I like to play with. But Apollo is burst back already. Oh, my God. This is it for all the marbles, and what a way to go. I would think this is winner's finals, but it's not here. It's just the beginning. He baited it. Excuse me? He baited it. That's it. Is... Apollo took it. Yo. Oh, my God. I, I Okay, so at the start of that round, I, I almost said Finna's got this. Just because of how dominant he came out of the gate in that final round. But Apollo clutched it out right at the very end. Yo, that was like... Oh, wow. That was a hell of a set, bro. GG's to Apollo oh, and yes. GG's to Finna. I, we're we're going to see Finna head out again. Um, he's still in top eight, still alive, just headed to the lower side. Yo, what a set, dude. Yeah, the I mean, Apollo has been putting on a show tonight, that's for sure. And not only that, but HDC and Finna head out, putting on a show as well, able to keep up with the speedy Presidente chip themselves. Thank you so much for the games. And if you're all tuned in right now and your friends aren't here, tell them to get in right freaking now. Tweet it out because <laughs> right this is it. the yeah. bracket you want to be watching tonight. Oh, man. I know. Usually usually Friday night is my night to uh, head down to Boston to okay. uh, keep their local. Um, but I work at 7 in the morning tomorrow, and I refuse Oof. to be on the road at 2 a.m. So Right. Yeah, that's a terrible time. It kind of worked out great, though, because I would not have seen these matches otherwise. And I am so glad to be here right now. These yeah, absolutely. Are, these are some of the high, like the higher level matches outside of like exhibition play that we've seen that I've seen so far. Right. Yeah. No, this has been a tremendous series of sets here. We're going to have Waf come back up against uh, Kiet uh, by the looks of it as well, too. So, uh, yeah. no, Paulo, so the Chalones died. So oh we can't God. update any of the scores. So I'm doing a paper bracket right now. Oh, no. So we got okay, so winner's we're... final. Oh, yeah, duh. Apollo yeah. <laughs> versus <laughs> Wah. I was just about to say, this matchup is another wild one. I wouldn't be surprised if we see two or three perfects in this set. Um, just because that is how this matchup goes. Either you roll or you get rolled. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, both these cats have kind of shown us they're, they're able to adjust and have very strong offense. So let's, let's yeah, see what I'm... they got. I'm really curious here, you know, uh, WAP was able to kind of uh, play their game how they wanted to against uh, uh, Dr. Dinosaur earlier. It, it was a pretty tough set, I mean, for both players involved here. Now these overheads are going to connect here. Plenty of damage, especially the high guts that uh, Andre has as well. This will be a tough time for Apollo here. But Apollo doesn't seem to care. No one told Apollo coming in at this. Yeah, that's the thing. Anji doesn't really have a DP or anything like that. He's got right. a counter super, but that's it. Ooh, very nice Ooh. grab there. Um, yeah. So he can't just get mixed. But as I say that, slap, slap, slap. There you go. You're going down. Round one's going to Anji. Anji cooling off Apollo here. Look, you've been on fire the last couple games. I ain't trying to fan these flames. I'm trying to smother them. And you got to think the mental game is uh, mm -hmm. it's got to be playing a factor at some point too. Like Apollo has got some slow sets. Yes. Oh my goodness. You know that exhaustion factor back to back as well too. But I mean, yeah. hey, uh, you know we've all been used to this online scenario here, and Apollo is no stranger to it. Loft yeah. though, on the other hand, trying to shut things down real quick. Oh, crap. There we go. I like that. 
Yeah, you can definitely do that a lot more than against a character like Kai. Because, you know, you get worried about DP on approach. There we go. Ooh, try to chase down the wave dash there, but that's gonna be it. Game one going wow. to uh going to Waff. Wow. Alright. So we, we've seen Apollo on the back foot already tonight, and we've yep. seen the adjustments. So I, I'm really looking forward to this next game, see what he got to play. Game two, we're getting right in it. With the heavy though. There it is. Okay. So I believe that's real now, is you can almost always grab chip out of a, a, a block J2K now, just like in the old games. Mm -hmm. Good awareness from Block. Gap check. Burst out of the corner. Yeah, you don't want to do it that mix. Nice. The overhead and burst immediately, though. Yeah. Good call. That's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Especially absolutely. The corner. <laughs> could have been dead. You see the meter right there? That could have been death. Nice purple Ooh. RC. Tries to go fan. Good jump out though, but the trade. We take those. Still keeping pressure for Waff. You see again that wrist gauge is cranked. I was about to say, look at that wrist gauge. Oh my He's god. Going that's it. Oh no. Yo, that's the other thing about this matchup. Even just even as Chip ripping the DP is scary. Since he could just do that. Oh man. All right. Yo, Waff is looking very good right now. Grab. Pressure in the corner. Counter hit. We got meter. Oh, we're going through anyway. Yep. Use the super. All right. What's the Oki? Where's he going? Yeah. It's going to be big here. One more touch. We'll do it. The chip is a factor, but chip is awakening here. Another command grab. Watch out, though. Big meter is available here for Waff. Yo, I think that was almost a whip air grab. I think Waff knows that setup. All right. This just oh, got scary. Yeah. There it is. I, I, yeah, I like that decision from Waff. He felt pretty safe throwing a button there, uh, knowing that I'll win even off a trade. Uh, right, exactly. I mean, what else, you, what else do you have, really, even if it was in overdrive? I mean, I had, like, Anji has massive buttons. You can shut down a lot of challenges in air-to-air -air when they're completely active. So Anji doesn't really have to be too concerned. Yeah, and uh, if you're Waff, you're definitely not concerned right now because you are setting right. a comfortable two-game lead. Yeah. the birds to keep him in the corner, control that space. Oh, yes. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, there's the uh, diagonal alpha blade again. Okay. okay, keep the pressure. Alpha activates a second one. The reversal gets shut down here. Waff is taken to the skies once again, but 6P is coming out from Apollo. The overhead pickup. Yeah, it looks like you autopiloted the RC there. Um, definitely the safe thing to do when you're playing against somebody gets blocked. The grab, yes, that's how you punish spin. Are you trying to wave chase? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, overhead is going to connect that. here. Big opportunity. Not picking up for the shatter. That's unfortunate. DP does come through. And that's the unfortunate thing for Anji, right? The Fujin, Fujin series is just DPable after the first strike. So it's just like, okay, well, if you got that, oh my god. As soon as I say that, we forgot to DP oh, out of that, that overhead. Freedom. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yo, this is, this is set point for Watt right here. Right. Jesus. Okay. The fan stays plus. Nice. I'm wondering if Apollo is being too patient on defense almost because he's eating a couple of those uh, those overheads. A right. lot of damage. And gosh, you know, you got to wonder if there's some hesitancy just because of the parry attempts that uh, Anji can potentially put out here. Waff has been catching a lot of strong neutral situations. Going to get the shatter here, and Apollo will start gaining that positive, looking real great going into this second round of the third game. That's my favorite chip wall break combo, by the way. I'm so glad Apollo knows that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So we were talking about Apollo to make an adjustment earlier. This might be yes. it. Game three, final round. Oh, no, but Anji is going to put chip right in the corner. Burst out, and I think that was another overhead. Yeah, it certainly was, but the clash ending in chip's favor here. Apollo trying to keep the pace going, but Ko taking things out. Look. Anji controls so much space, right? Just because of these normals that are going out. Big charge dust. That might be death. We have the combos. That's no. death. Oh there my god. Wow, we were talking about guts earlier. Chip doesn't have guts. He's just a little skinny boy. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Wow. Great that here. Turning it around. I, I'm blown away by that. We we watched Apollo play mm -hmm. some of the some of the best games I've seen from a chip player in 
a long time. Um, right. And Waff just came in. And I believe, was that 3-0? That or was 3-0. Jesus. I think that was so, 3-0. That's yeah. insane. So, yeah, Waff is going to be sitting very comfortably on grand finals. Um, yes. Who, where, where are we at with the bracket? The last thing I have is um, yeah, losers so top eight died. Uh, so yeah, we yeah. got loser side top eight, Dr. Dino uh, versus... Okay. Um, hold on, Dr. Dino. I lost my place. Dr. Dino versus Mizuko. Okay. On stream, so we got um, Mizuko, our resident Jacko player. You know, fantastic. Yes. Obviously, fans. They're in top eight, right? They're obviously good at what yes. they do. Uh, I love watching Jacko's play, especially good Jacko's. Mm. It just it feels mm. like the skill ceiling is so high. Yeah, you brought up um, Mizuko's Jacko earlier, and I've been hoping to see it ever since. So I'm super glad we're gonna get to see some Jacko on screen. Mm -hmm. um, Doctor Dinosaur, we already saw. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like for the last top eight slot, it looks like HDC was still alive when the bracket was still up. Is that still true? As HDC yes, so it's going to be HDC versus Eddie fans. <laughs> oh, oh Eddie of... fans, huh? All yep. Right. Not just the only one. It's Eddie. Any of them. <laughs> um, cool. All right. And then, of course, we still got uh, Fit Ahead out and yet still alive. <laughs> All right, here we go. So yeah, Dr. Dinosaurs, Zato versus Miyagi. Oh, all right, counter hit right off the bat. This is not where you want to be if you are Zato. That's okay, yeah. poke out. Like you were talking about earlier, Zero, that 2P just poking right out. Oh, of course. It, it's the go-to. It's the emergency button for Zato. Is there a gap here <laughs> accidentally? Uh-uh. Got to hit the brakes, hit the emergency brake. Oh, speaking of which though, tried to hit the emergency brakes up first, gets baited, no big punish. Why are Oh out of the my pressure? god! Jesus, what a, what a sequence there. Yeah, that back Woo! dash was beautiful from uh, my Zico. My. I'm sorry, my Zisco? I want to make sure I pronounce that right. I do apologize. I have no idea. I just call him Mizuko. My Zisco. Mizuko? Okay. If you're in Twitch chat, let us know. Hit us with the uh, phonetic uh, <laughs> spelling there. We'll, we'll do what we can. All right, yo, game one going to a Jacko, though. I love it. My Zisco. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Right. I promise I'll only mess that up two or three more times. So. <laughs> this <laughs> Halloween season out here, we got the proper orange and black colors for the season. Yeah. Okay, keep the pressure. Shut down the minion here. This is going to be an interesting match, right? Because, you know, Zato is generally able to zone out a lot of fireball stuff, and I'm not 100% sure how those interactions work against minions, and it looks like even trying to reflect minions, it does not matter here. I mean, it's it's she's similar enough to... She's not quite XR Jacko, but you don't right. want to let her get full screen and just start setting up on you, you know what I mean? Right, exactly. Um, so both these guys are going to have to play like kind of an interesting, like, going at your own pace, uh -huh. and I, I think that's going to decide how this match goes, but uh, early game one going to... Uh, uh, my, my Cisco, my Cisco. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I have to check again. Um, but yeah, here we go. Round two, game two, excuse me. I'm already seeing the back and forth. The chip damage, too, from Jacko is not to be trashed. I don't know if you've seen that Sonic Fox infinite chip loop, but it's very scary. Sonic, please, chill out. <laughs> Just for a second. Oh, there's that command grab. So we saw that when we when we uh, saw Dr. Dinosaur playing earlier. Yes. He uh, presses the command grab. And I'm you know going to be very curious to see how it factors into this match. Yeah, I do like the choice of Shatter here, too, because it resets that playing field. No minions on the deck, right? Just able yeah. to kind of go in for fun. Okay. Get scoops. Oh, God. Yeah, YRC, but minions are still out. They're shut down immediately. Good. Punish here from Little Eddie. Gonna keep the chip damage going once again. The poke out from Jacko. Oh my god, all right. Yikes. No meter, okay. can't confirm to death, but that's okay. Set up some minions. A press. Oh my oh, god. Damn. I guess it could be a press in this scenario. All right. My Cisco going up a ramp. It's, so I guess the, the, the correction is me, as in Michelle. So it's. Mizisco. 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 Oh, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> I told you I messed it up a couple more times. I, I want to make sure I get it right, though. I, I do apologize. Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry. Man, right. dude, their pressure is so good, especially dealing with um, Eddie at full screen. I feel like they're doing a very, very proficient job of not letting Sato get started. Oh, no. Airborne, though. I don't think that's going to hit. That's going to yeah, whip. Yep. a little bit too high up there. Uh, I believe see. that whiffs on all airborne opponents. Don't right. Yeah, like, uh, it's a regular command grab, so it's not going to... If you're up right. in the sky, you're going to be okay. Right, okay. I always forget it's a command grab. <laughs> Damn, all right. Was that, uh, was that... Oh, game two. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, game two. And oh, man. that's 2-0 well for uh, Jacko out here in Mazisco. Yeah. Pose. Okay, so I don't know if he thought he was going for the command grab that time. But got the counter hit, spent the burst to get out. Counter hit of its own, and Zato spends their burst. And the pressure is on. Whiff grab, no punish. That's okay. We're going to keep it on. All right. I tried to read the up back there. But it doesn't matter. My Cisco is out of the corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not where you want to be. Uh-oh. All right. Okay. So YRC, we're out. Very nice. Red RC going back to the corner. The pressure is back on. Pose. Frog oh sandwich. Jeez. I love it. Yeah, you're just going to get tossed around, bounced around here and there. All right, Dr. Dinosaur answering back here. You're looking pretty strong in that one. Let's see keep this up, though. Minions are on deck. The counter hit does connect, and the pressure begins. I do wow, like the the, the resource management and how Jacko works in this version, right? You're constantly seeing this charge of uh, of the minions coming out, and very similar to how Eddie works. So, as far as like you know, paying attention to how little Eddie has to come out as well, they're on the meter chart. So, it's always a resource attention for both these characters, and you gotta pay attention to how you're approaching the skies with that many minions out. Okay, nice. Yeah, both these characters definitely require a lot of. Uh awareness i guess yeah the, the spatial story. awareness for these characters is <laughs> yeah. crucial you're you're definitely all over the screen that's where i want to see a dragon eye if, if either of these players stream i want to see a dragon eye on their stream to see how much they're moving their eye around the screen it'd be fascinating oh, yeah. and guilty gear is kind of famous for you have to do that anyway especially yes exactly oh man oh is that gonna hit? No. Oh, oh no, that's way too high. Up. Trying to scoop up little Eddie, and unfortunately, little Eddie is not the one taking damage. No, still hit him out, but super might not be the best option. Right. All right, here we go. Both these cats getting low in health. The first will not come back for either one of them unless they just do a million chip damage to each other. Right. Okay. Nice two P though. That was really good. That might have been game changing. That was nice. it. Nice. That's okay, it, should right be able to pick this up that. here. There's the shatter. No, missed no. the overdrive. That was the opportunity we were looking for. Purple RC to get back down to the ground. That might hurt. Yeah, that that's so unfortunate. Set. Has to FD, hold this. No minions available here for Jacko right now. But the no. Jump. Oh, that that is crushing if you're Dr. Dinosaur because you had that. Oh, man. All right, well. You know what? Sometimes it's like that. Um, Cisco played a really, really good game there. Um, that was that was one of the better Jackos I've seen. So very excited to see more of them going forward. They're going to be headed. They're going to be playing Finna Head Out um, in Losers Round Six, and I believe we're going down to HDC and Eddie fans. You said damn straight HDC Eddie fans. Challenge has unfucked itself. Yeah, I we see got that. that going for ourselves. Um, I love it. Yeah, and if anyone's listening, don't worry about the specific scores, like the game scores. Uh, we, in our stats, we only record uh, who wins the set. We do not click. We do not care if it was close, though. Right? We don't care. Mm, it's just whoever the wins the set. You, but if I say it really sincere, you, you, I mean, you'll believe me, right? Like, because it was close. Well, I could have been There might be there. There might be an asterisk, right? In the comments, we'll right, write right, right, close, right. though. But like. Close, we don't care like, if I it was won. three two close though or three zero close though. We'll we'll write it was close though. It's, it's like that time I went to combo breaker and went out on two, but it was it was close though. So right, it was real close. It was so close. Dude. I, I was I at combo well. breaker. I think it was twenty eighteen, and I played um, 
Fujimura, and he bodied the shit out of me. And people oh, were trying no. to tell him, like, you did really good. It was close. I'm like, it was not fucking close. <laughs> he fucking close. destroyed me. It was so bad. It's like when I had You're to play Dogura students. in uh, Exerd, and I was like, yep, oh, no. this is gonna this is gonna end well for me. Yeah. Raven and Soul, huh? Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm I was gonna, gonna say because well. that's what he was playing, Raven. Oh yep. man, <laughs> dude, talk about smooth brain characters. Oh man, I actually, who was it? Was it a uh, Kazunoku that played Raven too? I believe so. Yeah. Yes, that I believe was, so. Yeah. Watching Kazunoku play Raven was actually like super hype. I very frustrated character to play against, but just as a spectator, I, I think that character is so cool. That character is cool to watch. It's just. I don't like playing Ooh. against that character. Oh, no. I don't think anybody does. <laughs> <in this. laughs> All right. We got Axel back on the screen. HDC back to redeem himself in top eight against Eddie fans. All right. So we, we have another Zato, which I'm very excited about. Yes. Welcome back, Eddie fans. Yeah. Ooh. HDC, though, with the high-quality 8K read on the burst. Holy. Perfect right off the bat. That is a great way to start if you're HDC. Very nice. Yes. Outer hit. All right. Can't take him coast to coast, but yeah, there's that command grab again. I love it. He's still throwing it out. I respect the hustle. Blocking the charge plus. Yeah. I'm still take the command grab, though. Oh, man. Sometimes you say, I'm paying five bucks to see the best worst movie ever. It's Sharknado right. time. We're going. Okay. There's another matchup where both these cats are like really comfortable on full screen, kind of poking each other. So I think this kind of goes toward Axel because he could do that when he sees the pose on the screen. The One Direction combos. I love it. I know that's not the real name to that super, but I don't care. It's called One Direction now. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's the world. It. The world. The <laughs> world. The world. <laughs> All right, you got me there. I'll take the JoJo's reference over my terrible punt any day. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, Keep man. pressure once again here. HDC yeah. is not phased quite yet, just biding their time. Nice challenge. That's the worst though, right? Because you got Eddie out there and Ash is just like, oh, hold on. Big chain. Okay, good. Oh, another one. All right. Yeah, we see a lot of these two S's. So yeah, we saw um, Dr. Dinosaur do that a lot too, get get his fly on, um, which mm -hmm. worked against characters like Anji or watch the YRC. Yeah. Um, worked great against characters uh, with, with, you know, with no uh, with no DP or anything like that. It really proves to cover that space to be an ambiguous mix up, but right. uh, HPC's gonna call you out two S and that's I mean you get counter hit, that's a ton of damage, especially if you've got me to play with. Okay. Okay, once again. Very nice, very nice. Rensen, yep. Put him with explosion follows. First out, all right. Yep. Put some that space back. I like it. Okay. Nice, shutting down the backdash approach. The dust connects. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're going around. Oh, yeah. all right. At least he blocked it. That would have done a lot of damage. Right, and still has to hold it too because that oppose was right there, so couldn't do anything except for grab. Oh, yeah. He does have enough meter to rip a raw super if he wants to, but I, I, based on what Lil I've seen so far, that doesn't strike me as HBC style. Unless it's right. Really, uh, you know, just, really back against the wall. Yeah, I mean, honestly, just waiting for uh, Eddie fans to make the approach, and Eddie does finally find a gap in this anti-air pressure coming from HDC. Okay, Red RC, what's it going to be? You got to make it count. The shatter's there, and it's enough to kill. Yeah, good adjustment from uh, Eddie fans. We are going to be going into final round of game two. There's that 2S. Yeah, we got the bomber. Bomber on deck. Very nice. Oh, yeah. This is the range you want to be at your axle. Feel right. close enough to poke out, uh, poke Eddie out if he throws him out willy-nilly. And honestly, that's all that HDC has been doing is standing at that range. Because look at that. Even able to jump out. Eddie's on startup. I'm still going to blow it up. And again, backdash. Able to dodge drill. Invite Hell is not going to work out for you. Yeah, kind of like what you were saying last round. Like, Eddie fans is doing a good job of playing this, but HTC looks so comfortable. You know what I mean? Just, right. Yeah, I, I like how he's approaching this matchup. And he will be taking game two. Yeah, HTC, high definition counterplay. <laughs> 
Oh man, I love that. I love that. I, I want. Oh man, I want to know what HDC. Actually, I, I want to know what the player says that stands for, but that's what I'm going with right now. High definition counterplay. Oh man. Let's approach. Nice just block, but still the spin cycle comes out. Two S does connect. Little Eddie is out once again. First and away. Oh, good. Don't forget about it because we got the world coming at you. Let's pause one more time. We got the replay. Nope. That's the bad. First. Son, you are dead. Oh. HDC going to match point. All right. What are you doing, big fella? It's not Burst City out here, big fella. <laughs> Yo, so if HDC takes this, we're going to see Axel on Axel. I just like flipping bracket. All right. Okay. Nice. That's a hard exactly. Because what, what does Zato do? There's no meter available. Has to try to get Eddie out there. But Axel's like, eh, I don't care. Like, I'll throw out a sickle. Yo, did he just walk up with command grab and take the hit anyway? That was sick. Yo. Oh HDC, my though. god! HDC saying, I'm gonna keep a cool head, it doesn't matter. Once you're back at my range, this is my game. And sure enough, a clean throw. I, I hesitate to say clean, because jokes aside, Eddie fans played that. Oh yeah. They put well. in work. They put in work. You, you know, Eddie, Eddie fans did a great job of not getting tilted. Like, Eddie yes. fans still attempted to play their game and really tried to figure this match out. It, it definitely wasn't like, Eddie fans got blown up by any stretch of the magic. It was just like Eddie fans got outplayed in that matchup right there in that moment against HDC. Um, it could be a different story against another Axel, right? But HDC was playing really well, and it, it's it's tough, you know. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Um, so now we are going to be up. Uh, Kiet, uh, or excuse me, HDC will be moving on to play Kiet. So we will get that Axel on Axel violence, but um, not yet. But not, not yet. yet. Who we got next? Finna head out and uh, my Zisco? That's right. We got Jacko on Kai action. That's right. The son versus mother in law, I guess, is what that comes out to be. Yo, Zero, this I love that not... emote, by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Yo, chat. Peep, uh, Peep Zero's uh, emote in the chat. That that's a, that's a classic right there. That feels like that's an FGC classic. That, that image right there. Mm -hmm. Oh man, what what was that? What was that from? Was that? Oh, I can't remember. Was that the Evo? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's that me. Was, that was when you were. Yeah, I know, yeah, no, I know, I know. That's you. Where? Where? It's, where? Like, a it's uh, you were Kumite. commentating, right? No, it was. Uh, I was up on stage to play Killer Instinct at Kumite in Tennessee. Shout out oh, okay. to. Uh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Um, I, I gotta. I'll shout her out in a second here. But uh, great photographer, always at <laughs> bunch of great events. We got no. ourselves Mizuko. Yes. Mizuko versus Finna head out. Jacko versus Kai. And it's already exciting. Yeah. Both these guys looked very good last time we saw them. Uh, Finna head out, obviously, dropping down. Follow and see. But I'm very curious to see what they got against this matchup. Especially because this goes very clean, Jacko. Nice, what that pressure once again. This is gonna be a, just how this works. Okay, nice clash. Ooh, can't hit dust. Up here. Yes. Nice, Fuji arc. Let's hold on to the heavy fireball. Had to YRC if he wants his face. Keep control of this lead here, Finna. Trying to play a little bit of catch up here. Oh my. Wow, we just throw a minion and put out the defense. I almost like, that That almost did a process with me for a minute. That was crazy. <laughs> I play my baby dragon in defense mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, no, uh, no time magician though. So uh, looks like it's no thousand year dragon this time, son. Yeah, it'll stay point. young for a while. Ooh, yeah, got yeah. shielded out once again. Nice play in soccer with the minions once again. Not DreamWorks is going to be upset about this. There's minion violence without their approval. Oh shoot! Yeah, I need to think about that. Man. Someone's got to get the. Uh, Mad scientist is talking about. Yeah, where's Gru? Gru, thank you. I told totally his You're out. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, face oh, no. first. Yes. Right as he got it back, too. Good awareness from Fit Ahead out, so I even realized that was back. Nice. Okay, nice spin cycle from 
Mizuko. Or... Yeah, no, I had it right. I had it right. How's it yep. going? <laughs> hey, wow, man. Emma closed it out. Nice startup for uh, Masako for that first game here. And of course, big thank you to Hello It's Lee. That's the Twitter of the photographer that caught that face in my email. Thank you so much. Oh, all right, all right. Dude, this Jacko is like kind of. I'm, I'm having trouble figuring out how someone should deal with this. You know what I mean? This is gonna play this very well. Yeah, no kidding. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, and it might be no some fire. of that uh, character unfamiliarity, because I don't really see too many Jackos out there, and no. Jacko is a character that once she gets rolling, it's a really tough matchup. Absolutely. Especially when she's in the corner, that is. Oh, gets the hit! Speaking of which, we're going to the corner, get the setup. Do we have the setup? Oh, I might be out of there. Very nice. Back, right back in the corner. Kind of the same thing as uh, last game. Like where Axel wants to sit in that mid range against Zato, that's kind of where Jacko's looking comfortable right now. Right? And then once the minions are on deck, it becomes even harder because she gets the extra hits for clashing against those minions. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've already seen the, uh, the super buff to the minions that they've used right. very well to close out one of those rounds. So it wouldn't surprise me if you see that a couple more times. Ooh, counter hit. Okay, okay. Sandwich? Oh, just missed it. Unlucky. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, this, this is bad right here. Okay, goes through the wall. Doesn't have to deal with the infinite pressure. DRC making it safe. I like staggering that out. And there's the buff again. All right, armor buff this time. Yeah, smart In stuff, especially trying to keep the control. Oh my goodness, how many times can you juggle? The, Wait a minute. Oh man, seeing that super flash and watching the minion get that buff right in front of your eyes is... You you got to keep a cool head there because that's hard to deal with. It's so easy to just panic and be like, oh, I got well, to get out right Finn, now. And then Finna, you, <laughs> you know? Finna panicked. Oh. Like the second he jumped, done. That was yeah. game over. Yeah, when you're in the air against Jacko, that's a rough spot. So There's yeah, nothing. Like, he couldn't come down with a button. The minions were in Ooh. defense mode. Okay, right. but we got a character swap from Finna uh, to Giovanna. Oh. And this is actually a really interesting matchup because Giovanna can shut down the startup of a lot of the minion tosses, can really quickly and safely sh uh, destroy minions for free. Nice 2D. Yeah, I am really excited to see how this matchup is going to play out because I have not yet seen Giovanna versus Jacko. So this is going to be yeah, the, the problem is that Jacko has to constantly keep minions defensive because of how fast uh, Giovanna's buttons are. She's got the second fastest button, and I think the only matchup that's it's Soul and her on the same level, uh, I believe, if I remember correctly still. She has a three um, frame too. I, yeah, it's her 5P, I want to no, say. No, 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 no. She does not have a three frame. I was going to say, I thought it was just a Soul and Shit. Is it four? Is is it four? I think so. I think look it's, it it's very close. Yeah. Look it up real quick, because she, she's second on the list. I know that for sure. Yeah, she's still fast. No no question there. And that dash up it could be a, it's a lot of trouble for Mazisco, um, especially because the, the deploying the minion startup can be a little bit of a commitment. Mm -hmm. Or a lot. You know, that, you, know, you leave gaps with Giovanna, too, so it makes it even riskier to attempt it. Nice jump out in the drill. Not too many people are just reacting to that. Yeah, definitely a scary thing to try to poke out of, but if you want, if you feel comfortable up backing on that, go for it. Oh, all right. Gonna get the minion set up. Yeah, there's that dash. All right, close the close the gap. See if he does anything. Back off. These minions are already coming out. The super. Let's go. That's what we want to do. Yep, absolutely. Gonna get that soft knockdown here. Keep that corner pressure once again. All right, minions out. Panthers run a 5K if you want to. 3P or 5P is a little bit riskier though. Oh, the jump out attempt. Hold on. Yeah, jumping out against Slash Jacko. shot. So scary. Ah, yeah, meter's about to be gone. Finally got out and unfortunately going to get shut down there. Wow. Man, very well played from Cisco. Taking a 3-0. Yeah. Um, so good. So up. good. Not making yeah, Mazisco is doing a really excellent job with uh, um, Jacko for sure. And I do apologize, you were right. It's four frame on Giovanna's 5P. 
Oh, okay, it is. I knew it was still super fast. Yeah, right. she she is one of the faster ones for sure. Man. All right. Well, didn't even. I don't even think it was a factor, unfortunately. Um, is this going <laughs> no, to not at all. That one, like, just looking really, really strong. So they're going to be sitting in. Uh, oh, they're, they're going to be uh, the loser yeah. semifinals, right? Mizuko, Mizuko, Mizuko. Sorry, Mizuko is in loser semifinals awesome. right now. Uh, looking to face the winner of the, like, definitely facing an Axel, right? But whether it's Kiet mm. or HCC, the longtime tournament staple out of Kiet or the newcomer, the new face HCC, that mm. that will be seen here. Um, yeah, I like the Giovanna counter pick. I think Giovanna does well in terms of her multi hitting normals. Uh, I think do a good job at dealing with the minions. It, yeah, the important thing is to recognize that you have those faster buttons for a reason. Those are tools to shut down those minions. You have to pick and choose your safe moments to attack a minion because if Jacko is not adding defensive buff to minions, that's fair game. Uh, Jacko yeah. has to come to you, essentially. And if you're shut down minions left and right, you don't have to be concerned about having to uh, hold that pressure here. But this is going to be a different matchup entirely. Kiet up against HDC. Yeah, we're going to see some Axel on Axel action here. I don't see a lot of the Axel mirror, but I am anticipating either... No, this is going to be madness. This is going to be a, just madness, and I'm, I'm so here for it. I'm so I, ready. I'm really curious, because normally it's Kiet and Yurikov going toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other, and those are two very different brands of Axels. So having HTC out here being the cool, level-headed Axel, why do I have to deal with three different archetypes of Axel? We got Luigi... We got the aggressive in your face, Axel, and then HDC is out here like I don't. I'm reading every single frame that you're doing. HDC looking good though, just doing a really good job of taking control of that space, making it his, and uh, really just making get work every Ooh. every inch. All right, first though, kind of puts Kiet in a little bit of an advantage, but HDC forcing his way in. Oh, counter hit. Cool. Oh, wow, command grab command just connect. Grab. Wow, impressive. I I would be I'm gonna be curious to see who gets more command grabs. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna keep a tap. Let's keep the count. I'm gonna yeah, keep, keep a the count. count. <laughs> yeah, Kiet Ki Ki just got one. Yet, oh, I'm literally making like a. All right, here we go. ATC, put a we'll put a check mark for Kiet. Oh, counter hit 2D. You could get like 60% off that now if you're ready for it and you have some other extra combos. Okay, good blocks here from HDC being real patient as we're used to at this point here. Nice scoop up with Rensen. Purple RC, yo, wait that a was minute. So cool. Did, so I just want to make sure I saw that right. Did their Rensen's just clash? Is that what just happened? No, it was a it was just a full screen Rensen from HDC that hit. Oh, okay. That that screwed with my head. Oh man. I thought they clashed in the in the fight in his follow up. Oh my like, goodness. That would be insane. Oh, that was wild. Okay. Woo! Game one going to HDC. I mean, because in theory, right, if they do clash, just like that interaction right there, HDC could just throw out another Ren set. So that option is available. Oh, true, true, true. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. This is uh, this is kind of Kiet's round here, though. Oh no, he's given up the space already, though. Man. Look, if you want to learn how to uh, go up against North American. Uh, uh, Axles, tune in to online local. You'll see him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. And Zato, apparently. This is the most Zato I've seen in a minute. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm loving this bracket. If, oh, man. I get to end of this next week. <laughs> nice air to ground attack here from HDC. And again, just HDC real patient. Not overextending. Just be like, all right, I'm making the slow approach. I'm chipping away. I don't care what life deficit I'm at. I'll take that. Yet was, uh, he got the negative penalty there for a minute, but it, it yeah. doesn't, I don't want to say it doesn't matter in this matchup because obviously it's really important, uh, but it's definitely not worth over overextending. Just right, absolutely. Oh, it, man. I don't know, I, I think uh, the game's playing favorites out here because HTC was big chill and only FDing up for it. I can't believe it. I would have given it to HTC. Uh. <laughs> most deaf, most deaf. <laughs> Oh, but man. no, that's the thing though. It's like HDC is doing just enough to make that forward approach, avoiding the negative penalty, being very cautious, spending that FD, and Kiet is still trying to make make these attempts here. Because Kiet, 
excellent Axel player, but, you know, no slouch at all. But, like, jeez. When you go up against yourself and you both know exactly what you're looking for, and then you have to play the player after the fact, it's just like, God, like, what, what do I do? <laughs> That's exhausting physically and mentally. That, that's just wild, bro. ACC is on a trip. It's just like, just hanging out. Like, I don't care. I'll chill out. I'll get these trades. Do you have a life lead? No big deal. I'll get it back. <laughs> That's the thing. He takes the early life lead and, and can really afford to just sit there from there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, he's played this really well. Yeah, absolutely. I've been really impressed with ACC, man. And, and look at the movement difference, right? Kiet is doing a lot of jumps and, uh, you know, uh, IEDs as well. And you just have HTC waiting. Waiting for you to make that big movement, big commitment that gives HTC the opportunity to close that gap. And even if it's something as simple, like the jumping S right there, he has landed so many jumping yeah. S's on these commitments. Um, the, the awareness is actually... Wow. Oh! Punish the command grab with the command grab. Check one off for HTC. Let's go. That's oh man, methodical. Like just That's enough. Great We're not for going for anything fancy here. We just the hit is enough. It will pay off the clash. You know what? I think you might have been right. It did and clash, just and the then he just the committed. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, HDC is is oh, I clearly he's more comfortable in the uh, the mirror. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Uh, like, like no disrespect to Kia. It's not like he's. That's the hard part about this. Is it's not like he's not playing well. Right. HDC is just like. God's here at this at this matchup, and I think that's 3-0. Was that, yeah, was that, that the first game? Wow. Yeah, GMX, GXM, HD a real one, dude. Yeah, respect. Um, that was that was dominant. HDC will be moving on to play this here Jacko, and of course the winner of that game gets to move on to face Apollo and losers finals. The rest of this bracket is is. <laughs> Like, I don't have words, because we, we have already seen some crazy matches from everybody who's still alive, and now they all have to fight each other again. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I might not be sleeping tonight. I'm, I am hyped right now. <laughs> like, Kit, fantastic, fantastic Axel play uh, overall. Yeah. You saw it in the set. You saw, you could see how good he was in that set. HCC, like knew the mirror they knew the mirror to a yeah. t yes. and, and it really yeah. came out to shine don't forget kiet is the one who sent mazisco to the loser side and hdc just beat kiet so i'm i'm very curious to see if if mazisco has uh <laughs> um kind of made a mental adjustment since then but we'll see we're getting right into it Loser now, here, semis, here we go. Right at the start, you're already seeing the difference. HDC is willing to 5K, get a minion out of the way, less to deal with on the screen. I'll be patient, I'll wait. That's been the story of the game for HDC this entire time. Yeah, even with their back to the corner, not afraid to just sit there for a second, take control of neutral, take control of space, and then come out and dash out. You know, less is more sometimes, and HDC is putting that on display. Yeah, kind of like what you said about Kai earlier, where you could you can just play fundamentals. Axel is yeah. similar in, in the Axel fundamental kind. You know what right. I mean? Like, the Dolphin <laughs> of this game, right? You know, you're yes, playing Dolphin yes. here. Exactly. Oh, speaking of which, taking that first round. All right. Ooh, eats the counter hit, though. All right, back to the corner. Rough spot to be in if you're HBC. And we are in. No burst. No meter to YRC. Bends the rest of his meter to uh, FD. Ooh, nice jump back. Fancy no, no. air. Wilder. Yourself. Goodness. HTC taking the opportunity to get away from the corner here. And look at this. Just space control. There's no opportunity for uh, Mazisko uh, to really uh, get set up with any sort of minion. They're just running away and that's unfortunate because that's what you got to do to get some space nice yeah. oh but didn't get the full combo going that's all right oh yeah all right here we go it's um, i'm kind of surprised oh no i guess i'm not i was i almost said i'm surprised we don't see more full screen minion setup but like you yeah. said right when the game started hdc not afraid to just spend a 2k or even a longer range to get him off the board um yeah. and we'll be taking game Wow. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if there's an adjustment. Hopping right into game two. No, no character select. 
No break. I think it's safe to say that it's Axel's turn at round start in this matchup. Just... Uh, yes. <laughs> I think that Not... is a very safe thing to say. Yes, sir. <laughs> Don't make the attempt. Just let Axel make the decision how the opening is going to work out for you. That was a god tier 2S. Oh, right? Beautiful. Goodness. Jumping and the purple RC to recovery faster to the ground. And oh my god. Not ready to jump the heavy slash, right? That's so hard to block at point blank range. Um, I think it's punishable on him, but it doesn't matter. He has so little health, he needs to close out the game. Very, very smart play for the HPC. Okay, minions out. Patience begins once again, HDC. All right, cool. I try to make the jump approach, no big deal. Burst. Six, Calm, cool, eight. collected. Oh my god. We've seen a couple just really smart six plays from HTC. That's not a button he's throwing out a lot, which is smart, because if you whip it, yeah, you're in trouble. He's got a couple of key hits there. Oh, no. Minions are armored. Now they're gone. And just like that, HTC decided to take a more aggressive tone. And why did that command grab not work? Wait a minute. I, I truly have no clue. Oh, man. <laughs> I have no idea. That was wild. Oh, all right, we're going to the corner. Set up the minion. All right, HDC's got plenty of meter to FD or rip a raw super if he wants. Yeah, YRC. Okay, I like it. I like that call. Wants the space. And oh my God. Jesus. Forget about bursting. We're. <laughs> it's, it's Axel. What do you What do you do? Yo, HD HDC is terrifying. I'm I'm officially scared of HDC. I have been for a while, but you know. You know, it, and <laughs> it's gonna be frustrating to go up against a uh, play like this from HDC, because HDC is so patient, and you have yeah. to do this chase down, right? It's the worst type of Axel you, you come up against online, anywhere in bracket. You have to do so much work to close in, and HDC just will find a way to push you away, and good lord. Now he's got full meter to work with, too, right? so uh, good luck. Oh, counter hit, though. All right, this could work out. Yeah, we got some plenty of minions. YRC, of course, gets rid of minions, gets the pushback. Almost got to build that last meter. All right, spend the YRC. I like it. Okay, let's get caught in the corner situation. See how we get out of this. The big patience. Hit him on the jump. All right. Nice. Very nice from Zisco. I love the pressure there. HDC not spending a meter on YRC. Um, but I, I don't think Zisco got close enough to really want that. So that was just so nice. good pressure. Oh, another like super close range 2S. Point blank. Very nice. Right? Woo. That's such a scary move to commit to a like, close range, but when it hits, you just look like a genius. Oh, wow, tried to get the anti-air out there, but not going to work out here. HTC getting caught. Mazisco looking really solid right now. Minions are on deck. Still playing that creep game. Oh, oh, it, that looked like he baited the BRC there for a minute. Right. That was close. Gold burst. Excellent. Command grab does hit. Let's get the super going. Axel Bomber. Yep, we're... No! Missed it! No! We pick it up, though. Look at this. HDC. Happy darn uh, coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the happy little resets in life. I love it. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. HDC answering back with a round of their own. Game two is going to final round. Yep. 5K. Shut down the minion. No more. See, and I do like that Mazisco is recognizing that these minions are getting blown up and is being a little bit more aggressive in activating them. Instead of just leaving them there as a threat, Mazisco is definitely just being like, hey, you know what? I see you. I'm going to yeah. at least interrupt a lot of this stuff. Yeah, um, HDC not really in a position to interrupt the startup of that move, uh, which is considerable. So we're throwing them all out. And I, yeah, like you said, very good adjustment. I think it needed to happen in this matchup. I mean, to be fair, too, like, Mazisco, like, no one had really attacked minions on startup this entire bracket so far against Mazisco. And That's here true. we go. HDC got a burst. Oh. Not a burst out, but a blue RC. Tries to make the air throw. Not going to happen. And takes a game here. It's 2-1 right now. HDC still in the lead, but we got some life here from Mazisco. That was wild. Um, yeah. He, oh, is it 2-1 is it or is it 1-1? One, one? Uh, I don't know. Was, I missed the first game, so I got. I'm gonna trust uh, zero here. <laughs> all right, we, we might, all right. Yeah, you're probably right. That will um, call me out immediately. 
Uh, but Zisco played like the last 20 seconds of that round with no help, by the way. I just, that blew me away. Very, very nice play. Mm. Yeah, HGC has been in plenty of situations like this too. You know, no health, uh, able to kind of just be patient, turtle it out. Oh, wow, wow, the drift, really good decision from Zisco. Yeah, the drift there was beautiful. Oh, no, oh, I thought that was going to kill. That was close. Oh, yeah. Minute here. See, it all it took, right? Now the minions are way more active. It's a little bit more of a challenge for HTC to really start getting his heads in because you got to worry about the minion. Yeah. See, you took one out. You got punished for doing that. Yeah, throwing them back in has been working. Um, HTC, <laughs> I almost want to say he needs to play, uh, <laughs> needs to play patient, but he's already doing such a good job of that. Right. <laughs> and you can't be too patient against Jacko because then there's more minions available. Big counter hit. This will actually convert into a shatter. Oh yeah. Damn, look at that damage. Yeah, still not enough meter to really do anything with that. That's okay. Plenty of health to play with, so you're you're sitting pretty from this going right now. Okay, once again, HDC caught on that back foot, and there it is, tied up two to two. Wow. All right, yeah, it looked like HDC was going to run away with that, um, but Mazisco's done a great job of bringing us to final game. Yep. Wow, what an adjustment. You know, just like in a game of League of Legends at the 40-minute mark, once they get that Elder Dragon, it is time to turn things around. <laughs> it's all you need sometimes, a little Elder Dragon in your life. <laughs> or just a couple of annoying, cute little minions that will yeah, just take you so to 50%. You got those creeps just showing up out of nowhere. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot about the top lane. Forgot about the top lane. You hate to see it. Oh, man. Both these cats? Oh, yeah. No, what am I saying? First, it's really a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you go ahead. Spend the burst. See what happens. Danger time, though, is getting pretty close. God, am I in danger time coming back to this gate? How fast Yo, you die? Really I definitely dangerous. made that joke already. Is that what the October 15th match is going to be? Is they're just going to add danger time no. back? going to be like, uh, y'all want to complain about pallets? All right, here's some pallets for you. <laughs> That's a sick and tired of your crap. Y'all excited about Sora? Well, here you go. Danger time. You danger thought you could time. forget about my game? Here we go. Nice command grab. Should be able to close it out. Oh no, drops the One Direction combo? Mm. Yeah, hate to see it. Ah. This could be, oh, all right, takes it out. All right, so there it is. Catch the startup of the minion there. Very nice. HDC takes game one of our final round. Final round. Okay, lots of work to do though, because Mazisco uh, still has burst ready and available. I'm gonna try to survive into this next round. The pressure begins, nice throw. Let's set up the minion for you. Hold on to this. Ooh, all right. Look at the patience there. It's so scary to watch your uh, wrist gaze just get jacked to the max and yeah. feel people level ahead. So we just got to HDC there. You know, it's like an afterthought for HDC, right? Like, oh, wait, there, there's risk. Oh, true, true, crazy. True. What does it do? Wait. Yeah, yeah, who knows, dude? The meter's so small, <laughs> I couldn't even see. Oh, man. Okay, oh, the see. PRC! <laughs> Yo, oh. how sick would it have been if we got the knockdown there and it's still got the command grab? Okay, burst is available. No burst quite yet. We're going to hold on to it. Next round, it'll be available. Match point. Both players. This is it for all the marbles. Final game. Final round to go to loser's final. Starting out with a big 2S. Wow. No counter hit. Oh, okay. can duck underneath the red set? Excuse me? Yeah, that was... Uh... That's, that's taking the jack opposed to a whole new level. Break your spine. <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> true, true. Oh my god. All right, no minions on the field. Axel is just free to uh, bring the terror. Oh, all right, there we go. As I say that, just go turn it around. Close the gap fast. And there's the grab. All right, you do not want to get grabbed by Jack in the corner. No, and that's what all. you gotta do. Spend the meter, yeah. get out. Don't take that pressure. You know, it's fortunate HTC is doing enough movement there just to get that meter built, built up. Nice back dash, keeping. Yeah. That's it. At bay. No, Two, not yes. quite. there it is. Okay. Two, dude. That's a, that's a real combo. Oh man, HTC. Wow, that was that was a hell of a game. Taking it 
all the way to final game. Wow. All right. So uh, now you get to go fight Apollo again. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Apollo was the one that uh, knocked HDC to losers, but it was in the same manner that HDC just won final game, final round. I think it was pretty much final hit, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is... This is going to be one hell of a show indeed. This is one of my favorite matchups. To Honestly, the, this whole bracket, this this top four, look at y'all. Doing yeah. a great job out here. This Jacko play, this Axel play, and now we got it back at it. Apollo is back up once again. Yo, and shout out to all the, the 38 cats we got in the chat right now. Right? Being here at 11 p.m. on a Friday. I appreciate that, guys people like watching guilty gear it's they did a really good job with the ui for in terms of a spectator sport oh yeah uh maybe not the best as in terms of a player you know there's some things that i <laughs> question but like in terms of it like spectating it i'm like it's perfect yeah. like it's so good and it works too like what, what you get in game it works which is is really the part that matters you know what i mean but here we go. We are getting right in to this loser's finals. Chip versus Ch um, Axel. Excuse me. I almost said Chip versus Chip. Yikes. Texas Grand Finals. Is that what that is? All right. This one's for Texas. Let's go. <laughs> All right. HDC doing HDC things. Keeping his opponent at arm's length. Saying, nah, nah, nah. Six feet. COVID's still a thing. And I know, Chip, I know you ain't vaccinated, you dumbass. Come on. Yeah, Chip is uh, unfortunately <laughs> not the brightest <laughs> apple in the bunch. Not the brightest apple in the bunch. And that is candid, fellas. Don't worry. Oh, oh the burst to save his life. Oh, all right. What two life? S, though. It's what gone. life exactly? <laughs> what life? That 2S went clean through. Don't you know Axel can manipulate time? So wait a minute, rewind, pause. <laughs> pause, I'll be yeah. taking that round back. Thank you, come again. Oh, no punish, all right. Actually, I'm not sure if he punished from that range. Walking the Alpha Blade, great counter here from HPC. Oh no, with the final hit, that's okay, that's okay. Apollo looks like he's almost got to wake up a little bit. He's had some time to rest, which is good. Get the heart rate right. down. But there's always... He, he's he's got to get back, one oh back Oh, my up. God. I almost screamed. Nice like, the back yeah, dash was beautiful for HDC, but yes. still, Apollo was able to capitalize on the situation. It's so hard to back dash this chip, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh! Okay, okay, the what trade, the trade! Oh, I got the block! Hello? HDC, please! Oh man, HDC abusing those plus frames on that command grab. Okay. The defense, the defense. Woo! HDC! All right. He's like, oh, baby, I'm hot from running that loser's bracket gauntlet. I'm ready. I want the run back. I am going to grand finals. Here we go. Game two. Big throw. Oh, another crab. Hey, well, remember in the last game, too, like. Tons of uh, DPs coming out of Apollo, though. And yeah. now we're playing that full screen game, really trying to hold things down with Rensen here. Nice jump in from Apollo. And the pressure oh, plus frames. Yeah. Ooh, all right, going for the tricky mix up. I love it. Fast RC, no Woo! hit. On the yeah. every time. That was a great HDC idea. is ready. This is insane. HDC right. looks so on point right now. It's right? insane. But Apollo's like playing this pretty patiently counter right. hit. That's oh. Using FD, trying to push back here. Nice. Apollo, great adjustments this last game. Red RC tries to keep the pressure going. Run up throw, takes the round. Wow, that was that was God tier patience from Apollo. Took a couple stray hits, but that's how you gotta play this match. Take your hits and don't honestly don't even think about it. Avoid the counter hit, get in, get moving. Wow, what a great round. Great adjustment. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Oh no, doesn't get the conversion. That's okay. Mix up. Try it again. Still missed it though. At the jump. Nice. Got the sweep. Has to reset, unfortunately. The overhead didn't connect. Oh, this pressure. No, that that yeah, absolutely. Alright, so he does have burst and 
due to the nature of Axel's pressure, I wouldn't surprise me if Apollo spends this in the corner to keep the corner. Yo, relax. The 5K. Ooh, all right. There it is. First, no burst. Oh, first there it is. I spoke too soon. Oh, my God. Jumps out of a command grab in the yep. 11th hour. That was the last possible frame. He right. could have done that. Takes the low Apollo. Game two. Yo, these guys. <laughs> you see... <laughs> Chip is out here said, rock, paper, ah, uh, paper, psych, guys, psych. <laughs> I just got a pocket full of rocks, sucker. <laughs> oh my God, yo, this set is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. It, that, that sounds like a real chip thing to do. It it's does like, sound uh, like no chip We're playing rock, rock, paper, scissor. Paper, I'm going to bring all the rocks. rocks. <laughs> pocket rocks. <laughs> oh man Yo, oh my crack. god that was damn near perfect apollo I mean, you, you see how much damage that was just done on the shatter yeah. from apollo in that situation that chip, was, that that's why chip has no health right there yeah exactly he'll mix you and do damage like that okay yeah. okay i see you chip oh my oh. god the throw and I love that. Take the corner back with it, too. Very smart. Yeah. yeah, this has been the struggle point right now for HDC. Unable to get out of these corner situations here. And Apollo's pressure has been insane. 5K interrupts have been nice, but they're just little interrupts. They're little touches here. We have to get something significant for HDC. He's got him back in full screen, which is definitely where he wants to be. So off to a good start. But Apollo, the defense and the patience is too good. Yeah, six Hit him with the anti air. Get out of here. Rensen does connect the burst. Wants to keep this corner control immediately. Thank you for bringing me closer. Oh no, the knockdown. Wow, that was awesome. All right. Yes. One round apiece, one game apiece. Let's go. The advantage in the set. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad we got the run back for this matchup. Ooh, it was the same me. thing as on the winner's side. It was the back and forth, the constant adjustments, constant counterplay, uh, featuring high-definition counterplay himself, of course, HDC. Oh, my God. Speaking of which, the back dash. Oh it's the counter no. hit. That is death. Taking the round, taking the game. Oh, my God. Yo, HDC looks so good right now and the scary thing is apollo does too jesus hyper dimension cancels out here from axel once again seeing into the future your acronym game is on point by the way this is excellent <laughs> <laughs> jumps out of the command grab all right force the way out of the corner trying to anyway eat the two s wow oh, wow that's it. Nice. That's the money maker. You get counter hit 2H, you can do almost anything you want next. Command grab. Get the side switch. My no turn. Oh, way. Big. No, it was waiting for the burst to come out. That's unfortunate. Hopefully, you, you might be paying the price for that one. Big ants here. Doesn't matter. HDC sending a message here. I like the confidence there. I like the yeah. confidence from HDC. Apollo's going to be thinking that one. Okay, well, caught the burst right away. So, free damage right now. Ready on the rent send that time. Mm -hmm. We've seen him get a couple counter hit uh, two H's and not get the rent -ren send follow up. So right. definitely made an adjustment there. Ooh, all right. Wow. Hey, you know what? We take those. I'm glad it dropped. No additional damage. We're not going to get bounced off the wall a few times. And FD is cranked right now for HDC, finding that opening. His 5K spacing is is got here. Yeah. Okay. Push back. Nice. And we're out of the corner, just like that. Patience pays off for HDC once again. Right, no meter though. Back to the oh corner. The defensive. We saw that in the last set against these guys, and HDC pulls it out again to take the round, take the game, to take the game. Yo, was that it? That was was that game three? That was game four. Or game, game four, four. Excuse three me. Three oh. to one. Yeah. Wow, HDC. All right, headed to grand finals. Wow, that was incredible. I, it's. I can't fathom, what, like, every time? Are you serious? Every, like, I don't, what? There was only probably two connected command grab. I got to run the tape back because yeah. Apollo, like, how often are you seeing Chip get thrown out of their command grab? Getting consistently 
punished out of their command grab. Holy smokes. Which is doable, but everyone defaults right. to the up back, which is not yeah. a punish. Right, so right. So good have to, yeah. fucking shit. It, it's absolutely, amazing. like, to consistently do it. Like, yes, obviously, like, what? It, it's it's doable, right? It is doable, but, like, to see live, you gotta make right here online, on a dime, just able to react to it and yeah. immediately able to punish and get consistent damage out of even just regular throws. Grand Finals, HDC, and Waff. Tremendous stuff here. This top four is brilliant. Yeah, dude. Like, big shout out to Apollo. Hell of a run. Made it all the way to Losers Finals. Looked dominant in a couple games, but just HDC is looking too hot right now. But here we go. Grand Finals, Anji versus Axel. The double A matchup. Get your batteries ready. This is about to be... Oh, oh no, the double just weapon throws! Yo, so we already saw Waff play Kiev, so we... That was the Axel match. One who sent Kiev to the loser's bracket, obviously. Fucking right. dead. dead. Perfect. Oh, we got the, Fucking like, dead. we got the OG soundtrack, too. Oh, I love this track. Mm. All right. Oh, watch the charge dust, HDC. He's saying, all right, you know, you, you can take the first round. I'm not even going to think about it. What first round, homie? I'm just HDC. This damage is huge. Yeah, there it is. Oh, oh, I thought that was gonna kill. Oh no! That'll there kill right there. We're throwing fans. Damn. I heard, uh, I heard I got fans. I gotta dump them out. Too yeah. Many. Too many fans up in here. Wow, I'm taking game one. That was that was a that was a quick game one too. Yeah, um, absolutely. Which is surprising considering how HDC controls pacing just by being so strong on defense. Yeah, and I mean, that's what you want to do if you're WAF, is, is you want to close these rounds out fast, because the longer they go on, the, the more of an advantage HDC is going to have to play the mind game with you. And he, we are Butterfly mix-ups are so dirty. It's called yeah. the hella defensive counter. That's what the <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that is what he does, hella defensive counter. All right, nice red send, though. We're playing with a single life point here. Chip damage is gonna be a problem here. Has to FD. Yeah, That's he's gonna have to see oh, yeah. Always be a threat team. Ooh, all right. Starting to get it rolling though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the back dash. Not gonna punish him. There's the low. Guessed wrong, unfortunately. Yeah, the grab game's gonna be important here if you're HDC. So it doesn't surprise me to see Waff back dash him with that whip already. You want to you want to get that in his head early. Oh, all right. Double red send. There we go. All right, this is kind of the game HDC wants to play here. Use your mobility, use your big buttons, control the space, and re there it is. Wait for that spin, grab him out of it, or do something. And there it is, yes, another one. Okay. It's oh my god, it's an overhead. Oh, had to burst though. Oh, that's a big counter hit, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, so Millia and Chip get, get all the bad rap for having low guts, but Axel is not far behind him. He has low health. Low burst is still available. Crazy. Oh my god! Oh, oh no! My god. He's got meter! He's got meter! He's dead! Yeah. He's so dead! Doesn't even need the meter! Double co for you! Wow. That's crushing if you're HDC because that whole that, that was HDC's round played it so well, but that's kind of how this matchup goes. You know what I mean? If Anji gets in, Anji is gonna do the work, and Waf's Anji is now on tournament point. Game three, grand finals. Five K. We are up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna be intense here if. I mean, honestly, HTC has turned it around before, gone the distance, is yeah. capable of doing so, but this Anji might be the answer here. WAP is doing a tremendous job here offensively. Great throw. Fantastic nice. reaction. We got another one, even on the reversal. I don't care what you put out there. Okay, nice. Hit the bounce. Burst away. Two X. Wow. Yes. No meter to extend, but that's okay. He's in the corner. Now we get the meter. That is going to be a dead Anji. All right, HDC saying, all right, listen, I'm coming back again. Y'all seen me do it before. I'm doing it right now in Grand Finals. We'll reset this bracket, starting with this one round. Oh, wow. The tech on the throw. Yes. All right. I'm waiting to see the next layer on that. Because <laughs> once he starts, um, you know, trying to, try to grab him out of that jump in, I want to see what kind of counter engineer. Yeah. 
Okay, well, we're getting close to this corner here. Gonna have to hold the bird. Yo, the throw. The throw. There was something that started up. There's a throw right back at you here. HTC, you're gonna have to try to keep this corner control. Oh no, Purple RC trying to get the chase down with a 5k. Not happening. HTC has to play this perfectly. There can be right. no room for error in this round. Not at all. There's the grab, okay. There's the pressure going oh, back. Big back. jump, big close it up, that's red. All right, that's okay. Still got Burst going into the final round, and he's still got one more chance. Not the end of the world. 2S. Oh, just a no. Oh, wow, that Burst getting blocked here. Wath is looking strong here, trying to close it out quickly. Super, yup. Take the Oki, take the meter bonus. That is gonna do a ton of damage. All right, this is do or die for HDC. What is the answer? Oh, oh no, oh, one out. more shot. The low closes oh, it out. Waff man. shuts down a strong streak from HDC out here. First place. Waff too godlike. Did Waff drop a game this tournament? I oh, believe I'm, they round one. did, yeah. In round and, one. And we have oh, well, some missed... Some missed bracket things. Yeah, I got one O's put in there for, for when Chalone was down because I ain't being bothered recording what the exact games were in my mm. paper bracket. But oh, right, great right. shit out of Waff. That, that was clean. That was clean. That was Mr. Clean Magic Eraser all over your white wall. Right? Just pristine. Mm. Yeah. But I tell you what, though, like these were great games all great. around the board here. Uh, great showing from HDC as well. Um, and even for Jacko as well, too. Uh, uh, Masako uh, did a tremendous job just really showing how uh, strong Jacko can be and how terrifying Jacko is, especially the adjustments made, too, uh, to kind of control the pacing. It was fantastic to watch everything go down in this bracket. Yeah, um, especially the top eight in this bracket. There was something mm -hmm. I just thought of. There was no soul. There was no Leo, yeah. and there was no May. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. so there, so we don't normally get a lot of Mays. We normally get a lot of Mays. We we get very few, like one to two souls. Even with like the eighty person bracket, we got like one to two souls and like okay. uh, one to two Leos. Although Mango for Tango, fantastic Leo, won a couple tournaments. Oh yes, yes, Mango for so Tango. Good. I think he was in that. Um, they were in that bracket that me and you commentated a couple weeks ago. Zero. Uh, right. that name sounds vaguely familiar. Oh right. man. Yeah, this bracket was hella good, dude. Shout out to Waff. Big ups on the dub there. That was some of the best Andre <laughs> play I have ever seen. Um, mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. looked super dominant, super comfortable in every matchup they went into. Really, you like you could tell they put the work in. Uh, big ups to them. Big respect. Thanks for coming out, bro. Take the dub. You earned it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, fantastic tournament. Thank you guys so much for commentating today. It was um, it was a even as part of the like streaming it, it was a pleasure to listen to you guys. Like, um, clearly the chemistry is there. Clearly the experience is there. Um, yeah, it was just great. It's a great time. Well, yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for having me. And Lenox, it is great to have Ooh. you back on the mic as well. Likewise, bro. Likewise, it was a lot of fun. Um, so zero. Uh, shout out yourself. Where can people find you? Sure. Uh, so you can find me on Twitter at Zero Syndicate. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash Zero Syndicate. We're cranking through this Resident Evil series. We just wrapped up Claire's story in Resident Evil 2. We're going to go right on to Leon's story in advance. Of course, Battlefield 2042 and Halo Infinite will be coming back as well. Melty Blood has been on there too. I, I, I play a whole gaggle of games, if you didn't know. <laughs> I was going to say, if you're playing Leon, I might tune into that. Um, I'm, I'm a sucker for that handsome man that was Leo. Or Leon, excuse me. Yeah, so. Leon, the, the Boy Scout Leon? Mm. You know, innocent, pure Boy Scout Leon? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, big thanks for coming, dude. Um, thanks for having me. Follow me yeah. on Twitter, Lennox207. Um, I will be commentating Boston Blue Beat tomorrow. It's Boston's monthly. Roll through. Guilty Gear starts at 7, but we got blaze blue we got uh plus r we're gonna have grand blue we got a lot of good games there tune in big shout out to everybody that came through the chat the guys thank you so much for coming oh yeah uh thank you guys so much um i was gonna shout something out oh right new challenger discord if you're a new player which is what we cater to on these tournament newer players check out the new challenger discord 
um, I don't have a link ready, but ask me for a link if you're interested. They teach you how to play so many games from beginner on to advanced. I've gone there personally. Um, of course, that has no context now since I don't play Street Fighter anymore. But as a grandmaster in Street Fighter, I went to the New Challenger Discord for help, and they were able to give it to me. Uh, they're just a fantastic place, so uh, shout out to them. Otherwise, now we're going to transition over to Melty Blood, so thank you, Zero. Uh, you have a game to play, so go fucking play your game. I, I do. I gotta go do that. All right. Take care, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll okay. see you then. And Lenox, thank Yo, you. Uh, it was great having you on. Always welcome back. Yo, thank you so much. Yeah, hit me up anytime you need help. Um, I'm usually pretty flexible last last minute stuff, but this was so much fun. Dude, shout out to all the competitors again. Y'all are insane. Um, even if I'm not commentating, I'll be tuning in next time because y'all are crazy. Have a great night. Thank you again. All right, good night. Peace. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a Swell and a Saki. Sakura? Hello. Hello. Hello welcome uh so all right so we're gonna figure out our guilty gear right now i'm a little disoriented because um i'm not quite ready i'm not quite ready for the transition you know you know what i mean <laughs> oh I, I i completely understand more than you may know <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna get the uh we're gonna see if if velka and yeah, okay, they haven't started yet. On stream, fuck yeah, let's go. Velka and Yucky Germs. Hell yeah. That's, that's an awesome so, name, actually. <laughs> Yucky Germs? Oh, and they're a fantastic Street Fighter V player. I've had the pleasure of playing them a number of times in the past. A great Karen. Uh, I believe they play Saber in uh, Melty Blue because he doesn't. I play Saber as well. Uh, and then Velka. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying everybody loves Saber. It's cool to see her. Well, so I might be living under a rock, but I never heard of Fate before. Uh, I have never I, seen it. Don't worry. I haven't seen the Fate anime series. I just only know Saber because I played the one Fate Extella. That's the only reason I know her. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I, I thought her kit looked really cool. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to play Saber. And then apparently I'm standing Saber now. So, hooray. <laughs> I was surprised to see Saber as a guest character, but like totally cool. I'm for it. Uh, so, but yeah, that kind of took me a little off guard. Saw that happen though. But uh, she seems like a cool character. Oh, we're live already. Hello. We're in the Oh yeah, we're okay. going right yeah. in. There. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh crap! I'm not streaming to Discord. My bad. Um, I want to know a few seconds delay. We got a we got a Kohaku going up against Saber here. Kohaku has that the wonderful plant pressure. We'll see if you see if Stealth is able to get any of that rolling. Alright, alright, there we go. Discord streams up now, sorry about that. Oh, that's Ooh, that was a nice shield, there we go. Goes for Kohaku Optimal up there in the air. Yeah, got the uh, got the air throw ender, but wasn't close enough to get the BD cactus set up, so I think that out of there. Yeah, a little too far away, if you're up close, you can actually make sure the cactus is BD. You can shield it, so it might be trying to bait out a shield reaction, but if you're a little bit closer, uh, you can make, force them into a defensive choice there with the moon spell cactus. Oh, that was a good counter there from Belka going up, trying to see to get a meaty, not going to be able to. He activated right now for uh, Germ. Oh, that should be it right there. Oh, yep. There it is, the Arjai finish. That is actually right. one of the coolest Arjai finishes in the game, I feel. Um, and it's pretty um, interesting to see it like get set up, so that was really good there. Yeah, it reminds me of, it's very similar to uh, Charlotta's uh, render. Uh, like how it looks. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, nice. It's the air ender. Uh, uses the charge, charge JC there at the end of that, too, to get somewhat of a safe jump uh, set. Facing going. Kohaku doesn't really have a ton of great reversals, so you can kind of get away with that. Oh Set up perfect. Are we right close now. to a perfect? Yes, we are. No commentators curse out here. Uh, and Yucky Germs will be taking that first game. Very nice. Yucky Germs taking game one. Yep. As we move on into the next match here. You know, it's pretty interesting seeing this, like, matchup because you have uh, Velka's Kohaku doing a really good job with, like, the range. And then, of course, you have um, Saber, where it's a little hard to actually open up because of the mid-range that she has. 
Yeah, it's uh, she doesn't quite have those long range options, but her some of her jumping air buttons are cover so much space for how quickly she can advance across, like her charge jump, uh, charge JC. Felt to hear using some of these plant options too at not quite the right spacing for it, like using the 2 2 V there. Um, yeah. The spinny plant, it, that's a great option if you can put it on someone on the breakup, but that was Ooh. a little bit far away to get you there. No meaty uh, cactus there, but does get the counter off of the rapid beat. Gonna go for the throw, brings okay. out the fire plant. Okay, nice block on the shield. Very good call out there from Velka. Got the rapid beat into the air knockdown once more. I'd like to see Velka try to get a little bit closer off of some of these knockdowns here, but it's still working out mostly okay. Yucky Germ sitting at pretty low health with a lot of regener regenerative, a lot of gray health there. I almost said red health, but I'm in the wrong game for that. <laughs> Velka take round one. Yeah, that was actually a very smart choice to do to go into heat face right there. Um, does was able to actually get uh, the cactus out with a little bit of moon um, usage there. Okay, gets grabbed during that setup there. Yeah, it's okay. a little too many shield attempts there from Velka. Kind of surprised. Oh, there it goes Ooh. again, just as you mentioned it, and we're actually gonna go close to a perfect here. And there you go. Was that a perfect? Uh, I Barely. think. It, oh, it was. yeah, it was. Oh, okay. Yucky germs. It's uh, not looking too good here for uh, Velka. Was able to get the round, but it does feel like that round was a little bit, uh, a little bit scuffed, as uh, as they say, uh, <laughs> getting into the victory there. So we'll have to see how Velka can do in the same round. Nice back dash is away from being two A. Tries to back dash there, Buzz does get it. Okay, goes for the shields back to back. Uh, Velka winning that shield trade though. Uh, a little too high up there, not able to get the full uh, com full extension there. Okay, swinging through with the Molotovs. Nice, gets the other side, gets the counter off that too, so able to get the combo. Off. Nice. If you don't get the combo off of the Vanish hit, it just becomes relatively even circumstances afterwards, so not the worst thing in the world. But off the counter hit though, you can get a nice, you can get a combo into this. Right. We're running all this meter trying to tag with that 236C. It does give you a great knockdown if you can hit it, and it hits a large area, but it didn't quite tag anything with it. Side. Okay, gets the shield out. Uh, Belka going for another shield. So it looks like those shields are paying off at the moment. Uh, not able to set up close enough. Uh, heat activated right now for Yucky Germs. Okay, good call out there from Yucky Germs to stop the, the uh, setup on the cactus. And that's going to be the set that is two wins for Yucky Germs. Uh, I was... Uh, shocked that that meaty that that cactus didn't catch yucky germs. I yes, I agree. The, I'm guessing the crouch button gave enough of a low profile that yucky germs was able to hit and connect and get rid of the cactus because the cactus is not a uh, persistent projectile. It goes away if uh, Kohaku gets hit. It looks like we're gonna go back into it's gonna be a first to three. It's oh, we're in first like. to three status right now. My mistake. My mistake. Yeah, I think I remember seeing uh, in the Discord that it was only going to be round one and round two that were going to be first to two. So I think moving forward, we might be seeing all of like first to three, which there is still a chance for Yucky Germs to make it back. I feel like a little bit less um, shieldy, you could say, because um, it seems to have definitely caught uh, those rounds or cost the rounds there for sure. But uh, there it goes. Actually, yeah, I'm making it work right now. Not able. Yeah, like if you're. If you're a newer player to this game, uh, figure out what you can do to turn your hits off of shields into reliable knockdown and at least some kind of some kind of damage. Because like you're seeing these uh, exchanges here, where Velka or Yucky Germs are getting those counter hit off the of vanish, and they're not getting any like they're, they're not getting substantial reward out of it, and that's money on the table there. Yucky Germs still able to take that. Win. Yeah, there was a missed opportunity I think to probably do a nice uh, setup with either Cactus or uh, the Spin Tree, but it wasn't gonna work out and uh, yucky germs still already going into the art drive to get about 50 percent of Bel uh, belka's health already down that's crazy right now yeah only 10 seconds into the round and already half your life is gone the good thing uh, for Velka. Oh, and are we gonna get the full conversion? Nope. All right, tries to go for the mini jump. There we go. Heat mode activated. Oh, but unfortunately, getting oh. caught in that setup. That, and that should be game three there for Yucky Germs. There was like a moment of hesitation after Velka did heat, and then, uh, or as it's called in this version, forced release, but everyone's calling it heat anyways, because it's the mechanic that we all know and love. Uh, <laughs> uh, after activated, like took a half second to gain their bearings and then acted. It's one of those things where if you activate your heat, 
uh, the, you got to act on your momentum pretty quickly there. Uh, otherwise, your opponent's either going to take back the momentum or you're going to lose the opportunity for um, for that, that pressure relief. And thank you yeah. for joining us, folks, if you just have. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just, was, oh, that was a very <laughs> awkward segue. I apologize. <laughs> it's no problem. It's no problem. It's a little late here over in the East Coast. So we're all a little loopy. But um, I definitely want to point out, because you mentioned this um, really important that I think, unfortunately, which like impacted for Velka was the fact that there wasn't the opportunity to convert some of those um, combos into a really good knockdown situation. So mm -hmm. usually when you're seeing Kohaku or even um, Hisui, there's usually a route that allows you to set up many of their pressure situations, which is really important if you're learning about the mates. It's not just about trying to um, get the kill or get the end of the match. It's actually trying to set up and create the pressure system. Oh, yes. Um, and especially for Kohaku, where she has that broom, so there's a lot more range to work with than there is um, working with, um, like, Hisue or any of the other characters in this game. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, um, also the conversions. So, like you mentioned, it's very important that when you're starting out, you try to learn as many of your optimal routes as possible, because as you start um, getting into the higher level of play, those conversions literally mean um, the rounds for you, right? So we saw that happen a lot, and it worked in favor of Yucky Germs with those art drives as well. Yeah, once and even if you take a bad knockdown, a bad knockdown is better than no knockdown. A good knockdown is best, but sometimes you take what you can get. And now we have a very different style of match coming up here. Oh my lord! <laughs> we got Miyako versus Koma. Yeah, we do have Zero versus, um, I believe I'm just double check the bracket here real quick, uh, versus Waffle, actually. And it's going to be Kuma. This is actually a character I'm, I'm interested in seeing because um, he, he's a very tricky character, right? With being a grappler and all. And then, of course, there's Miyako, who is almost like a small gorilla in a way. Yeah. Uh, she go she go forward. Uh, she has pretty good damage. She seems pretty sh strong for how... She seems, she seems pretty strong and pretty quick in this game, uh, so very effective character at what she does. And Koma, uh, I don't know if it's tricky necessarily so much as uh, can force situations in. Ooh, bam! <laughs> right then and there. Yeah, and uh, he the, he is a little bit tricky in that he because he does have a really strong strike throw game, um, which interestingly enough, Miyako does as well, since Miyako's one of the few characters that can get combos off of her mid throw. Uh, yep. So both of these characters kind of negate some of the shield aspects that you, that are trouble for other characters. Ooh, nice. Yeah, oh my goodness. So we, 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 we definitely saw, yeah, we definitely, no, it's no problem. We definitely saw um, Waffle with like no meter starting off in the round and has already built up to two bars as well as a moon drive pretty soon. So that's a lot of armor and frames going to be in their advantage pretty soon. Yeah, you can, you build a lot of meter in this game. Uh, that was real smart there too. Waited on after the vanish to then call oh. out the, the second vanish to get it in there. Uh, if you just like wait a half a second on some of the shield punishes, it can change the dynamic of how you play around those. And Waff taken game one. That was very nice there from Waffle. Um, I really liked how that like match went down so quickly. Um, you can definitely tell that there there's a lot of adjusting that Zero is going to be needing to do. Um, does get the air there, not going to be able to get the conversion. I'm trying to wait it out a little bit, see what Waffle's going to try to do next. Oh, this is Zero Zero Syndicate! I didn't realize it was the same Zero. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> big ups to Zero. Always nice to commentate with that. Uh, oh, there you go! Just as you mentioned before, one of Miyako being that one of those few characters able to tumble off of the grab. Yeah, it makes her, very, uh, makes her strike through much more threatening just because it shifts the uh, risk-reward of how you're looking at those interactions. Nice. Get off me with the heat. We're going to see some meter burn here. You can combo into it. Oh, okay, it doesn't quite get to the combo state to cash out with the last arc there. Uh, once you get into the grounded Rekka series, so long as you don't put him too high up in the air, uh, Koma can combo into his uh, last arc pretty easily. Ooh, hey, not going to be able to get that going, and that's actually going to cost uh, Zero here. Yeah, Moon Drive Waffle available on both sides. We haven't seen any Moon Drive activate from either one of these players just yet. Now, Waff hasn't had to do it. Uh, been in firm control of most of the matchup here, but I'm surprised that we haven't seen it come out from zero as at least like a check of situations. Moon Drive isn't a complete get out of jail free card, but it is very, very strong, and uh, until you start displaying that option, your opponent's not going to 
I also oh, nice. think that uh, Waffle's keeping Zero in check quite a bit, so it's almost as if, like, even if Zero was trying to get in with those um, Moonarchs, it, was gonna be, it would be a pretty difficult um, decision there. But here we go, we got armor off of that reversal right now. Yeah, that, uh, that 2B plus C, very, uh, very good move there from Koma, sets up a nice reliable conversion as well. Koma, one of the few characters that whose air routes, uh, he can't air chain, so he just gets that. That's why the Koma air combos are always a little abbreviated. Okay, we got oh, going for it? the super, let's go, and here we go. He's gonna put out the fire right now. How dare you wake up shield in my face? I am the grappler! You think I, you think I care about something triggered by strike? <laughs> Let me put my hands on you. That was a very good round there from Waffle. Very, very good. Um, a really good call out too, right? So like, uh, for me, it's always a little scary seeing like Kuma actually like go for those grabs and, and kind of like just like walk up at you menacingly. And that's what we were seeing here from Waffle. And, and like I mentioned before, Waffle's doing a really good job in keeping Zero in check, not letting uh, Zero do any of the crazy Meowful things that we usually tend to see, especially uh, with those cross up and air to airs. Um, it's almost as if Zero's grounded. <laughs> yeah, Waffle's doing a decent job here of. Uh, so Zero could be searching for a little bit of a better knockdown there. Like, we're seeing a lot of the combos from Zero here are rapid beats into just the standard air string. Uh, what, you, what you'll see from Miyako players and, else, and other players as well is you just go for the air throw before you use your double jump, so then you have your double jump left or better Oki situation afterwards. I was surprised that that 6-2-3-B hit, though. Okay. Okay, that's the jump in as well, and here we go. Gonna go ahead yeah. and get that side switch as well. Heat activated. activated right now. That's a lot of bar on this heat too. That re oh right, went for the unblockable, didn't go for the command. Okay, the really good call from Zero. Gonna get that last take there though, off of the string. Gonna go for again for the side switch. Okay, Very misses cool. the jump in. Yeah, this is kill range for Zero. If Zero can, yep, there it is, right there. Zero takes a round. Let's go. Zero still staying alive here. We are on game number three. Has to be able to take this game in order to keep uh, live on the winner side of this bracket. Well, over on the winner side right now. Okay, Zero. Let's see how you do. Call order though. Waff has uh, been. Oh, nice. Gets the air, oh, air, nice. air, to, air to air counter hit. Able to score the conversion afterwards. Converting off your air, air counter hits. So huge in this game. Zero trying to get in. Unfortunately, going to get caught again by Waffle. Uses heat to get off of me, please. Thank you very much. Starts up the combo here off of that grab. Get the ender. Yeah, not not the best use of meter for Miyako. Like, as cool as it looks and it, yeah. it feels very emphatic, it, it doesn't do as a ton of damage as far as the art press go. Very nice, nice patience. Shield do nothing. Shield do nothing. Walk up, get the throw conversion into a knockdown. Okay, run on up. Try to follow okay, things up good here. Good jump. Goes for the parry right there off of two. And here we go. There's Goes for a throw again. Oh no! Oh no, it doesn't convert! This is the follow through. Okay, so we do have a potential heat activation available here from Waff. Oh, mm. okay. It's snuffed out of the air there. Yeah. Didn't. Yeah, that was a smart. So, something that Zero did there, just doing the jump, ba uh, rising JA, either a back jump or a. Uh, or j just rising JA in general is a decent option to catch out a lot of air approaches in this game. And I believe that, that that's what Zero caught out. Uh, waffle with at the very end there. Yeah. So uh, just because if you do score a counter hit with that, uh, you'll be able to pick it up because you're untackable all the way to the floor in Melty on uh, air counter hits. So smart call from zero there, proactively in the space. Uh, yeah, okay. good stuff. Get into the next game. Yep, and here we go. Waffle already keeping zero in the corner. Gets grabbed and starts up the combo. Oh, doesn't able to get that last hit in. Nice shield goes forward. Oh, still. Over. Was still holding down after the 2A got shielded, didn't reset to 5 to try to get the Vanish shield. Nice here. Okay. Oh, try to armor through that. Awesome. We're saying waffle. Really right now. We're being told waff, not waffle. It's not it's not breakfast food, it's just waff. Understood, waff. Our bad, our bad. Just waff. <laughs> Right, Zero still sitting on some bar here. Might try to catch it out oh, here. Ooh, no, it's tagged. It's tagged by the IAD. Yeah, and the instant dash is here in this game. Uh, you can get those off of just a nine plus your dash button, so it's a lot easier to get. Uh, it's easier to get those than it might look sometimes. Oh, the wake up buttons. Unfortunately, Zero not able to catch that meaty, and uh, Waff able to take that first round. He's gonna be on set point right now. 
do change here. Alright, catches with just a simple ground string there. Takes the knockdown. Need to follow up here. Oh, gets the cross up. Cross through, okay. Okay. Get the DP there. Not able to combo off of it without cashing out your moon drive activate though. Let's go. I love that third hit of Koma's Brecca. It looks like he just like poses in the air for half a second. Oh my uh, goodness, and there gets that grab right there. Goes for the overhand, not gonna be able to convert fully. Keep mode activated right now for zero, trying to get some of that health back as well. Oh Ooh. no, gets dunked with the JC. Not able to score a conversion though is WAP. Zero here gets the corner carry, gonna be able to go into this uh, rapid beat combo here. Takes a knockdown, follow up gonna be. BD2A goes for the DP after the BD2A. Not too sure about that, that hey, might nice have been a bad effort. Very nice back there from Zero's part. Let's actually get the conversion. Oh, really? Caught? Zero caught Waff mashing? Because that wasn't an overhead or anything. Ooh, okay, There's the two. stand shield. Nice. Here we go. Throw. And Zero's gonna kill. And we are going to the last round of the set, everyone. So let's go. It's getting pretty heated. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that was not a pun, by the way. I, I just realized that. I don't believe a single word, Saki. Yeah, bullshit. I, I saw, I heard how you enunciated heated. <laughs> you, you, could, you could see the eyebrow waggle as it was said. <laughs> so you're activating heat mode right now. Both I sides you get something from it. Yeah, both sides here uh, dance around in the air. I really want to see some uh, use of the moon skills from uh, Zero. They can help with uh, some of the conversions and also help to bridge some combo routes. Oh no! Waff could have finished there! Could have, instead of going for the third hit of the Rekka, could have just gone for last arc and closed it out. However, works out either way, and Waff takes game... I believe that should be game three for Waff? If I'm keeping track of this correctly, yeah. that is oh. game three. Waff takes the set. That's right, three to one. That means we're gonna try and move into winners right or winners finals right away to give losers as much time to catch up as they can because we're all on the east coast. We all want to go to bed. Uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in central. I mean, I'm a vampire, so I'm I, in central I time. I don't have an excuse. <laughs> okay, I want to go to bed. I've already been streaming Guilty Gear for the last three and a half hours. Yo, damn! All right, putting in that work. Yeah. Um, all right, so Yucky Germs and Waff on stream. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, started out, well, we have a little, I guess you guys are reasonably aware of the online local history, but started off as a West Coast Street Fighter stream, Guilty Gear was coming out, I'm like, I'm gonna switch to Guilty Gear, Melty Blood came out, it's too much fun, I'm like, all right, we're gonna do both, I'm just gonna run Guilty Gear and Melty Blood concurrently, but, um, this is only the se second week. I, I don't even know how long Melty Blood's been out. Not like yet, no. Melty it's Blood's been a, I think it's the second week, actually. Yeah, I think this it's is been out a week, week. a week and some change. It came out right. um, on Thursday of yeah, last week. Up. So we ran yep. a tournament on Friday, and now this is the second tournament. Let's go. Congrats. That's awesome, actually. All right, That's awesome to hear. Game. You know, because like usually, obviously with the, the, the gift of beautiful rowback netcode, right? We're actually able to see some pretty awesome and hype matches in Melty Blood. But speaking of hype matches, we got Yucky Germs versus Wolf, Saber versus Kuma. Let's get it. All right. Waff here, able to get into a nice little setup. Nice little setup, getting things rolling here. Gets clipped low, though, unfortunately. Yucky Germs not able to complete the rest of the combo, though. All right, just poking around with these lows here. Good flash. It looks like it's going to be in favor of Wolf right now. The weird thing about clash frames in this game, there's actually two different types of clash frames. I'm, I'm not going to say it's it is. You have you have really weird clash interactions with this game, and finding out which of your buttons are your good are your good things to clash with if you think you might collide with somebody else is a good good thing to note in this game. Oh, unfortunately, not able to call out the overhead, but thankfully was able to block most of those that string so that we can get that side switch going. Off here, nice. getting the conversion. Are we going to get the kill? Yes, we are. Oh no, barely. Oh, no, it's still Oh my god, it's still All right. He'd activated here, that should finish it off there though. Nice. Yeah, you know, I, I saw in chat uh, about someone complimenting Heat. And you know what? It's a really interesting, and I feel like Fallon so far in this mechanic, because exactly that. Yes, you're getting held back, but a really good player will know when to punish you and when to take advantage of trying to like stop you from that game plan. 
Yeah, and uh, you actually see this in uh, less so. I think less so in this version currently, but in because you only you only regenerate health so long as you're not in hit or block stun. So in older versions of Melty Blood, there were actually strategies where if you see someone gen uh, activate heat, uh, even if you can't open them up, you just lock them down in block stun and just block string them so they can't get any of their health to regenerate. I, I don't oh think my goodness! Gonna... I don't. Is that gonna kill? This might kill. I think this might. This will kill. This will definitely kill. Because this go. is an arc I finish. That arc I finish hits so hard. Very good stuff there from Moff. Um, really, really good usage of the meters um, and actually going for that kill there. Yeah. Uh, and another, nice, another thing about heat as a mechanic as well, just to cycle back to that point, uh, it it's why you don't necessarily want to save and just try to blow your meter on like big last arc swings. Because if you do that, or your arc drive finish. I always get the two mixed up. But if you do that, you're wasting your opportunity to regenerate health, and that's potentially three different times that you could have activated, because like it costs three bar, right? So that's times that you could have activated your heat as a reversal option, or to relieve pressure in a block string, so on and so forth. Obviously, really good catch there from uh, Loft there, actually. Okay, another good catch here. I'll, I'll stop talking theory for now. I'll save it for between <laughs> matches. Hits with the unblockable. That charge 5C becomes unblockable with Coma. I don't know if you can pick up off of it unless you activate Moon Drive or uh, spend some sort of cash, but it uh, does side swap though, so it can, it can be advantageous to Coma in those situations. I think that was a perfect. Very it nice. Was. All right, and here we go. Goes for the Arc Drive. Right here. into it. Okay. Takes a nice, like, just about 4k damage off of that. Heat activate. Oh, armor's up with the oh, install. Let's go. Okay, good catch in the air to air. Oh, clips with, the, clips with the two way. Yeah, meaty two way. Not a bad. Uh, if you don't know what else to do for Oki, meaty two way. Not a bad option if your opponent's not uh, not low shielding it all the time. You know, if you do that, then you can rotate your options. For now, oh nice! Did you see that charge C hit the back? She got the back yes, scratcher hit. Okay, no punish there, but it was a good choice of patience. Okay, nice blocks. Blocks the overhead. Yeah, that that. I think that's her back moon moon skill button. Uh, it becomes an overhead there after she does the back sway. Ooh. Okay, using well, uh actually using two uh two eight like you mentioned as that meaty option. Oh yeah, it's a that is the Melty Blood classic. Like it's a little bit of a meme to to say ah Melty Blood, you just run up and mash two A. Uh, you, there's more to it than that, but it's not a bad option as far as uh, options go in this game because you can if they block it, then you can just rebeat out of the pressure, um, all sorts of stuff there. And it, it because it you can confirm off of it into pretty good results as well if it does hit. Oh wow, that's already half a life bar gone. We're only 10 seconds into the match. Come on. Yeah, that is saver for you. Once once she gets going with those uh, strings, it's like constant damage. And the, the cool thing is, is that even if you're blocking, you still have to do like a 50-50 guess um, between the overhead or the low. Um, but it looks like Waf is gonna try to make this comeback happen. But I don't think it no. might. Uh, Yucky Germs is gonna take it there. Yucky Germs says D9. No moon drive available here at all for uh, for Waf. I'm completely empty on the moon gauge here, whereas Yucky Germs is sitting on some cash. The good thing, though, it seems, is that uh, Waf definitely has enough meter to cover uh, a lot of the damage. And there we go! Just as I said it! That's going to be a huge amount of portion of the health bar um, right there. Yeah. It's a nice, just just, just shy of 40% uh, of the life bar gone. Still nice, nice bit of damage. Oh! There's that hitting from the back again as well. That Saber JC hits. What an angle! Oh, again! Right there! Oh, into the Arc Drive finish. Not gonna be able to kill though. Good damage, gonna need at least one more good exchange out of this. Uh, this should do it right here. Oh! Alright, okay. Yucky Germs firing back with the game. Let's go! Alright, looks like it's gonna be definitely a back and forth. Uh, we've definitely seen. Yucky Germs really make this comeback as well. I really, I really like the momentum that they were setting up as well. Um, it definitely seems like they are catching off off the art in here. Well, just to say that, like, there you go. Okay, it tries to go for the overhead. This Saber Dash looks kind of quick. I haven't really, like, I, I played a little bit of Saber here and there, but I haven't really noticed how fast she advances with that. Yeah, her, her air, like, her air movement and, and just, like, in her movement in general, is um really good um it catches people pretty off guard and, and again why her strings are um pretty good at, at uh, catching people. yeah nice air throw there get some pressure out of it nice with the uh, rebeat to the 5a lift to make sure that uh keeps things safer there Ooh, nice. okay 
Nice. That was a good finish. Spends the cash. Gets the kill. Good stuff. Trying to even up this uh, this set here is Yucky Germs. Okay. Oh, there's a clash the frame. Goes right into the 2A after the clash. You can... I'm not sure if it's a thing where you can tell which players have played games with Clash before or what, but I've definitely seen a difference here with how WAF is handling these Clash situations versus how Yucky Germ is handling the Clash situations. Yeah. Oh no, had the hit, but doesn't do anything with it! Really unfortunate. Okay, nice defense here from WAF. Does get caught by that last hit there. Oh, there's the over. The over wow! Not just out of range. Yep. Oh, but gets hit by the last overhead, tries to go for the meaty jump in. Waf, Waf is doing really good, though, on defense. Like, you definitely have to commend that. That's it, It's really hard to just defend all of that, because you see all of that pressure, and you just, like, you want to press, but um, really good stuff there. From all right, especially because this game gives you, like, a variety of defensive options as well. Like, you got your moon drives, a lot of characters have uh, a okay. DP or a decent DP function. So, like, you want to press something on defense. Right now, though, catches the air throw. Let's see what they can put on, make Yucky turn type of hold for defense. It's not gonna oh, get the chance though. That air special there was gonna cost it um, with Yucky Germs taking the game. I believe this is 2 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 2 2. We got a tied set. This is our most competitive set that we've had so far for uh, Melty Blood here on stream for the online local. Let's do it. Nice. Trying to slide, slide in there. JC gets blocked. Both sides just uh, trying to trying to respect some space here a little bit. Take it. Ooh, okay. Have a trade. Neither side able to get anything out of it. Very polite exchange of buttons. This is looking too much like Street Fighter for my taste. Somebody please start air dash. <laughs> start creating those um, air movements, right? <laughs> okay, and there we go. Just as we, just as we say that, right? Yeah. Nice. For the Rekka series, ends it with the command grab. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Shield launch here. Takes a basic yeah. little string. Yeah, that's what I was talking about right there that um, I mentioned earlier. You go for the air throw right away, and then you can use your double jump. Okay, it doesn't go for it that time, but the previous okay. time though. Really good punish there too. Um, yeah. Birds. Here we go. Nice. Uh, I oh, oh no! Oh, no. This is the opportunity to kill. Okay, clashes. There we go. This time Yucky Germs uh, it reacts to the clash appropriately. Oh, Waff able to find the touch after sneaking out to the other side here. This is where like everything can go downhill. Okay, use this heat to just get off, like the get off me button. Oh, but unfortunately he's gonna get caught there. Waff needs one more good exchange here. Okay, Ooh. not gonna be able to kill just yet. Coming down, one pack on either side. No! Close to the arm of command grab, the back dashes. Very smart play from Yucky Germs there. Knows that Kona's the grappler character, back dashes away to avoid the grab, and then uh, snipe, snipes out Waff's feet afterwards. Very heads up play from Yucky Germs. Yeah, Yucky Germs is doing really good. Um, it was definitely a close round for both of those players. It could have literally gone either way, but a good call out makes the difference. Um, and we're gonna see Yucky Germs trying to keep off nice. in the corner, but Waff saying, no way, we're gonna, we're definitely coming out here. Yeah, that air, that air moon drive kind of gives Koma something adjacent to a dive kick. It's not like really a dive kick angle, you wouldn't use it like that. But yeah, right there, you just see him zoom down to the floor. Ooh, okay, and here we go. It's almost like if uh, if Soul could go into Bandit, go into Bandit Bringer a lot faster. Uh, All right, overhead catching Wolf, but able to recover from that. Jumps out of the corner to get off of that pressure. Starts nice. it up. Okay, are we going from here? Watch the JC, gets opened up low afterwards though. What's this extension gonna be? Oh, goes for the EX dive out of it. Okay, we got Blood Heat. Right. Please just go combo right into super. Oh, still got so much damage out of that though. Wow. Yeah, that was a lot of damage for sure. Okay, Cautious. Looks like it's gonna be on the side for uh, Yucky Germs. One good exchange here might be able to do it. Has to be careful though, because it can be going seconds. either way. Gets caught in the low. Person used the jump to PD. Are we getting to a close to a timeout here? Nope. Off says, I'll just take care of that for you. No need to worry about these life, these, uh, who's got the life lead here. Let me just close this out. It might have been the first timeout that I saw in Melty Blood. I don't think I've seen a timeout in this game. I, so I actually uh, was able to see a timeout happen to me, and it, it's pretty cool because there's just so much like we saw in that match there that like is happening, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you suddenly realize, oh my gosh, this, there's a timer with all of this damage. But and just as I say that too, we have Walk here going for that all of that damage. Blood he activated right now for Yucky Germs. Okay. Oh, okay. trying to bait out the. Uh, for the big, big arc drive finish. Okay. If he, if he, please, please re release me from this corner. <laughs> the get off me tool. I really want to see these players 
Okay, I'm gonna point this out in a minute here. We'll stay in the match right now. Nice. Uses the moon drive after the moon drive activate. Just holds the block there. You're not totally... Oh, okay. Okay. What do we got here, Yucky Germs? Okay, barely catches that. Whips the first part of the swing, actually. It's a knockdown, though. There's the double jump I was talking about. You preserve your jump. Takes the charge, JC. Oh my goodness. It's with the overhead. There's like a blender happening right now from the um, Yucky Germs part. Okay. Please. Nice. Armor up. Let's go. Oh my god. And here we go. There goes the clutch exchange. And right there is going to seal the deal, Yucky Germs. Taking it. Yucky Germs running back to make sure that this is able to uh, be a saber bracket. Takes the win over Waff. That was really good, and uh, Yucky Germs will be heading to heading to Grand. Oh, sorry, to Winners Finals. My apologies. Let's go, Yucky Germs. Yeah, yeah Yucky actually, Germs, like this grand a winner side of Grand Finals. Winner wow. side of Grand Finals. That's right. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. So something I wanted to point out there um, that I don't know if we've been seeing from the players that we've had on so far. When you go into when you activate your heat, you can use your arc drive so long as. Uh, your art, you can use your super so long as you have any amount of time remaining on that. It's like under night in that regard, uh, mm -hmm. which makes sense because they're both French bread games. But what I mean with that, though, is that even if you just have like the tiniest bit of timer left on your heat, you can still go into that. And there was a couple of opportunities where both players had that chance to go into it and instead spent their meter in some other fashion. It's a little hard to keep track of when you're in the, uh, the, the heat of battle. Uh, no pun intended yeah. there. But it is... <laughs> It's but it is right now. It's your yeah, turn. I know, right? <laughs> it swings both ways. But uh, but yeah, like, like when you when you're in the middle of things, it's hard to keep track of that. But it's where really mindful use of your resources in this game can really, really, really pay off. Which is what attracts me to the Melty Blood series. Uh, the ways you can handle your gauge and the way you can get different utility out of it is really, really, really cool to me. So it's it's a thing I, I can't wait to see players take more advantage of. That's the beauty about, um, I feel like, at least for me, right, because going into like Guilty Gear and Melty Blood, um, I have seen such creative usages to the meter um, mm -hmm. where it's not like, yes, it's designed to do certain things, but it's like you mentioned, there's just so many different ways you can use that meter. And not only does it like add a little bit of flavor to the player's play style, right, mm -hmm. but it's adding to the fact that you, you you can be as cautious or as giving with your meter depending on how you're trying to want that like round or that game to mm -hmm. go go down right so it's really interesting to see how like when we saw these two players where like like we mentioned you know we've seen Wolf able to literally come back in a round with so starts off with no meter and comes back with literally three meters already ready to do that super for that optimal damage um and then the same thing too with yucky germs and again you know having that mastery over the meter and fully utilizing it for your style is one of the biggest um important mechanics that you want to familiarize yourself especially if you're a new player not only to the game but to just like the genre in of itself oh, absolutely and it's another th it's a thing too where you can you start to identify where a player's specific strengths are uh, mm -hmm. based off like you can be you can have really good footsies and then also have have a player who's really good at system manipulation because there's a lot of different systems at play in melty blood and the systems are very strong you can end up having uh a very different play styles that, that that emerge from different players like i've fought people that are oh this person's a grand blue player so their their footsies are kind of like on point and they they understand they understand xyz oh but then this person is an anime game player so they totally understand how all the movement works or they understand so on so forth etc yeah. probably belaboring the point a little bit but <laughs> <laughs> all right we got it's our next match Oh, go ahead, please. Um, it looks like we have Velka with the return of the uh, Kohaku versus Captain Africa. With We're Kohaku. joining mid set, so Captain Africa is up 2 0 right now. Ooh, okay. okay. Up, up 2 0 and looking pretty strong right now with this Miyako. Gets in with the overhead, calls out the low shield from Velka. Ooh, sitting on a perfect currently. Okay, nice grab there from Velka. Starting up the pressure. Oh, I like that. Trying to like, tease out that low shield and able to actually get it. We're going to see the setup. We do have the cactus up. Nice. Shield, shield traits. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, Ooh. nice. Just walk up throw after the shield and doesn't do anything else after it. And so it takes that little extra combo that Miyako can get after her throw. All right. Uses heat to get off. Oh, no. Takes the... Ah! Uh, goes with the goofy knowledge check. If you charge that up, it becomes unblockable. <laughs> That's actually really interesting. I learned something new today. <laughs> yeah, uh, she, she has that in her... Uh, in the previous version of Melty, some versions of Kohaku have that, and it's just straight up unblockable, but it kind of travels in not a very threatening way and doesn't come out super quick. So they kind of kept that in a way with that. Oh, okay, moon okay. skills off of Molotov. Okay, we got the meeting practice. And this might kill, yes it does. Both are taking the first round again. Yeah, that meaty cactus is overhead too. It's so messed up. <laughs> like not, not all the hits, but when it first comes out, that it has a little hitbox just as it enters. Overhead. What a character. Right, nice little patience there from Captain. Ooh, I don't know about Velta there doing all that walking back there. That's just because the walking back sacrifices your position. This is not like a Street Fighter game or uh, where you want to sacrifice space as a, as a means of caution. And even in Street Fighter, you don't really want to do that. Uh, just walking away like that and giving up space and putting yourself in the corner. Very, very threatening. Not working out too good for Velta right now doing really good right now too um i'm really liking the back and forth shields and also baiting out that like second follow-up shield really good knowledge of like how that mechanic works and just understanding also um Elka's habits and i believe we're going to be going into step three right now i cannot believe that that uh jc hit that hit at such an angle as to not get caught by the heat there at the end of that round i was shocked all right, there you go. Welcome okay, here. Oh, but the shield back and forth is gonna catch Velka off guard. Goes yeah, Velka would have just, if Velka would have just blocked there, the cactus would have punched the shield counter. But Velka must have pressed the button there after the shield, though. All right, tries to go for the air to air instead, gonna get the ground going. Trying to get some extra damage. Tries to go for the jump. In. Gonna get caught in the blow key activation. Oh. Going to charge it again? <laughs> that was a very silly exchange. Uh, I believe that was Captain Africa going for the full screen stomp. Uh, yep. Uh, these players are being silly right now, but okay. Runs up. Oh, catches with a cross up elbow. Very nice. Weird thing. That elbow doesn't cross up if you're standing. It does if you're crouching. Strange. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be the set going to Captain Africa since we joined this one mid-set and it was already 2-0. So Captain Africa going over Velka. And are we... Ooh, is that our last uh, loser side before Grand Finals or do we still have a loser no, final? So we have loser semifinals coming up between Captain Africa and Zero and then uh, the winner of that goes up against Wa. Very nice. And I'm really excited to see. I think this might be a mirror match, actually. <laughs> yeah, this will be a Miyako mirror. Not quite as loud as the jam mirror, as you might expect from a <laughs> similar play style, but. I, I feel like this is going to be interesting. Um, and just because um, we saw a little bit of Captain actually um, showing off that Miyako, right? And then, of course, we saw Zero. Um, I, I feel like with Zero, kind of taking the time to understand how uh, his opponent works mm -hmm. versus um, just straight up going for like the Miyako game, right? So mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting to see how Zero adapts here against Captain. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see also the mirror. I haven't seen a mirror Miyako match. Well, what'll be weird about this mirror? Uh, okay, so Captain Africa has uh, what, pink hair Miyako. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, Captain Africa has the Deshko hair Miyako, and Zero has Rin hair Miyako. Very specific camp Yuru, rep, uh, Yuru camp reference, but... Okay, nice shield there, um, with, uh, Zero here. Yeah, Back this, here. uh... But... Yeah, this is a mirror match is an interesting one too because like usually one of Miyako's struggles is the short limbs and not able to get in, but both sides need to here, so that's not really gonna be an issue. I really like what Zero's doing right now too, is like providing some space to just call out some of the stuff that Captain's gonna be doing. So like for example, we, we just saw that um, Zero's like backing up just a little bit to catch um, Captain from doing anything. That angle felt so ambiguous. Okay. Shield do nothing, shield do nothing, get thrown! <laughs> All right, get the side switch going. Does get caught in the jump in here from Captain. Oh, okay, people say she got tiny hands, but that, that seemed to reach from really far away. All right, run up. Both sides are running up and shielding. Damn, y'all, y'all, you know that your character got the throw mix too, though. These two are very brave to keep going for those shields. Oh, I 
Captain's okay in here. Captain able to get a hit off of that sheer parry. Ooh, tries to snuff out, uh, snipe out with the air kick there. If that had been a moon scaled version of the kick or an EX version of the, um, I think it's called exclamation maybe? It's got a weird name like that. But whatever her uh, her leaping kick is in the air, if that had been a different version, I would have sniped it out. However, Zero picks it up though and takes control of the start of the round. Captain Africa firing right back. Though. Yeah, right now we're gonna see if Captain Africa will be able to get anything. And then here we go, Zero actually is going ahead and throwing and, cast and getting the conversion. Yeah, Zero has had a nice little extension there in the middle of that to drag out that ground a tiny bit. Again! Shield do nothings into getting thrown. <laughs> Miyako players, please. I definitely think, you know what's also crazy too is Zero's actually reacting a little bit faster to those shields. Um, and he's noticing that uh, Captain is definitely hungry to try to catch uh, Zero off guard. Has to be careful here. That'll do there it. There it is! Yeah, get this panda in here. Do we know the panda's name? Does anyone know the panda's name? I want to know this panda. That's a good question. It won't kill. Damage. That is a lot of damage. Able to actually catch Captain off guard again, though, with that grab. Once again, Zero calling it out. Um, definitely the adjustment. I, I mean, I really like that the blood heat was activated and it was able to catch Zero in that pair, in like that one shield. But Zero's been able to just call out that defensive um, system easily when it comes. Okay, and now Captain Africa is taking a little bit of turn there. Well, it's uh, it's kind of how we were uh, identifying earlier that her strike throw becomes weighted, so just going for the throw is that much more worthwhile. So shielding becomes a little less of a payoff against Miyako. So it makes me wonder if these two actually haven't fought other Miyako before, so now they're adjusting to fighting Miyako, uh, or adjusting to fighting their own character. But yeah. Who knows? Absolutely. For now, Zero running a little bit of a train here. Oh, okay. Captain Africa. Okay. Oh. Really? Called that was zero in startup frames of a DP as well. So Captain Africa called out the DP with a super. Nice. Runs up for the throw. Oh. Nice catch on the counter as well for zero. Okay. Good use to just not press the button there. Just wait a little bit. Captain trying to get something out. Tries to go. In. They're going in when trying to get these throws and making some of these all-in plays, but you can actually play a little bit more patient with her just because she can keep up plus she can keep up pressure frames in, up in your face without having to go totally all in. Zero though, take this round. There. Yeah, right there. There you go. Just like you mentioned before, again, it's like just that strike throw mix is like very scary when it comes to Miyako. Um, okay, shields. Okay, nice. Okay, rotate. there we go. Ooh. Captain Africa trying to play now. <laughs> The shield into really the throw, cool. into the shield, into the throw tech. Oh, please. They are fusing brains. Miyako play, we're, we're watching the Miyako player brain cell fusion dance happen before our eyes. Absolutely, that's exactly what's happening. Does get the throw going. Gonna go for the conversion. Nice, catches the extension there off of uh, what I believe was the 214A. So good stuff from Zero there. Introducing a little bit of variety into those combos. Nice, catches around with a side swap elbow. Okay, nice. Interrupts that cross up. That's the one good thing about uh, Miyako in this game is that. Oh, it's not like... through the heat! Oh my goodness. Okay. That was so sick. This might be scary. Okay. Zero activating his heat as well. Okay. Well, we're not seeing them. I know what we're not seeing. We're not seeing them. That's not gonna kill. That is not gonna kill. damage here. Zero can kill with one more throw. Okay, using two A. Very nice. The meaty two way. It I is mean, the one. I'm, just, I'm not gonna lie. If that's an that's been an actual thing, I'm like I'm like notating it down so that <laughs> I can use for later. Cause that's that's a thing. That's the tech. That's the tech right there. <laughs> if you have questions on what your meaty is, two A. Just two A. <laughs> uh, another thing I'm noticing, neither one of these players are using the BC follow-up on the shield. And the BC follow-up is one of the, not quite a trump card, but it is really good at getting you out of situations, and it's uh, good at calling out if they don't get the right shield option. And we're not seeing that one from either player here. And I don't see them using their moon skills for a lot of, of other items, so I don't know if it's necessarily a conscious decision that they're making, but it's something that uh, you may want to, I, I would kind of want to see at least some use of the B plus C extension or uh, something that you see in other matches as well. Yeah, Fernando? I think 
I think you're definitely onto something though, for sure. As we're like definitely seeing that it's been like a back and forth. And I feel like it's been more of like catching their defense right now. As you can see right here, doesn't able to get um that hit going and zero able to punish fully. Um and here we go. That, that's uh that arc drive is is very vertical. It's not very horizontal. It does hit very high up, but it, it does not cover much horizontal distance in front of Miyako. If you want to cover a horizontal space, you're better off doing uh, the stomp just to cover the floor, or doing uh, like I don't know, e, uh, TK uh, jump kick if you wanted to cover that. Okay. Yeah, and, nice. and like I said, most of this, most of these matches have has literally been both Zero and Captain uh, taking advantage of their strike throw because they're trying to shield. Um, so it feels like almost to use that moon drive, unless they're trying to change up something, it's almost like, like a risk in a sense. But here we go. Okay. Zero only needs like one more touch. I believe that's this is Zero sitting at two games right now. Captain Africa on the back foot gets caught with there a throw. That should be it, so long as Zero doesn't drop this. Oh, oh no, Zero no. went for a little extra extension! Put a little too much mustard on it! Oh no, oh no. Zero's got three bar though. Does it? Oh, air unblockable. I'm pretty 90% sure it's air unblockable. Maybe, no, I might be wrong about that one. I'm gonna take it back. Either way though, Zero closes it out with that. Definitely could have been shielded though from Captain Africa. So Captain Africa may have committed to a button. I'd have to see a replay, I don't know. But Zero though, taking that set. Indeed. That was, that was actually a really, really impressive um, mirror match. I think that's probably one of the hypest I've definitely seen. Um, and I think, like, we were talking about it, right? And, but if you look back, it's just been like the momentum that each of these players have gone in has been calling out their habits um, and, and actually like catching them with that um, mix. So I, I find it very interesting. Um, and of course, they didn't really use their moon drive, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like there was almost no need, except maybe when they would go back and forth on the shields. But even then, it just felt like they were better off getting a full extension or full conversion um, and just keeping that pressure going. Um, so very, like, very good stuff. I was really impressed. Yeah. Uh, the I, I, I almost want to see more of the moon drive because the moon drive also adds for clash frames to your moon skills. So mm -hmm. it opens up some options defensively and elsewise that you may not get, uh, may, that, that you wouldn't have uh, in your kit. Uh, for now, though, we'll have to see uh, how this match between Waff and Zero goes as we get down to it. Also, also thank you for the shout for the uh, lore that the panda's name is Master Panda. So glad that we have that's that clear awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. Did not expect Master Panda, but that's awesome. <laughs> right? Is either going to be like something like really dramatic or something as basic as possible? <laughs> All right, Zero with the DP though doesn't get doesn't get a follow up after it though. If you moon drive cancel, you can get some follow up after the DP, but yeah, uh, you you can't combo off of that by default. Very nice. Oh, no. Dash to bait on a button. Not gonna be able to continue though off of the throw. And here we go, while getting that for, um, full on optimal. There okay. it is, and, and ends it in the arc drive as well. Just what I wanted to see after it what I talked about last time. I don't know if Waff was listening to the, uh, the, the the playback there, but Waff did the thing exact thing I was talking about uh, earlier, where it had just a little bit of the heat gauge left, but cashed it out for super. Excellent stuff. Yeah, I definitely think it's, it, this is actually again a, a sort of like a run back right now happening between Zero and Waff as uh, Waff sent yeah. Zero to losers. So I feel like there's a lot that probably while they were waiting for the match to happen, they were um, analyzing beforehand. And here we go, gets the jump. Yeah, hits with the IAD, not able to get the follow up afterwards, but does get some corner pressure out of it. But Zero with the shield says, nope, no thank you. Get out of here. DP's out, doesn't get anything after it though. Hey, good throw. Good little throw there. If Zero had done that throw not as a back throw, uh, I, I do it too sometimes. It, I don't know why it happens. Then would have been able to keep the corner position. Uh, however, no luck here. Ooh! Ooh, okay. beautiful catch there with that DP. And here we go. Yeah, her um, the B version of her DP has like a, she does like a little like run forward first before she does it. So I, I'm not fully a, a sure of its usage. You can use it in some combos, but Zero found a use for it right there though. Right, right there though, to uh, catch Waf. It tries to interrupt Zero here. Trying to get the side switch, not going to be able to, going to get caught on that grab. Hit confirms into the arc. 
I, it also feels like that arc doesn't do as much damage as you kind of like expect. Yeah, like it looks really, it looks really big because she's stomping the ground. And there's this huge pillar, but it's it's really not great for damage though. You don't want to be. Ooh, okay, and here we go. Gonna get Ooh. on that DP again. Unfortunately, gonna get punished though with that second DP being blocked. But Yo, yeah, dynamite! It is. See you in the stream. Nice, interrupting this too. So Miyako's not getting any regen uh, on the heat there. Zero tried to mash out a button there in that string. Got clipped though. Coma takes game one. Uh, Waff's coma, I should say. <laughs> yeah, that was actually really good there. Uh, fourth coma. Um, I, you know, I feel like that second DP costed zero the match. <laughs> trying to, try to just DP out of the way, you know, just saying you can't stop me. And, and Waff instantly said, nah, I'm stopping you. <laughs> All right, yeah, that Waff here just uh, flying around through the air. Uh, the Coma Charge C in the air gets armor frames as well, so you can just kind of fish with that and see if your opponent decides to run into it and uh, do your work for you. <laughs> nice. Hey, here we go. Gonna... Is the command grab? Okay, goes for an empty jump setup there. Uh, but these players could be using the uh, the Heat OS. Uh, you whiff a jab and then you can cancel into shield uh, if they go into Heat, or you continue getting uh, uh, two A if they don't. Really? Oh, just goes for it. Catches the back dash. You ain't going oh nowhere. God. Give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually right. really funny. They're in a shield of first graders, so. <laughs> oh, run up offensive heat. Okay, get in the corner. Hold this strike through. Uh, Zero could have gone into the last arc there to tack on a little bit of extra damage there just as that timer was about to run out there. However, catches with the jump in afterwards, able to take the round off of Waff. <laughs> Oh, what up, Rogue? I see you in this chat. You ought to enter this bracket. Blow some people up with your Noel. I want to see it. Oh, catches with the with the charge C, but not able to get anything out of it. Okay, nice back dash off of that grab. Gets the jump in. Here we go, Zero, trying to make this comeback happen. He's up, nice. All right, we're sitting on some cash here. What are we gonna do? Nice! The Moon Drive cancel with the falling A afterwards to uh, to stabilize that combo and make sure it was gonna hit. Very excellent play from Wa. Okay, nice! In. How dare you try to run up and throw me? Yeah, if you think uh, someone's gonna run up and throw, IAD handles that because you're not on the ground and they're doing a throw animation and you just get to stuff that. Oh no. Oh, this is not looking good right now for Waff as the health bars are gonna get even pretty soon gets the shield. Okay, back to back shield, back to back oh. shield. Oh, we are PSing. Jean Campo, let's go. Okay, and Zero getting the cash. Come on, Waff, you got four bar here. You got so much cash you can sit on. Oh, Ooh, and just as you said that too, it still has that cash as well. Has a little bit of moon, has the four meters for the bar. Come with the cash and the big coat. Looking nice. All right. Oh, tag out of the air there. Uh, zero though. So, uh, some uh, interaction that happened there. Zero uh, jumped in and did uh, AB. Sometimes you just want to do the single A, see if you get the counter hit or not, and then go into action from there. If you just go into your B, uh, you don't. Because the second hit is not a counter hit, it won't give you the untackable knockdown to the floor, so you can't confirm off of that. So you don't want to go into that unless you're ready okay, to get jumped. We got a clash. Ooh. Oh, that actually went in the favor of Walt right there. And here we go. Here pick up. All right. It says back to the corner with you. There's the blood heat. Let's go. Okay. Nice. Get the last hit. Oh no! Not able to get the. Oh, and it actually it goes ahead and calls out the armor. It will actually call, um, continue. I like the idea of it there. Not a counter hit off the Vanish though, so it doesn't get too much out of it. Still in Moon Drive here, so has access to some extra air movement and those flash frames I was talking about earlier. Zero though, sitting on four bar here. Zero can absolutely close this out in a variety of ways. Oh, we got a, one bar available here. Not gonna be able to kill there. That might have been an optimal combo that might have been able to finish oh, off. That's gonna be a, oh my gosh. Oh, no! Dodges the, dodges the blood heat, but then gets hit by the last arc. Master Panda coming in and saving the day. Oh my gosh. So Miyako's looking kind of nice in that. She got like the cool shoes on in that, in that end pose. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. That was such a good call out there from Zero. Um, I, I feel bad for Wolf because I feel like that was just like a drop because it was, I definitely felt like he, he was about to punish. Yeah, 
Woff had that hit. That that should have been it. Woff had the opening and just didn't have the confirm for it afterwards. Zero is taking a moment here and not hitting that rematch. Realizes that they just got away with some robbery there at the very end. <laughs> zero zero is making sure the candles are staying lit and just <laughs> giving a giving a small bow to the fighting game gods before hitting that rematch. I see you. I just, I just feel like he's just looking at his screen like, yo, I'm, I'm God, basically. That's true. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't characterize Zero as being this humble. I know how Zero is. It's nothing but love. But also, hold this Rekka. Yeah. Uh, right, what's the button on the way down? So yeah, what's the button on the way down? But not a real setup, so it gets thrown for the turtles. Alright, recovering here. Tries to double jump to avoid it, but Zero catching that air to air. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about there. That single hit for the air to, for the uh, air counter hit to get the unpeckable knockdown and then get the confirm afterwards. Nice stuff there from Zero. Oh, yeah, back dash is away from the unblockable. Yeah, I've been liking that Zero's been calling out those grabs. Um, it's very hard to, especially against Kuma. Um, and really good stuff there. Takes the first round as well. Yeah. Zero is like... I mean, this is a compliment. Zero is doing a lot of work with very, very simple tools right now. Uh, no, no, no disrespect to to Zero's gameplay, but the combos are uh, are fairly straightforward for what Zero is doing. But the fact that Zero is still making it happen is a testament to uh, Zero's general ability. That, as I say this though, Waff is sitting on a perfect after uh, battering Zero into the corner. Ooh, could it catch? Oh, could a catch? It's a repeat from an earlier uh, set. But that super is going to catch that back dash. Um, I think I feel like that's the only way Wop is able to actually catch Zero off of that. Um, but Zero has no fear in actually trying to keep that back dash, and I wouldn't either, especially if it's like a grappler like Kuma. Yeah, it's a it's a weird one. It's um you it's a, it's a command grab right on top, but he also lunges forward a little bit, so he will also like catch back dashes if you are going. All right, here we go. Ah, thanks for the shout, Captain Africa. Appreciate that info about uh, some of the combo uh, theory behind the Miyako gameplay. Good to know. Okay, nice. Ooh. Using 2A to get that meaty situation. Nice. Get the full follow-up afterwards. Oh, go to the ambiguous uh, situation there afterwards with the charge C, but zero with the heat activation, though. Oh, crosses to the other side. Able to call out the high shield. Zero thought there was going to be an air button coming down. However, Wop, though, catches with the low, confirms it all the way into the super, and that was a black beat combo. Zero didn't have to die. Zero didn't have to die on that. That was an invalid combo. Oh, you hate to see it. And that is going to put Wolf at 2-1 right now. See how this goes. This is, of course, um, this next set, I believe, going to have Wolf at set point. If they're able to take that, they'll be heading back into Grand Finals um, to get that run back. If not, Zero still able to... <laughs> Are they just running towards each other? That's so this funny. is why the 90. This is what. For all the strategic reasons why the 99 second game is interesting when you can move around before the clock starts, uh, just seeing players do silly things is also uh, a big value to me. I think that that's a great aspect of the 99 second game. Backdash into the, from the corner and still able to um, avoid the grab? Yeah, well, it, um, it, I don't know if this game is like this, but a fair amount of games, uh, anime games, have you airborne technically for a couple frames of your backdash, so that might be what happened. I don't, I don't totally know. I have to watch the interaction again to see. Alright, and here we go. Thank God. DP out, catches with the mash in 2A afterwards. Oh, just backdashing away from the uh, IADs. Zero yeah, here, just... putting on a little bit of a movement show. I didn't know you were doing gymnastics at the Olympics. Okay. <laughs> nice floor work. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> nice. Okay, still able to clock it. Gets the shield though. Okay, oh. using two A to avoid that shield. And no almost shield. a delay two A as well, actually. Yeah, it was a shield into. Yeah, it was a weird. There was an odd bit. There was an odd tempo to the shielding there. And then seeing that Zero was still holding the high sh went to the high shield. Waf just goes low instead. Nice stuff. There you go. Dashing away from that charge 5C once more. What a weird normal. Let's see got a few of these normals that become unblockable when you charge them up. Uh, or become strange overheads. Catches with the arc drive. Gonna do some damage. 
Yeah, I think right now Wolf just wants to make sure that uh, Zero he can punish Zero as much as possible. And, and like we said, right there, right? Ooh. Goes for the grab to avoid the shield. Are we gonna get a perfect? No, we are not just Why? Gonna say that. So sorry, Wolf, for the commentators. <laughs> <laughs> that is with the two A's. Uh oh, Zero got something started here. Wolf got a bar available, so we might see. He really gets okay. caught. Oh no, why did he go out of the corner? Zero's gonna heat back. No. Oh my goodness. Not gonna heat back yet? No! no. Oh. That corner switch costed Zero. I felt that. I felt yeah, that the, so. if Zero hadn't thrown out of the corner, that might have kept the positional advantage, but unfortunately didn't work out. And that's gonna be Waff taking that set. Very entertaining gameplay from both players there. Yes, yes. I, I, I definitely felt Zero had some really good moments in that match, and then I also um, just I feel like it was very tiny mistakes in terms of just like like that side switch, right? Yeah. Probably would have, you know sometimes those side switch ha side switches happen because um, you're so focused on just like setting up that knockdown situation um, and also catching the opponent off guard that sometimes you don't don't realize that you switch like you did that side switch. So, um, but Waff heading to grand finals and actually going up, getting the run back against Yucky Jerns. Yeah, Yucky Germ's the only person to hand Waff their L uh, in this uh, tournament, so I'm gonna get that run back against him. Let's go. Saber versus Koma, saw this a little earlier. Saber got that invisible sword. Reaches far. I'm gonna cut you up. Really? Wow. Yeah, Saber for you. That is definitely Saber for you right there. Blood, uh, he activated. I'm sorry, he activated. Apologies. Okay, nice jump to avoid the grab. Nice okay. catches with charge C in the air. Nice, hold, okay. Does it get caught with the low afterwards here? Ooh, go all the way through the third one. That was a little gutsy there to go all the way through for the third hit, because unless you're willing to spend some resources there, you don't really get a ton out of it unless you happen to catch them in a fatal counter. So I was surprised right. to see that uh, Waff went for that. Takes the round, though. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, trying to get that air to air. Okay, yeah, nice. Noting... There. Worth noting too that uh, Waff here is playing warmed up and ready to go. Uh, now maybe that Yucky Germs was uh, chilling in training mode as you can do with these uh, swanky lobbies. But for now, uh, Waff is, is, is in the zone. Got it dialed in. Ooh, okay. Catches the, with the grab. Tries to open up. Nice. Hey, okay, a... using the move to keep it safe and even continue pressure. Yeah, very. Yeah, nice use of it there. You don't always want to see. You don't always see Moon Drive used for conversion purposes like that. But if you're not using it for anything else, well, may as well use it for something. Yep, Takes the game. Waff, That's game so, one. Yep. Game one for Waff. That was actually that was, that was interesting, and I think I definitely think the fact that um, Waff is pretty like amped up and already has sort of like a momentum. We definitely saw it there. Um, it, it looks like also too being able to call out and kind of like condition uh, Yucky Germs oh. to block in that hit, right? Gain gain in with the moon drive, and here we go. Okay. Yeah, it scored a fatal counter there in the air, but doesn't get anything out of it really. Fishing around position there. Ooh, gets caught by the launcher. Oh, tried to press a button there against Saber coming down with that with that charge C. When she's coming down with that, unless you've got like a dedicated anti-air option, like either some big flash frames or a DP, you kinda gotta sit there and hold back. Cause that button nice is chills. Here we go. Huge. Nice whisk with the Yeah, whisk with the 5A on the rebeat there to keep up the uh, to keep the pressure safe. Nice jump. Okay, not gonna be able to convert though. Is gonna get top pressing buttons here with Waff keeping uh, Yucky Germs in the corner. Okay, I like it. Trying just to wait it out, definitely. Actually, with the DP there. Still in heat, gonna go ahead and use that arc drive. Mark Hall. Kill, though. That was actually a good way though to catch up on the health deficit. Oh, almost got sniped out of the air. That Saber JC, I'm telling you. That, that button is so big. Oh, what up? Thanks for the raid. Hello, new hey. people. We are, we are watching Melty Blood Type Lumina. My name is Swell. I'm here with Saki Sakura. And we are in Grand Finals for the online local with Melty Blood Type Lumina. We got Waff on Coma. 
We got yucky okay. germs on Sleeper. Really good defense. Oh, but unfortunately, yeah, I still get caught in the grab, though. That was actually a really good um, defense, though, from Yucky Germs, as uh, just waiting patiently for uh, Waft to use that moon drive. Okay, tries to go for the, the cross up. Knock it over Ooh, how much is. that how much that Saber JC has uh, backstrapped hip hop on, on the back end of it. That's wild to me. She needs it. <laughs> you know, she do. She do. <laughs> oh, okay. nice shield. Real cute. Get scooped. That was, oh my gosh, that was, oh my goodness, that was cute on uh, Yucky Jarvis's part, but Waff was just like, nah, we're not dealing with that. I'm a grappler, remember? I I, I own the grapples. Yeah, it's, um, when you fight someone who has an arc, because I think it's Koma and then Akia have, uh, have command grab arc drops. And uh, so shielding against them once they have three bar or more is very risky. Okay. Oh, a, I think that was a grab, but I'm not too sure as I think the interaction is a little weird. But uh, Geki Germs still able to keep up that momentum. Tries to get the jump in, able to actually get it. This might yeah. actually kill. Oh, back dash oh. the heat! It didn't score the heat punish, but backdashing away from the heat though, expecting it to come. I think Yucky Germs realized it like half a second too late that that was going to occur. But that was really nice though, the backdash away from the heat activation. Really good stuff. And we're tied 1 1 right now. Um, and for those of you that don't know, we definitely uh, are looking at a potential bracket reset if Waffle is able to keep up. Um, usually everybody comes into these uh, tournaments with two lives, and uh, since uh, Waffle has gone to the losers, they're on their last life, while Yucky Germ still has two lives. So if Waffle's able to take these two next two games, we might be able to see that bracket reset. I like that IAD, that IAD, that instant air dash there, that Waffle was able to use to uh, get in and get some pressure started there and get uh, most of that life. Wow, I'm surprised that went through and we didn't get the armor frames. I thought the armor would have started up from Koma JC there in that exchange. Okay, nice air to air. Oh no, air dash is over, it wasn't quite low enough. Does get the overhead hit, and it, it, I feel like with that overhead, it's the same thing. It's like the same thing with Puma, um, is that like you, if you get it, great, but you're not really getting a lot out of it as much as uh, if you try to get the full string. But here we go, Arc Drive to get the finish. I don't get it. Yeah, we did see Yucky Germs try to activate Moon Drive and follow up after the overhead, but didn't quite because the Moon Drive can interrupt. Uh, during... Because the moon drive can interrupt the animation, uh, at a, there's a pretty wide window where it can interrupt the animation. When you actually moon drive cancel and what button you use to try to pick up afterwards would greatly affect how you can or cannot do that. And so Yucky Germ didn't have that. But Yucky Germ still won the round though, so like it's working out okay for that. I was gonna say, <laughs> yeah, after sure. the overhead, if Yucky Germ falls up from the 2-2-C instead, it should combo and then I think Saber gets an extension afterwards. So it's, I think that's just a uh, uh, character knowledge black game right there. But it's that a good option. Right. That, that sounds right from, from my understanding of her mechanics. I haven't, I don't, I don't play her, but I, I believe you're correct there, Kevin, yeah. And that is going to be a pretty significant amount of damage there on uh, Wops' part. However, using blood, uh, sorry, heat, my apologies. I keep getting like, too confused sometimes. Uh, just oh. because I, I, I used to mistake uh, heat against blood, but able to actually still get some health back there. Oh, okay. Backing away here. Has a little bit of life lead. Yeah, uses the fade away into the 6 BC. Nice. You know what's even... You know, it's it it says heat down at the bottom, but the mechanic's actually called force release in this game, which I still... Just, just still you know what? I do appreciate knowing that, because that's actually a really great way to also remember the two, so... Definitely oh no, sure. I I wish it was just still heat activate. Uh, I, I still call it that myself, and I, I just based off of uh, older melties, so like, I don't know if I'm going to be changing anytime soon. That was, that was a, a little needlessly adjust my glasses of a comment. My apologies. <laughs> Alrighty, and here we go. Gets the air there. There goes the clash, but it's going to be in favor of Yucky Germs. Ooh, nice. Ba the air dash is away, barely avoiding the charge JC. Both sides here jockeying for position. Oh, hits the trade there. Both sides trying to make some, get something out of the mud fight afterwards. Will that kill? That will kill. No, no! Goes into the counter! Doesn't do the other ones! Whoa, but catches with the shield and it catches the heat activation with the shield and able to kill off of that in the air exchange. 
Nice so, stuff from Yucky Germs. I'm going to point out, I'm pretty sure in the tutorial they call it heat and blood heat. So and on, blood I just checked the blood website, blood they call it heat and blood heat. So even... Where, where'd Force Police come from? Maybe Force Police I have is no just idea. off the... Maybe that's off the Block Stun version, because there is a... Uh, if you do it in Block Stun, it has different mechanics than if you do it just block. Mm -hmm. So, damn, my bad. I'm giving, I'm giving hella bad info. I deserve to be called out, though. Thank you. Good throw there, air throw there from uh, Yucky Germs. Uh, it looks like it's going to be set uh, where we're going to be on last set if Yucky Germs is able to take it. Okay, nice. Come on, what? He's in what the moon see some more games. Oh, Yucky Germs, though, says no. No more games. Everyone's getting an early bedtime. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice anti-air. Not going to get the conversion. I think they thought that that button was going to uh, get blocked and then was trying to automatically follow up into the 2B afterwards to catch... To oh, catch the opportunity. <laughs> Okay, nice blocks here, and guess the uh, skill bonus. Mega. Yucky Germs on set point right now. Yucky Germs about to seal the deal here. Doesn't have any bar available, and Waff is sitting on three bar. So if Waff is able to take this momentum, they got the. Waff has enough bar to turn this into some overwhelming momentum if they can make things happen. However, though. No! Hit back up! That, that was such a weird interaction there. Get, get hit by her ponytail! <laughs> Okay. Low profiles at air. Nice. We use the moon drive to the score the follow up. Can kill here. Can kill. No! <laughs> Had the opportunity! Right. A Waff does not have uh, a lot of moon left. Um, there is still four bars of meter. That's a lot to work with, especially with the way Kuma's damage works. Oh, that's really unfortunate on that shield there. Oh, okay. goes to the blood heat. Blood heat. It's a very Ooh. expensive play to go for. But it catches! <gasps> that is literally, what, 50% that looks like? Oh my god. Yeah, that's a lot of life down. All right, this is going to even it up a little bit here. Gives a slight life lead to... Uh, Yucky Jones, yeah. Yucky oh my Jones. goodness. Okay, one good hit here though, or one good exchange will definitely do it for Yucky Jones, but the same thing can be said about the wall as well. Oh! Okay. oh had the big starter! Doesn't get the follow up though! Yes! Hits with the armor! The armor blows it up! Scores with the air throw! Keeps it alive! Waff tying up the set 2-2. Two, two. If Waff wins another match, that'll reset the bracket. We'll see how it goes though. That blood heat was so personal. I felt it. I understand. We woke up and chose violence. And here we go. We're going into uh, match point for both of these two. A potential bracket reset might be happening as well. I was so ready to call it that blood heat too because there wasn't even that much health regenerates. So I'm like, what is this use of your resource? But then it worked out, so I'm like, all right, never mind. What do I know? Well, again, the punish off of the, with the armor, able to catch uh, Yoki Germs off guard. Oh, nice. pressing the button. Back into the launch there. Oh, finally hits with the unblockable. That wasn't working against Zero earlier because Zero was back dashing it, so we didn't really see it get pulled out too much here. I think Waff was still. Ooh, Ooh. snipe. Very much. Oh, never mind. Had to use it. Had to use it to be able to get that space again. Well, Waff does have enough bar here. That's uh, if they can bait out a bad shield, they can get a scoop with the uh, arc drive. Oh no! Punish? Oh no! Why yep. the heat activation? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Kill if Yucky Germs could have killed her, that would have been so bad. That would have been going into the, that next round there with uh, nothing in the gas tank. However, though, we got a life lead. Okay. With the combo. Yup. Oh my goodness, Yucky Germs needed to kill there. Had to kill. Oh, and here Yo, we Zero's go. Zero's telling us that they're, they're backdashing on reaction to this? Okay, okay, Zero. I see. This is rollback gameplay, so I can, I can believe that. This ain't, this ain't the delay world of uh, Grand Blue when we first met. <laughs> Gets the air to air, oh. through the armor. Yeah, hits through the armor, and you still take damage through the armor too there. So like, we, we saw a nice chunk of health uh, disappear off uh, Waff's life bar. Nice, uses the IAD to get in over the low. However, not able to store a conversion. Moon drives oh, okay. pressure. Working with command grab? There's another, another command, command grab. I'm gonna get another one? Nope, we're gonna get the air to air. Bike. Waff here, trying to give us the bracket reset. Take us to another batch of games. Okay. Nice backdash. Definitely trying to open up block here, and that's like a little bit of the um, struggle with Saber, is actually trying to open up your opponent. Um, okay, getting big counter hit. Big counter hit, but we do have blood heat! 
No! Doesn't work out. No, the oh, crab. crab? Not enough yet. No! That triggers it? I didn't think that would trigger it. It triggered it. Oh my gosh. Everything triggers it. I thought that would only be triggered it. by strikes. I didn't know what was going to happen. Everything triggers it. Yo, damn. Okay, okay. We got, we got this, we got this. All right, no go. bar available for, for Yucky, Yucky Germs right now. Yucky Germ got no gas in the tank. Does score a hit there, though. They complete this combo all the way through. Ooh, they don't, though, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's the shield in the launch. EP, good stuff. Gonna jump Waff. out, get some space. Waff had a slight life discrepancy here. Oh no, that li life discrepancy getting a little bigger. Oh, I'm, I'm like at the edge of my seat right now. This is getting very hyped. This is getting very heated. Oh, nobody has heat activated right now. <laughs> like, it's still pretty heated. I'm so sorry. There it is. Just as I said, I, felt, I, I just want to say my button felt there. Like, here you go. You got it. And Waff got it. Waff resets the bracket. Saki Takara, please strap yourself in. We're going to another another set. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm 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 tense. I'm tense. Ooh. See, that's I'm... One, one, that's one of the things I love about Melty Blood. We were talking about this earlier. How you have how all these different resources can get uh, get used, and you can really feel this escalation as the options on the table get uh, get wider and then contract. Could be it's just because it guarantees that. Uh, whoever is just going into the round, whoever just lost the previous round is walking in with another bar. Uh, you'll almost always see a heat activation. Uh, really cool system. I love this game. This is a very good game. Yeah, and then for those of you just tuning in as we get into this bracket reset again, um, uh, Waff was on the loser side, was able to make this comeback and actually knock uh, Yucky Jam into the lower side of the brackets. Now that's why we are having this uh, bracket reset. So this is a lot to definitely um, work with as far as when it comes to games, um, especially for Yucky Jams. It's sort of like a fresh start. And here we go. Does Cash to Recover? Okay. Get into it here. Ooh, Moon Drive activate. Not able to get too much else out of it. Oh, nice. Tries to slide in there with the. J the JC, not getting too much out of it. Wreck gets blocked. All up gonna be, you're gonna see the overhead attempt. Blocks the overhead attempt. Good stuff. Saber with the whiffing to 5A, then doing the backsway into the overhead. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, and here we go. That's gonna be some good There's damage. Tries to go back it up just a little bit, probably nice. trying to bait out that DP. Um, still able to catch Walk though. Yeah, that was uh, trying to bait out the DP or trying to bait out the heat activation. Nice waff off the clash there. Just keeps on mashing that 2A. Smart stuff. Gonna carry oh through goodness. here. Takes the kill. Round one. Damn, neither one of these people live in this house. They're just showing up in this mansion and tearing it up. Well, technically... Technically, Koma's related to the people that live here, so I guess it's more his house than Saber's, but I'm not gonna dive too deep into the Nasu Reverse Alright, here we go. Just get the clash, but it's gonna be the favor of Wap going for that grab, and gets another command grab going. Another command grab going. Oh, okay. bl the shield gets triggered, gets the launcher combo off the shield, there's the double jump after the air throw into the charge C, setting up a nice situation, able to cash out into the arc drive, activates the heat as well afterwards to keep the pressure up, gets scoop! And here gets the scoop. Doesn't I need a bit of help. I need a bit of help. Oh. Alright, that could need one more. Oh. Yep. One, one more exchange here. And there it goes, and Waff taking the first game. That was actually a smart choice of Waff using that armor. It was definitely going to look dicey, though, if um, they didn't. Yeah, good stuff there. Uh, I, I wanted to point out uh, a thing, too. The with the green, the big green flash that we're seeing that Koma's hitting with a couple times, it looks really similar to his command grab, but that's actually his charge 5C. Uh, it becomes an unblockable, uh, and acts. it looks like it acts like a grab, but it, it functions a little bit differently from it. Uh, but if... But yeah, it also like hits from like much further away as well. Okay, it does Which able is... to uh, recover here, actually start up some momentum. Okay, blocks the overhead off the Rekka here, not able to get anything else out of it. Oh wow, scores with the JC and then able to get the follow up afterwards, even though it crossed to the other side. Hey, nice cross up here though from Yet. I would have gotten hit by that. I would have gotten hit by that. I would have gotten hit by that. <laughs> 100%, I would have gotten hit by that. <laughs> Okay, nice punish here from on the side of Waff. Starting it up. It's gonna use um, all of the meter. Uh, yeah, I think it'll hit. No, oh, no, it's scaled. It's scaled. It definitely scaled. 
It just might be a little bit dicey though for Wolf. Um, definitely it's not going to be able to kill us with any one more exchange, and there's that one more exchange. Ooh, yeah. not looking good for Wolf as they're going to be going into this next round, which is that one far. Yeah, Wolf currently sitting out the game, so not the worst circumstances that it could be, but uh, certainly don't want to have to win more, any more, certainly don't want to have to play any more games than you have to if you can just win them all outright. Yeah, King Germs sitting on a perfect currently, pushed into this corner here with, or pushing Waff into the corner. Waff scores the command grab. You can actually combo off that command grab. If you get if you get that command grab into the corner, you can actually combo off of that. Uh, the timing can be a little bit weird, and so you might just might not go for it because you don't want to risk it. But yeah, Waff is definitely leaving some cash on the table there. Okay, using shield, kind of trying to delay, and unfortunately Waff still able to call it out and start up. Oh, Mac Dash. Can't go nowhere! Your armor cannot save you from my hand. Oh, that's a punish, yeah. It's a... The moon skill dive punch. It's... Uh, I don't know the, remember the, name, the name of the move. It's... can catch somebody if they're if they're sleeping, but it's totally punishable, as you saw there, and that was able to hand Yucky Germs the round by following up with the pressure afterwards. Very nice pick up there. We're gonna be seeing a little bit of a repeat from the last game, 1-1. One, one. Um, a lot of adjustments have been made on the side of uh, Yucky uh, Germs, but Waff also making those adjustments too. I feel like they just keep like evolving between like all of these rounds, right? It's like sort of calling out some of their patterns. Um, yeah, there's well. a lot of there's a lot of player interactivity with how these matches are shaping out. Uh, so long as you you don't have like a super big skill gulf between players in this game, you can have a lot of conversation, uh, as it were. Uh, with how all the systems are in this game. Take the, the grab out. There we go. One thing, I'd like, one thing I'd like to point out about uh, Yucky Jaren's play is that uh, Waff has made them uncomfortable enough that they're forcing themselves to use the higher damage, harder execution combos because they need they need that damage. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that's he actually mentioned that before, right? Is that like as you're starting down in Guilty Gear, it's good to obviously be comfortable, but knowing all of these higher execution combos is what's going to seal the deal against the higher level of play, and that's what we're seeing right now um, with Yucky Germs. It's like, I can't get hit by Kuma. I can't get hit by Wolf right now. Wolf knows too much to get those th those optimal damage. I need to make sure I kill every touch I get. And again, with this matchup, it's very important because it's hard to open up um, with Saber. Saber protecting these skies, though, with how big some of these sword swings are in the air. He has an invisible sword, of course, of course! <laughs> Ah, uh, frame traps into the Rekka, able to catch the hit on it, not able to get anything else off the conversion though. Gets with the clash frames, goes for the 5A afterwards. I am not stalling. You think I'm ever going to stop pressing buttons and let you get advantage after a clash? You fool! <laughs> Hits with the shield into the launcher, knockdown afterwards. Oh, nice. Yeah, so the doing the uh, 2 BC, the 2 moon skill, where the, you get the little pillar flame and then he surges forward. When you're in moon drive, you get more clash frames, so that move, already not a bad defensive option, gets even better. Uh, so it, it's not a bad idea just to chuck that one out. And, and it worked out well there for, for Wasp. Yeah. And that's the thing too with Kuma is like it, it oh no it, no it, it, it strictly goes across the floor it doesn't really have much of a vertical hitbox does that one if that angle might have been a little bit different from how Saber came down maybe but as it was though Saber just cruised on over and Yucky Germ sitting on four bar as well this combo here is not going to kill so Yucky Germ has a lot of reversal potential coming up just like that and um, that's a lot of bars too for it getting to be blocks. Gets gonna, call, uh, gonna get caught by that command grab using blood, uh, sorry, heat, heat, to actually get some, some uh, of the get off me tool as well. I, I see you, Saki. We're, we, we all learning out here. <laughs> it's just. Because I used to call it blood, not knowing that it was actually really heat before when I first started playing. And it just, oh, since gotcha. it's red, it makes me think of blood for some reason. But here no. we go. I was a, it's a game about vampires. How, how come, why would you think of blood? I totally feel well, you. Wow, the four bar, the four bar version is called Blood Heat.
So you're not. Yes, you're but not I'm off. supposed to call it heat before, you know, like so. I gotta keep it consistent, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Waff taking it up two one right now. This is probably gonna be set point if they're able to take this next set. Yeah, Waff here sitting on the run back. He scores with that charge five C. Gets back and sends uh, Yucky Germs back to the corner. Hits with this Rekka pressure as well. Born the hit out of it. There's the two A. Really ambiguous coming down. Hitting there. Okay, tries to go for a command grab. Nice call out there from Yucky Germs. Yeah, I thought there might have been a match attempt there, so went for the 214B command grab with the armor frame. It's air. It's the conversion. Oh, the repeated JC's in the air. Okay, okay. A mm, little too gutsy, Waff. I know, I, know, I know you're feeling yourself because you got the bracket reset and you're sitting up some games here. Don't go too wild. All right, and that's definitely gonna um, even up that, not even up, but definitely build a, a pretty significant deficit of the speed. Command oh! grab, wow, and at the cost of the moon drive as well. Yeah, it hits with the delayed command grab, the 214B again. Uh, hasn't been really pulling that option much, but pulling it out now uh, in the, potentially the last game of the set. Interesting choices. And oh. Yucky Germs building up some of that meter as well. Started off with no resources, but definitely already getting um, them back. All right, Waff here trying to... Oh, nice. Yucky Germs stayed just above that angle of where Waff is, 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 likes to dash in with the JC. Good stuff. Yeah, getting used to your what your opponent's air-to-air -air buttons of choice are, or air approach buttons are, is uh, is key to figuring out how you want to play neutral against a given character or a given opponent. And Yucky Germs is trying to get that dialed in here against Waff. Waff, yeah, see, just seeing this jump back C there, trying to bait out that spacing and seeing who's going to get the advantage. Armor's up! Okay! Oh, okay, key charged it. Yo, armor into the charge? Okay! I can't, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it's kind of cool. Okay, gonna get that third wave. Terms. Okay, tries to jump in, gets the full mix. That's it, that's it! They're right there! And Wong taking it, initiating, initiating the bracket reset and taking it all 3-1 over Yucky Germs. Very well played from Waff, able to, yeah, like you said, score that bracket reset and uh, fight their way back up from the loser side of thing and seal the deal against Yucky Germ. Waff showing up very strong and uh, very well done. Well played oh. to both players. So I didn't realize this, and I was, and I should have because I was really impressed with the Anji, but Waff just won the Strive and the Velty Blood tonight. That's right. Dude, damn, the double crown winner. What is that, like a, do we have like a, a grand champion like trophy or something to give them? I feel <laughs> like we should. They're the renaissance man. <laughs> it doesn't matter what fighting game they're playing, they're winning. Apparently, yeah, big ups to Waff. Uh, I imagine they must have a little bit of a pedigree to them playing uh, other fighters as well. So good stuff, taking that with both their Anji and Strive as well as with their Coma in type mm -hmm. Lumina. Yeah. So, great. yeah, great stuff. Um. Swell and Saki, uh, send me, uh, I guess, your Twitters and, your, and some headshots and stuff so we can, we can properly shout you guys out. Uh, thank you guys for commentating. It was very entertaining to hear you guys go. It was, uh, it was really good. Was really good. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, it was a, a really pleasure. Uh, thank you again for the opportunity, as well as it's also nice to meet you, Swells. It was my first time commentating with you, so that was yeah, cool. Absolutely. Uh, nice to work with both of you and nice to uh, get to cast with you, Saki. It was a delight. And uh, thanks for the new players that I haven't been able to see before. Uh, nice to see you all playing this. I hope you all keep playing uh, Melty Blood type Lumina. Hope to see you in another bracket sometime. So yeah, yeah uh, Swells, where can people find you? Uh, I have a Twitter, at uh, SwellGGs. Like you just had a, had a match with somebody, but mm -hmm. just yeah, SwellGGs on Twitter. I talk about uh, fighting games and gay shit. So yeah, if you, if you like those, give me a follow. Nice. And then Saki, what about yourself? Um, you all can follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Saki Sakura TV. Um, so it's just Saki S A K I Sakura S A K U R A T V. Um, and then of course you can also follow uh, my Queen of the Hill series uh, at the U O T H S, where we uh, create tournaments and opportunities for women and non-binary members of the FGC. Excellent. That's great to hear. Um, so what we're going to do now is we run these tournaments every week. Strive, uh, Melty Blood, and Sniffles, who we're going to send you over to right now, runs the um, the Street Fighter West Coast tournament around these same time. So 
check that out. We're going to see you guys over there. Um, but yeah, once again, fantastic time. Really great to have you. And um, have a good night, everyone.